Dude, what did they just do? The, Seb, by the way, took so much damage from the creeps. Like that Dark Roll Summer ripped him a new one. Like he was constantly right picking in mid lane. And we get the kill on Pango. A nice shield crash from BGM. Maybe the turn's gonna be there on Tipper Broker. Lines up the swashbuckle as well, so nothing to say. A little bit low. Orb up in a couple of seconds. We'll be on the mark. Potentially still in the water room as well, but Nova snipes him. Huh. Interesting early game. I mean, it, <laughs> I love I love the word interesting coming from a caster. It always means more than just interesting, but uh yeah, nicely done by IG coming back into it. Like it started off a bit wrong uh, with those couple of kills on Timber and Monet dying, but now JT is having just as good of a game as Timber. So getting a couple of kills, also killing off EZM down mid. JT though. Ask you all the body blocks. Not enough, unfortunately. Illusion had a little bit too low health. Will still be a lot of damage onto JT. Oh, just the terrible lane, right? Like the moment he hits Metamorphosis, you need to go back, you need to wait it out. And uh, the most important thing for JT is that he survived through that initial go. Top lane, they are diving a bit, but I'm not sure. This is a bit too deep. Venge, Seb is rotating in though. I think the creep where they should be able to go for X Nova. Don't they go on Tomato as well, but let's see. X Nova. It's making it work for the kill, but so Wisp has got multiple rounds of spells to be able to use, but Boko's gonna try and TP him, but I don't know if you're gonna stop Wisp bar. Ari's gonna I mean no real spells he can chuck out, just one more sticky bomb. But Whisper's still got plenty of mana, but Boko's gonna try and drain him. Nice chain! Drops the branch, yeah. Alright. So oh, there was some discussion going on because, like I said, you really seem like Whisper has been struggling. A lot of tips given over to him. They are trying to boost his confidence, and with little cute plays like that with the branch, I mean, you you give this guy his confidence back. It's a scary, scary sight. Whisper is still one of the most incredibly mechanically gifted offlaners. Does he need any more confidence? This guy is level 6 on the Timber Soul. Luna is level 4. Maybe take some confidence away because like, he is just bodying them. Bottom lane? Nothing to say but the rotation. Tomato's got a big wand along with healing Lotus. They might just look for the kill into Seb instead. Yeah, but R is rotating. Even Pango starting to come through the river as well. Nice shockwave. It cancels the blast off, but yeah, it's... Unfortunately, taking a little bit too long for them to guarantee these kills, and now they're worried about the Pango rotation. Yeah, they found BZM. Boca, though. No way, look at BZM. Okay, I mean, Boca's gonna die, but... I mean, this is a, this is a big kill. BZM just solo kills him. Oh my god, that incredible read. BZM walked behind the T1 tower, rolled up even before he saw the, the puck, anticipated him going for the Wisdom Room, then chain controlled and blew him up. I mean, they are... They are on one. Did he bounce against that skeleton? What was he bouncing against there? Yeah, I think he bounced back on the skelly. Yeah. Okay, cool. Nice kill. Very nice kill on the puck. And also the fact that puck didn't get anyone there, right? Like he rotates in, doesn't kill the bench, doesn't kill the Timado TB. And now your tier one tower is uh, maybe not going to fall. They have RP. JT is going in. The worker, unfortunately, very close to level six. Not just yet, but yeah, JT is going to be forced to drop the RT, RP, and X Nova. Is there to offer some assistance as well? So, G2 IG are going to be able to at least be able to slow down Tomato, but it does mean that Whisper and Seb are alone up top, and they're going to be able to claim the first T1 tower. I still love this. Like from from Tomato, I like it when uh, Terrorblade Blade player just pops the meta and forces forces a rotation, forces a big spell. Usually I don't like my carries dying, of course, no one does. I'm sure Timado isn't happy with the death there, but it did force a lot out of them. Now without without the RP, can they actually pressure the tower? Probably not, which opens up Whisper. And it looks like he's actually moving down bottom. And back top. <laughs> Quick little rotation, takes the Watcher, Good job. Much value. Dyer's bottom tower has been denied. 
Oh, they're even gonna get another tower. Bottom gets denied. Let's see. I mean, G2IG really going to be needing the level 6s out of the supports. Arthur says he's taking an ancient stack very slowly, but he'll get it. And that's going to help Baboka get his 6, so you'll, soon you'll have the finger. Exnova is also soaking mid lane as well. So probably going to see them look to try and smoke. Radiant 6s. I mean, it definitely increases Ari's damage, but a little bit more defensive of Seb with his with the swap. Let's see. The smoke up top. They know where Monet is. This is basically where every Luna is at this point. That's right from Exnova though. I don't know if it's going to matter in the end. Monet will stop the Rolling Thunder short. They've still got the oh, Fiends, that's actually but bad. the shield crash beforehand. They're going to be able to get some big return kills. Have they got the damage for Whisper though? Or the control? Whisper's going to be able to get some separation. Wait, doesn't okay. that grip actually kill him? Kill the Luna a little bit faster at least. Sep. Going on him, no chance to wave terror. Maybe he can do it now at least. With a little bit of damage mitigation, but won't really help him. I, I, I felt like the grip catches Pango in place, and because of that, he hits the Luna again. But of course, he did use a Shield Crash before, that's true. Can they kill him top? There's no grip now. They have RP though. Oh, can they? They got Finger. There's Finger as well. Yeah, they should oh, be. Able. I don't. Oh, let's there see. Okay, come on. Okay, come okay, on. okay. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> no, Look no one that. should survive RP on a finger. Hello, 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 boys. The start, they were doing no damage. I'm Good morning, damage. everybody. Surely Sorry, I'm late. Sorry, Sorry, I'm late. I had a handyman over, actually. I wasn't late, technically, but there was a handyman here. This, is, this reminds Fixing me of window shit and whatever else. Um, so, I'm here. What did I miss? OG IG? I know there's a Liquid Bet Boom game going on, but I, I tuned into that one. It was like an 8k lead for Liquid, so I was like, alright, this game is at least interesting. Um, I got 3-2-2. On Reddit? Let me see. I'll check. Not gonna... Watch it if there's a video now, but I will really watch this later, okay? Carries, and it's really happened probably, I think, um, over two three to two go match fixing for a world champion though. Okay, okay. I'll check that out later, guys. I'll check that out later. Not enough I see it. I acknowledge it. We'll check it out later. But let's watch the game first. The meta plays then we'll though, watch the video, okay? Haven't seen like your deuces or whatever. Like deuce, I suppose has been here. I promise. The anti mages and, and whatnot. So. Today. Just watch you know, this video first. White Moon is 40 months. Hopefully, a lot of games today. Because, guys, the thing about the drama, like, I could check it now, but there are like a thousand people here. Imagine how annoying it's gonna be when people ask me to check it all day. Let's wait until a couple more people tune in and then we check it. And then it's done, you know? I see, obviously, you guys want me to check it out, but yeah. It's too early. I just woke up too. Just chill and watch the game a bit. Just gets the the uh, spike off my friend. No impale, wrong hero. It's okay though. I'll let it slide. We'll get it later. It's, again. It did it. Did it impale him? After it the did. It's the same. Come on. Ooh, the tinker with the two months. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Um, Sorry, I'm late. Though. I did want. I did want to one time wake. I'm in the weirdest sleep schedule right now, guys. This is my sleep schedule. You ready? I sleep wow. 5 hours and then I sleep 12 minutes in, 10 to 11 hours. When I, when I slept 10 to 11, he's I, I'm, too I'm too tired to go, I mean too awake to go to bed early, so I go to bed late and then I sleep like 4 or 5 hours and then it's so fucked up man. They know, they know, ta-dum, ta-dum. The Mato... They're coming. Why is the Mato playing TV? What the fuck? They never play TV. Oh boy. Oh, please, Pedro. Oh, wow. Relaxo. Okay. Where did you go? Um, why no VODs? Oh, I need to explain. Okay, I'll make a command for the VODs. I accidentally deleted all VODs. I was gonna delete a few only because there was a DMCA shit. Like, it's whatever, you know, you just have to delete the VOD. I accidentally deleted all of them. So I messaged Twitch, so hopefully they will restore them. They won't. But all the VODs are uploaded on YouTube anyway, so it's not like a big deal, it's not like I'm not hiding anything. So everything, everything is on YouTube, the YouTube VOD channel, if you want to look at any VOD, all the VODs are there. Even the DMCA ones, so... Um, but I only will delete a few of them, so yeah. Oh, they want to fight, actually. Let's see, Cloud Bot, man. Can you get the catch though? Mine's being a bit of an issue to stop the blink. Triple blink for G2IG though, nothing to say. Brown boots. 
which played and of course Blink Dagger now completed. Even the ones where he rage. Even the ones where he rage. Just opens up okay. the map, right? Like whenever Making a vault command as we speak. Command. It opens up the map, like you can possibly play with different heroes to get pickoffs. Like this attack. line. I'm not sure. He needs a finger. Okay. Like even with this blink, he needs a finger to be able um, to successfully get a kill on someone like this. Command. Yeah. Don't have the put damage. a cooldown on it so you guys can spam it. Necessary. Like you talked about right. it very nicely during the draft. There we go. It's enabled, guys. Mm. I, I feel like the rotations attack. need to consist out of three Radiant's heroes at least. Who those three? Ideally. Jesus. Why is there okay, okay. all the okay. balls okay. for T I are here? What the hell? Kill. <laughs> but if you look at two, then whatever. It's kind of weird, right? like, uh, the let's try to fix it. I have yeah, three VOD commands kill. running right now. Interesting. Kill on Timber on time before he uses. Maybe, maybe, but I, I wouldn't be one hundred percent comfortable with that rotation. But the thing with the, my damage concern yeah, as well. There we go. It's it is enough. going to change very shortly with how farm they are. Like nothing to say is free OG exposure. Exposure, yeah, I know, Second right? I gotta delete that one too. No doubts on what this puck is able to do after some you know, recent yeah, nerfs. This year is incredibly this. strong once he gets his items, and it is a free puck game. So, how concerned yeah. do you? That should be good enough. Like I know this is not a gigantic lead for at real, all for, for G2IG. G2 In fact, it's under a thousand. Right, this game looks like even and nice, boys. So turn into a good one. Let's go. How much farm puck has gotten actually? Well, that JT. What games do we have today except stuck. for this guy? Might be able to get an RP off if they're thinking about that it. That was a big business. But G2IG G2 <laughs> already retreating back to their side. Uh, he makes my he makes my answer much easier. If JT is dead and they catch him like this, then it doesn't really matter. Uh, but. I do feel that IG they definitely needed this kind of a start because that's how they they their their heroes need more. Like when you look at Vengeance, okay, the leading workout. These aren't really. And someone said delete the best command. They need levels, and that's it. They a the best com command is a classic. Can I really delete that one? Lion does right, so he needs this blink. Now it's on IG to actually execute properly with all these initiating tools. I expected them maybe to be doing a bit more at this point now that they have. Uh, these big items and big spells to use, but the best just kind of disappeared so all of a sudden. Just happy farming, maybe waiting for that BKB on Luna. If you're Monet, you're happy farming, by the way. You he was active as fuck, and then he well, vanished one day. There aren't I think something happened to him, but I don't know. Maybe not. She does if anybody point, knows him, Chad, reach out. At least to me. To reach out to me. Let me know. If she just farms. <clears throat> Pick on Tomato would be huge. Unfortunately, I think there are a couple of seconds late before he. Rotates back to the triangle. Maybe whisper. Yeah, the for real, for real command. For real, nah. Together. That one is staying no matter what. I like that one. You should be reading this right. Like you know how Luna drafts play Boca. I haven't seen him on any of the other channel or anything. If they catch some heroes onto the back line, potentially G two IG are hunting. They won't intercept anyone before they actually group together on OG. They are still trying to play on the. On the retreat, maybe BZM's gonna run. I wanna kinda jump here. Let's see. Jump. Nothing to no say. coil. Gets a start. Oh, nice 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 nightmare into the. Skewer back. Well. RP. Alright, it's pretty RP. clean, but the Whisper is fucking excellent in the back, Snow meanwhile. Dark. Jesus. And the, the meta has been popped. They're cleaning up the, the, the counter. Do they have any stun? They have Yule. Yule's is there to cancel the teleport. And JT Good job. Ripped apart as well. Good counter by OG. So I feel like they're missing a number here. They're missing a Luna up here them, for this play. No but it's not that bad for so IG because Luna's farming, so it's fine. Yeah, three for two. What are the me? What can we call the upside? Yeah, good luck even play? trying to kill a puck nowadays. We pushing mid and the Luna Nothing to say. Malaysia prize. To be in yeah. <laughs> just farmed up. Monet continued farming, still top of the network charts, followed by I didn't think they would be losing this fight actually, but I guess Techies is like an impossible hero to kill, and so is Whisper right now. Which bench? Mine grenade, it, unless you use a lot of spell them. Thanks for the 13 months, bro. What core you're trying to say with Nether Swap? Like, one of you should get silenced. So <coughs> he got silenced because of that, he didn't have the oy, 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 oy. To use swap or anything. Then the sleep, the grip, everything on point by X Nova. If you give them just this small I played one pub off stream by the way chat. We we're back cuz I I ironically watched the Weaver replay
And I got so mad we lost. Like, Puck had everything. He could have coiled the Rubik and killed him without buyback. And I'm like, what the fuck? How do we feel I played one off stream and I won back 27 again, on points and now we're back to Luna is a we're back to very where we started before yesterday. So it's good. Like it's good. Also is going to be, you know, if he gets a lot of farm, now we're okay. Is he going to be like a, a big reason why OG can oh, exactly. finish lane or yeah. you have some concerns? Should. We trashed I, them off stream. 7 a.m. in the morning, guys. 7 a.m. pub. <laughs> really fun. Like how well will the TB Atlas Unchained has the 18 months. I hate those games because people get so smug, you know? You're owning like 99% of the game. And if you make a mistake, even though like everybody's making mistakes, right? I'm making mistakes. Enemies making mistakes. Like Arcor and died 15 times. I think people want to talk about the time I use ulti. What's my thought about the Taiga 3 to 2? I haven't looked into it yet, guys. I'm waiting a little bit. The Until after this game, and then I'll then I'll look into it. I promise. Luna, but it's not as bad as it used to. Don't worry, boys. When it comes to scaling, because of the condo? Yeah, because of the condo. And the thing about it, it wasn't technically a mistake. A rapier life stealer hitting me with basher. You know, I want to get the fuck out of there. But I ulted back to before my ages popped. I think it's a bit more playable. Because I did it a second early, right? Or half a second, but I was scared, I'm getting bashed and dying because he is rapier. Well, but some it didn't matter because the Rubik should be dead. He had no A on this, and my puck had no buyback, so it should have been a like GG anyway. You know, it's just so stupid. I don't know why he's not killing the Rubik without buyback. It is over, and the Rubik zaps me 0.1 seconds before my hit with Satanic hits, and then it's over. You know, it's crazy. Well, let's see if nothing to say. Uh, yeah, BKB be on Luna. To consider Lincoln's as the game gets later, if that is even a requirement. We don't particularly see that item anymore. We really can just go to damage route, and if he needs, can have a. I watch the. Yeah, I watch the. Yeah, I watch the sensibility. I'm gonna watch it after this game. I don't wanna watch it right now because it's. I just woke up and I, there's a game going on. You know. People's gift as well. So he's you know, honestly. Not too tanky, but is surprisingly tanky for for this stage of the game. Look, guys, I got a straw for my kombucha. Very nice. Very nice. Well, like 21 minutes in, uh, you got Wave of Terror, Terror Blade, Timber, with Dire as well. Maybe a little bit weaker at taking it, but Luna's always not the worst. No, both teams, I feel like they take it. I can hate arguing with people about mistakes too, because it's so frustrating after you've lost a 99% game. You know, it happens. Oh my god, he popped Mo BKB on Mone, but it's good, they kill Whisper instantly. It's a very early BKB though, I don't know. And they fight here without it, let's see, nice coil. We already said Puck's gonna be an issue for them, but now with his extra benefit, it could be even more difficult, nothing to say. Looking to try and JT. utilize as best as he can because RP used. Already. Nothing to say, needs to not die tomorrow, here. But it's a great target. Nothing the to die. Of all the control on OG. Evade? Oh, he has Gossamer cape well. on set. Tomato is entering. Oh, they got him mid uh, mid suicide on Techies. Are they gonna have the damage to be able to bring him down through the control? Hold up. TB's kind of cooking, boys. Oh, there's a grip on the cliff. Not where you want him. Not where you want him, but it's still good enough. Scared this Luna was missing too many times on high ground. I don't think OG really wanted to take that fight with Tomato, but did they have a choice? I'm not sure if they could have run away there. Also, we need to add this into everything. TB's a shit hero. As you're actually just a shit hero also. He can pay, but... This, this for me just looks wrong for OG. I don't think they're that Yeah, Puck is a game. dumb hero. I mean, look, look at him. He's just standing here and you cannot use spells on him. If you use spells on him, you waste your spells. He has Arcan run too, which is a ridiculous, by the way. Right? No, he doesn't. It's too far. Yeah, he made techies use spells. Look, they're, they're throwing spells at him, but it's like all whatever. Like, look, Avengers thinking about stunning him, he just E. <laughs> look at that. It's so stupid, dude. That's supposed to be a hero that's supposed to make this RP harder. So it's actually pretty silly. Luna and the supports like you, you lose him instantly and then you continue fighting and just one hero after another just getting picked, picked yeah, up. Yeah, I messaged Twitch about restoring the boss, so don't worry. Yeah, they will no, no, probably no, hopefully no, be restored if they OG, answer the email. But it is a weekend, so I don't it's know how RP Twitch works, but they might not restore them before Monday. Roshan, yeah, they're in. One thing I saw back with that the replay, BZM had zero mana on the initial jump from G2IG. So is this the one? He could not counter 
uh, when they jumped Whisper, so he had to retreat back to the high ground. What and the fuck? And current had, like, to assist you as well, so to verify your account, initial, provide us your username, your IP address, down, your date of birth, your up, email though. address, your phone number. No Jesus 10. Christ. And invoice IDs. That's what I need to do. Oh, wait. Holy shit. Snatch. But it's still so good. Oh, what an RP. What an RP. Alright, OG, you're getting fucking handled by the better G's, I guess. It just looks way. It, it, it looks so easy. I'm not. I'm pretty sure it isn't, but. Oh, and, and bank account. Yeah, I know, right? I feel like they're asking for too much. Do I have to do invoice IDs? He vaults them. Right. Are you anyone who is a more slimy rat bastard in Dota community than sensibility? Red, that's a three dollars. They're all RP'd. OG in a rough shape at the moment. I am now watching BB vs Liquid. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I am not watching Beaver's Liquid because it was kind of over when I started watching, so I, I decided to watch this game instead. But this game is also heading to the Jover status real fast, boys. I'll watch the video, guys. Don't worry, guys. Yeah. What's flying out? He's got full parasma completed. Like he's not that far behind as well. Sixteen thousand network, 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 networking puck. Um, yeah, he's really big as well, and this is a hero that's a problem for Terrible. A ton of magic damage. This was cool. Ah, uh, it's just another death? Yeah. Whisper, the Whisper Crumble has started, start guys. The Whisper the Crumble game, has started. Somewhere around the mid-game, if things are going bad, we're gonna see a lot of deaths happening. Well, I don't think it's because he's bad, I think it's because he takes very high risks in farming no, after so he's cool. behind. Which I think is pretty good habit, especially in pubs. But it does get punished a lot in pro play. In Valve nerf Pango, every fucking game there's a Pango. This Pango is getting trashed, I don't know what he's talking about, look at him. Thank you Hakudora, appreciate that bro. That was all Lincoln's on mag too. No, you're right though, like once he died that first time it did started going downhill, yeah. It's uh, They didn't lose one single fight in which... They lost one or two heroes, you know. Every time they 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 lost a fight, it's like four heroes lost or full team wipe. Uh, here, what 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 are the bright sides? What bright sides? What are they getting? They all have. Uh, dude, I'm gonna provide all this information right now, just so my jet stops asking me about vaults. My username, my full name, my date of birth, That's all of it. Side. The harder they they hurt you, the more you can get use out of some. <laughs> my IP address. Um, I don't know. Fuck He's it, dude. This VKB and he will need it. He I'll will give everything to Twitch now. Underneath the ward. He's gonna be able to catch him and nothing to say. He's here as well. That's a nice, clean little RP. Where is Magnus gone the past while? But nobody's picking Magnus. I feel like Zero's still pretty good. He's making it look pretty good. I think he has it. Something from X Nova. Nothing to say. He's gonna be able to reconnect with the boots of travel. They'll lose the Bane. I'm the being down. They're gonna take this fight to Mona. He's just running in. He has Aegis. They know they don't want to fight him. Holy shit, TB's made Luna's little bitch. He's gonna ride him like a mount after this. They're gonna get another one. Got four kills. Going for some Mo. Whisper. This might be a wipe. He has Yeah. He's the last one to fall. I don't think there's a way out of this one. I think that's a call it territory, guys. That's a call it territory. Just bought him a little bit of extra time. Oh, nee, actually All right, let's see. Date of birth, email. Of course. And there is a potential for them to push high ground a little bit if he's damaged this tower. And that's exactly uh, what they will do. No phone number. For but only Pango is up. If you lose this tower, you Doing are all. Hope actually. I don't leak this on the side. All right. Bye back. And that's a death. Oh, that's a lot of damage from Whisper. He might just die though. Whisper, they're gonna be able to chase him. It's a die back. I look cool. Traveled. You got the kill. Oh, Whisper. Whisper got the kill on the buyback. I mean, that was a Whisper play if I've ever seen it. At least he got a kill. <laughs> it could have been worse. Uh, invoice ID. Okay, that's the last one. Upload an invoice ID. Like a receipt from my sub on Twitch or something? He runs straight into the TV. Like he doesn't care. 
Long time ago, that, that was considered suicide. Far from it now. When Double are you going to play enough. Dota again? BKB is or up, with listening Satanic to someone at least stream. When there's ten dollars, I know it's. I, mean, not I know. It, I mean, I do try to watch in-game. Then we don't have to listen to the casters. But they're coming though. All of IG are ready. Double damage rune on Monet. We play what we play, guys. Yesterday we played like four games. What do you mean? Or five. It won't even be able to get the thunder off. So my latest time I played was less than 24 hours ago, my buddy. You got creeps as well in the mid. Why didn't Tamara just hit Luna and BKB? It doesn't matter. Like TB does no damage to with this build he has. He has the. He has what we call the, the vanilla build, you know? The vanilla build ain't fucking shit, that's all I gotta say. OG fans, very sad at the moment, this isn't working OG out. fans are crying. They're just going for strong. They are smoked up, let's see. There's no rolling thunder though, how do they fight this? Alright. Sent. Alright. I sent everything to Twitch, boys. There we go. Now they should restore the boss in orderly fashion. And they also destroyed OG. Oh yeah, they played earlier today. Oh, OG are crumbling. Hard then. I was in a coma for a few days. Can you tell me what day it is? Ratch. It's already Friday, by the way. What the fuck? I thought it was like a Thursday. The shit. I'm very so surprised. Saturday, Sunday. Not Seb almost die. Yeah, it is very crazy. Sunder? Yeah, they did. Yeah, the Sunder. Uh, so what's TB buying? Actually, he's going for Orchid next. This is the problem. Like, if the game was a bit e more even, they'd be able to catch Puck. Let me to guess. These items you consider yourself needed, a child of good. They're just not close enough. GT Dota player, thanks for the gift sub, man. Yeah, Thank you, brother. You're getting two orchids, but I appreciate. Wait, was it just a regular sub? As gift sub. Thank you, GT. Easier to deal with, guys, than a hex. Yeah. yeah, I mean, TB needs a little bit of a buff. You should be able to sunder through BKB. Like, yeah. I think that's that's probably a good thing. I, mean, I guess. You want, you can really just oh, here we go. BKB. Puck is in the middle. You know that hero. Fuck that hero. Puck has been unhinged lately. Puck is stopping everybody from going in here, by the way. They're not getting to play the game, and he somehow just had enough damage to kill Ari, apparently. Um, who killed Boboka? Seb will be a freebie on the side, I believe, though. I don't think this is fightable, guys. It's 30. I don't even think OG realizes it's 30,000 gold lead. But they got so fucked by Entity, I guess, that they feel like they have to try. Yep, they got too old by Entity this morning. 37 minute game and 25 minute game. 10 a.m. in the morning. That's crazy. That is nuts. When you look at the items, this is how it feels. I talked a bit to Thompson earlier today and too. I saw him and Seb being up at like 7 a.m. or 8 a.m. in the morning playing pubs, guys. They were warming up. Crazy how early they woke up. Oh yeah. Come here, little TB. Nice hero, by the way. Call it, bro. Holy shit, they're not calling it. What's happening? Is this where you're, you're almost offended they didn't call it? <laughs> what do they think we're gonna do? <laughs> GG. Do they think we're that bad? Whisper. Quick disconnect though. The models GG looks so angry. Four big G's. Jesus, he's mad. Jesus, he's mad. I'm not gonna do that. Yeah, G magic. I mean, they didn't look happy coming into the game. All right. Uh, on the camera. Let's check. This perfect time to check I out the drama now, guys. Find what has happened? So, IG win. Very noob. Strong, but okay, OG fans, time to watch True Side for more copium. Lol. OG magic. Lol. All right. And then it all right. All I'm gonna look into this uh, thing right. now. There were no saves for the timber. But he tell all your friends I'm looking, looking into it now, so you don't ask me to look into it later, guys. We'll do it during the break, all right? We we'll probably won't watch the whole video, as so it was 30 minutes long. But we'll watch a bit. Um, we have... TB is hitting Roche, but what happens Liquid Betboom might start no before this, so let's switch that to that one. That Luna from just waltzing into the pit. I should follow these Which channels. She did. I don't into the pit, took the ages. Follow. The game felt almost impossible off of that. And they were trying to Even adjust... Liquid versus Betboom, there you are. Wait, the game 2 has already started here? What the fuck? Oh, fuck. Uh, how? <laughs> Liquid versus Betboom. 1-0. 
multiple camp pulls in right. this uh, bottom lane as well. Now it's the small camp that means that Mikkei is going to be able to sit back and farm a little bit more freely. While still getting a pull off, it seems, for Insane. Hey, oh. On to the next wave. One and a half stacks there. And Theos, how do I do this, guys? We have games going so, on. Yeah, Can't we just like look into it later? After the games? I feel like Mira can, yeah, just quickly take this. Prior like it's a bad time, bad timing free, right now. So These are the best games of the day. But can he just After this, we have worse the, uh, games. So we can kind of... We can kind of... We just started streaming, right? After this, we have worse games. So we can kind of squeeze it in there. The Voxy is going to be Toronto, Tokyo with the trees. Hello, hi. better. As the... Sticky After this, we have Falcon's there. PSG Quest, which isn't bad necessarily, but we have Bet Boom Aurora. Ah, oh, sorry, Boom Aurora, which we don't care about too much. That that was kind of like a early group stage type of team. So yeah, I think we're I think we're definitely gonna wait until read it, dude. It's a 30 minute video, guys. It's a whole fucking project, man. I, I can't just read it. Basically, keeping mind of Techies, so Techies wasn't able to go for as much of that harass, not able to secure as many range creeps. Assists no, no gamba only. today, Gorf. And if you're going no gamba. The Overlord build may as well go as many units as possible, right? Just so that they're all benefiting from these auras coming around. So he's already got two points at the Call of the Wild. And 33's micro is just insanely good, so he shouldn't really be in too much danger of hey, losing hey. his boar. TLDR in the Low. comms? Okay, Lost but I there. don't want to just trust a little TLDR. He all didn't, didn't watch. Okay. But don't we just finish this game, guys? Jesus, guys, what's the rush, man? Not like the 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 redditor to go anywhere, right? Let's finish this game, this this series, and then we watch. Okay. Trust me, guys. The longer we wait, the less annoying chat will be later. Trust me. But a big before we look into it. Oh, that's very close. Life. He's able to use the X marks and the big away, I'm seeing here in the comments the big thing is too long didn't watch everything below is backed up by refutable evidence the, uh, voice recordings screen recordings well, chat logs even one, admissions so from player really nice harassment done showing again why and then it was like uh, on his Oracle Mafia decided betting on OG games a dream league would be a better way Probably this game's considered clean by the bookmakers you know, something about a bit different for them. Three to twoing with Taiga, but we have to look into it. We can't like, we have to even maybe look at the video a bit as well. We have to look into it, okay? May actually fall here from one more glaive. Actually survives. He's okay. Last off in though. Return kill. Very nice. To Toronto, Tokyo. We'll take him out. So at least they find something more. Sticky bomb and the wild axes just doing work there to Nightfall. He's still okay though. We'll check it out. Yeah, as long as you're keeping in the range, I feel like you should be very satisfied with that as Nightfall goes and quickly yoinks away a Lotus. Obviously done by him. But yeah, this is really the... Arrow... Death by a thousand cuts. Is 40 and 12 mid. mid. Nisha is kind of getting schooled. 33 are just going to but Liquid, I think they're a new Liquid, Nightfall. I believe. After the Insania interview and them saying they work hard, do maybe they play like five pubs months. a month now. No, sorry, they're the fucking ready to win some tournaments, guys. I can feel it. 33 though. Oh boy. Betfum is not a walkover team, that's for sure. Oh, blast off. On to two. Nightfall. They might be able to Careful. Oh, that's so close. So close. Oh, Boxy Toronto dead though. It's a trick. No, he missed. No oh, way. Missed. Come on. That's some Boxy magic if I've ever seen it. Stack as well. Let's go, Boxy. Boxy <laughs> magic. Yeah, he might have missed the stack actually, but it doesn't matter. It's the style that counts. <laughs> Can I sub in for Chambo while Hello, he's working? Is Chambo back to work now? All right, we might need to it's might need to get an emote mod like one right click for a bit. One tiny little outplay that you're able to get that sort of thing. Just not calculating that uh, you had, I want to say, five magic stick charges on the Beastmaster at the time means that you commit just that little bit too heavily. You take one extra tower hit, and yeah, there's a little bit of luck involved, I guess, with that high ground miss. But still, they made it happen. Miero is dying. Luna stonks are going back up again, guys. I don't know. When he gets big this game, he's gonna be very fucking strong. And even though he's dying a bit on 33 top, he's keeping Nightfall controlled. You need a little bit controlling the Nightfall. New York City earthquake. God damn, dude. It's gonna be dealing a ton of. Uh, right clicks to you as well. Uh, Boxy, he might be in danger. Boxy. Is it? Oh, both use? They want to maybe try to. How is Boxy still alive? Oh my god. Power of Oracle. 
that sidestep. Oh, pixel perfect coming. And I see just have an earthquake 13 seconds ago. Just happened, though. 13 seconds ago, I'm seeing tweets. It can't be too big, right? Jesus, one for one. Can I kill GPK? 33 is coming here, too. I don't know, this is weird. I think they'll get him. Yep, they will. Small earthquake, alright. I felt it in New Jersey, damn. End of the world, Jesus, man. Yeah, some of you guys felt it, huh? I mean, That's crazy that we have a live, like, chat. People from New Jersey in chat. That's oh, shit. I'm in New York City. It was like 10 seconds. Just some shaking. That's crazy, man. I hope everybody's all right in the chat, at least. Plus, the morbid mask means that he never really has to go to the lane if he feels like it's not a safe place to be. So, he, he gets to choose and... I'd say Nightfall's I don't think it's very common to have earthquakes there, though, chat. I think in, like, if you're in California, California, I was gonna say Cali, but I didn't want to say it. Denver, Denver, Denver is 18 months. I think it's common, but I think New York doesn't have those, really. Try and before he can be impactful and stop fighting. Do you think he's got these two braces and the phase boots? That's the best part about living in Sweden, I'll tell you that. We don't have like natural disasters here yet. I mean, part of it's just so that you can be a little bit more sustainable. In Dude, I don't know. If you live in certain parts of America, like you're getting fucking tornadoes. Like, <laughs> I feel like I've only seen tornadoes in movies and I wanted to keep it that way, you know? I'm good. Jesus Christ. I, I do have a lot of snow. Yeah, that's the, I guess that's the that's the downside. The snow and the darkness is what you gotta yeah, deal with. It, I don't think it is gonna do that much this game. And I guess the other thing. I feel is like well, oh, he's a big one. I feel like he's gonna die by the way. I was uh, say, yeah. Nightfall getting gone on here by boxing Insania. Didn't disarm him though. Maybe they could have disarmed there. Doesn't isn't enough damage anyway. But yeah, you consider you're going up against a Kunkka Tidebringer, a ghost ship, Torrent... Swedish government is a natural disaster. Lucent Beam potentially, all of Techie's abilities. Something like a Blade Mail feels pretty damn good against all that. Plus the fact that you're just an axe at the end of the day and it is pretty much a core item. Yeah, Ireland is pretty good too, man. Boss Luke has 13 months. Oh, they smoke up. They're trying to maintain this tower if they can. They're actually coming up here to fight this. I think they might be taking it just a little bit too quickly with that Helm of the Dominator creep. Nightfall even They seem to be reading this on Liquid. Look at the step back they're taking, just in case. So. They're taking a step back, which is making Bedpoom hesitant, yeah, and they're not the gonna fulfill their smoke. Luna's swarming quick as fuck. Okay, so he'll just back himself off. He has finished himself a Kaya, though. Increasing the output damage that he has on his spells. Now Liquid's the one to go for a smoke. And they see if they're able to find someone out. They know, again, they, they know the reason that Nightfall is fa farming safely back here for the reason I just mentioned. With that level 6 on Boxy, they want to try and burst him 100 to 0. Eggs mark! Here we go. Both. Uh, they global too, but it's too late. Uh, it's on target, but even with that it's still sound. hard to go. finish him. Yeah. There from save. Good global. Save Actually save picking Silencer in current year. What the fuck is going on, guys? What the hell is going on? They will. GPK, he's happy to go. Right, GPK is in deep here. Did they have the damage? Their insania seems hesitant. Whoa, he died fast. But it's fine. Oh my god, triple mine. He's scripting. He only got one of them off though. Check his PC. Alright, they still get three heroes, but 33 was probably surprised how fast he died. I mean, insania didn't heal him or anything. He was like, it just a finger came out of nowhere. Little kid named the finger. All techies in that fight just was able to drop the three proximity mines. They all blow up, and it's just a huge amount of AOE damage. Ducks are red, nice some man. Once again, Boxy putting in a really solid performance. Two zero and seven at this stage, making a lot of solid rotations. Excellent for KDA, oh boy. Is it that bad? He's made a couple of stacks as well. Thirty three to be able to play. Why did Toronto Tokyo even pick Silencer? Oh, the Oracle, I guess, right? You want a global when you go in, so you stop the heals. Even more than they already have. Well, that's like having a shit hero to counter another pretty shitty hero. Oracle, objectively, is not a trash hero if you get away from lane, though, I think. You just have to get away from the lane. So, Miero has just finished himself off a of blade mail. Ah, so Liquid are looking good right now. They're looking crisp, bro. Effectively here, especially against these stacks. He's trying to attempt to make another one here. 33. 
He's almost on his way to be completing himself this Helm of the Overlord very soon. Just needs that. Mm -hmm. I think Oracle Counter Silencer. Ah, only if you do some shenanigan tricks with dispelling yourself right before Global. That shit doesn't happen very much. Insania will be able to pull it off. But... Just misses there on Toronto Tokyo. I wouldn't say it's a counter. Still looking to go for this? Okay. <laughs> Might have been a little bit of a bridge too far. Dania, I mean, sorry, Nisha's map is pretty nice and open it. right now. Well, and I think right. Axe in this game doesn't really have a huge purpose, time, especially since Axe there's an Oracle, so I'm worried for... Uh, before he can join into the team. I'm worried for Betpool. If they can lose maybe only one more T1 tower... And worried for my best friend Nightfall. ...reaching distance of Team Liquid, I think they're going to be pretty happy with this. You've got the potential to turn around with this first big item coming out. I mean, Echo Saber is coming soon for Nightfall. The earthquake happened in New York, New Jersey with 4.8. Wait, shit, that's actually not that bad. That bloodstone from himself, so that's actually not that bad. About making sure you're that's, I mean, not, by not that bad, I mean, not that small. Yeah, they're all in distinct different areas of the map. They're playing a greedy game right it's now. It's not a mini one, it's pretty Liquid decent. If don't punish it, the then it's going to work out very nicely. Let's say he's, he's, he's got that... Uh... A blink and blade mail pretty quickly. Mm hmm. It's the power oh, of the blade oh, mail as well. A little bit of a farm accelerant. Although, he's almost it's nothing crazy save. though, of course. The most of the earthquakes we hear about, yeah, at least that dead. are big, like the one in Taiwan, so they're usually in the sevens. Cost, unfortunately. That's like a giga earthquake. A little bit of indecision, but. Fuck shit up. If it's only save that they're killing, I really don't think that. And the way it scales, like 4.8 to 7, is quite a big difference. Like, I, as far as I know, I, I'm kind of pulling numbers out of my ass, but like, you can think of sevens, they're like 20 times bigger than a 4.8. It's not like, it doesn't scale like, like that, you know, it scales like that. It scales like, zoom, exponentially. Once you get to like 10, 11, it's like the end of the earth. The earth ends. Another support that gives up their life, but it's, it could be worse. I'm, I'm gonna keep saying it. It could, it could be a lot worse. It might sound like coke, but it just feels like they're approaching these big timings on Beth Boom and Your logic, I guess. would have done enough to be able to rest away control of the map before that happens. I mean, the world starts fucking ending. Now, the blink and blade mail has now finally been finished. Twelve so literally yeah, breaks so the world apart. Yeah. Like they're gonna try and invade the triangle here. So I think four point eight. Four point eight is average, is right, Jeff? Right. Side. Nah. And That's Korea what they told me. That ancient camp and has moved Badge. his way out of there. So, yeah, I think the closest person they'll find is maybe perhaps Boxy or Nisha, Love but they position. do indeed have the save with the false promise. So, you have to be careful how they use it. The smoke's just broke. They yeah. know there's someone oh, hiding in the trees. call on Insania. The right Getting him first is good, but they're both buff is here. They, they will finish him, but can they turn this? Insania they need to kill Mira or they need to finish him, but they don't finish him. In comes Boxy with mines. Oh, oh wow. It's a nice eclipse. They clean the fuck. I mean, I think Betboom objectively just have bad heroes, no? Axe, Silencer? <laughs> I don't know what to say, bro. They're just getting fucked. All the spells are destroying them. Techie spells, Kunkka spells. This is just another really solid performance coming through from Boxy, right? They're baiting them into areas where they've got a lot of these mines set up. He ends up breaking the smoke. Sure, they get the jump onto Insania, but it costs so much for them just to be able to get a single kill. And like you said, it looks like such a good stun by Nightfall too. I'm like, damn, they can win this fight. And the one Techie Suicide comes in and changes the whole world. A whisper to noobs, thanks to 37 months, brother. And every time it was presented, I pressed appropriate buttons to prevent their appearance from them. Smart, smart. Dude, even I'm getting ads a lot lately. Twitch is ramping up on the ads. The day of reckoning will come. I think it might actually kill Twitch. If they ever remove the Twitch Primes. Imagine if they remove Twitch Primes. It's a GG, bro. For creators and for viewers. People would actually go to kick for that, I think. In my no eyes, cap. They're one of the best early game teams in the world. Oh, that's, that's and like creators would be like, yo, what the fuck? Uh, I'm making half the money or less than I used to be. Like, fuck this shit. Like they get out. Because they just won't stop. This is the that's, I think, the only thing keeping it alive. So I mean, keeping it solid, you know, for a while. No, that you're gonna be able to go to tier two to tier Kick is huge, though. I mean, as far as I see, like. The young kids, they're all going there, you know? Not all of them, but some of them are actually going there. 
right now. They just need to make sure. It's get it. It's not that small. It's small among the old veteran Twitch community like myself. You know, like they've been watching Twitch for like 10 to 15 years. But if you're a no capper, you know, I feel like you're. You wouldn't mind. You don't really care, you know, about no Twitch. You know. Global silence is ready now. Radiant mm -hmm. are scanning. But very zoomy. GPK is trying to get himself a dream core and nightfall. Really needs himself a BKB in order to join these Mikey. fights. Because as we saw that, if he gets thunned up and then the eclipse comes out, he he does not have himself a fun time. On the arrow coming in there. Hey, Oracle but could stop his death, and he gladly turn. turns this around on the life steal on the axe. Like, yeah, call me, bro. Do you think I care? The and they kill GPK as well. I think that's gonna be the good GG call here by Nightfall. They feel like garbage, and I know. More body blocks. They don't really have the nicest heroes to come back either. I think. Sven, when Sven is this far behind, he's lower net worth than every other core in the game. How do you play Sven? Every other core, guys. Every other core. Sven. Not okay. He's actually stuck in base here. This is extremely bad. He's not out farming right now. What choice does he have, though? The ball is coming. Liquid is back, boys. Liquid is back. Liquid with practice? It's over, bro. To do. Even tier four is taking damage. Careful that kick pays way better than oh the global than Twitch, but especially if you get a deal. But that might change if there's no Twitch Prime. That's all I was saying. Twitch Prime. Switch Prime. Try and find himself a target, but he's been slowed down They're by the sneaky into bombs. bombs. Lovely stuff from Boxley. Looks like 33 might just be able They're to gonna be bored by Riyadh anyway. anyway. That's they really potentially wanted. true. They really, Maybe really they're peaking wanted. too soon right they now. Really, but this is really looking really very good. Bethpum is not a joke team, guys. They're really good. Stops the oh, oh, <laughs> the oh, no. oh, M4 drip. This the prime. Oh, I feel like there's a bad with the box for some reason. Some reason. I have a bad feeling about this. I have a bad feeling about this. Okay, I have a good feeling about this. It's actually good. Unless, nah, they can't yes, turn this. Will. Nisha being dead is too much, too important. He's got TP up though, and he's instantly coming yeah, out okay. to the tier one tower that's still left right. standing. My bad feeling, unwarranted. Oracle had no spells to save the techies. Give up on him. 15k net worth Luna at 20 minutes. That's where you want to be. That's where you want to be, right there, boys. That's where Nightfall wishes he was. Already automatically pushing for Team Liquid, so why not just let it sit back and let it do the work for you? Regeneration. Regeneration. all those out of towers now. They really wanted to. They could just use the illusions up top, or oh, sure, just use the creeps to do it. Go through the twin gate, get Roshan for free, perhaps, and then look to go up onto the high ground. They could just take the Roshan for free. Actually, they're they're in a good position to do so here on Liquid. Just as long as Insania just stays back. Nightfall With really needs to farm his PKB. Like I feel like he can't fight the Kunkai. There's an Axe Kunkai, man. Takes He's useless right now, right? They're gonna start rushing. And uh, Betpum are not gonna let that happen for free. Here we go. They're coming. They are coming. They are coming. Boxy, who's been able to disrupt these fights, Boxy. do the same thing again. Boxy, what are you doing? Are these best of threes or best of twos, guys? Best of twos, right? Oh, Boxy, careful. Nice, nice poking the smoke there. Very strange fight, he called nothing on my arrow. And the pop is blade mail at least, but oh, here we go, the bolt is coming too. Ooh, to the the water park time. Nightfall with the nightfall out of there. I'm out of here, boys. I'm out of here. See ya, teammates. We're gonna. <laughs> Is it the nightfall into the GG? I don't know. Holy moly! Just straight out of there.
Yeah, yeah that's a detail. Boxy did own them there for sure. As well, like him breaking the smoke, super good. Back of initiation that was breaking just the smoke, little, they don't want to commit on him, they have to contest the side, right? like, yeah, right, just They get so baited. Connecting onto anybody, you're forced to use the buyback on Toronto. He even split up his Echo Saber so he could nightfall the fuck out of there. I like it. Take out the the silencer before the fight even began, so... It's just his positioning has been so on point. His spell casting really up there. He's been involved in 19. Why are Liquid so good, guys? Insane performance. And even a four stuff. What now, anime I watching currently? I started watching solo like leveling a little bit, but I don't really watch anything. I don't watch a lot of anime right now at all. Stack up and Liquid I'm finishing House. I'm watching House. And, and I started watching Physical 100. On Netflix. Mickey. Those are not animes. Oh, Mickey. Killing him once is pretty clean here, actually. Not too bad. But the lash. Oh my god. The pony water park. Roaring Nightfall. He's actually kind of dying. No BKB. And that looked like a Manta Dodge. I don't think it was, though. Eclipse. Miro dead. Nightfall dead. GG. There it is. There it is. There it is. Clean by liquid, boys. Clean by liquid. Pretty shit heroes by Batboom, let's be honest here. I'm not a big fan of the Ceylons. Let's see how they look like. Not at the liquid boot camp. Only 33, not there. What does he have in the back? What is what is this in the back, chat? I'm interested. I have to ask him. What is this thing in the back? Can anyone see what it is? There's Blitzer. He's blitzing in. Was that? Is that an inversion bed, guys? Inversion table? It is, because I was wondering if it was. I want one of those, dude. That's cool. Alright, let's switch to the OG game. Back we go. Oh, jeez. They're already 0-3 today, boys. Seb is already finding victims. IG versus OG. Let's go. Centaur ban. How's Meepo? Seb not looking too happy right now. Who shall we kick next? I don't know. Pretty good, actually. Like it's a pretty good Meepo Cold, co we're getting some cold dots here. Cold, yeah. cold the dots. It's Omega greedy, by the way, but it's really good. Like, the hero does not care about the brawlings, um, doesn't care about the TA at all. All right, so this is the too long didn't watch Something on the Taiga video, guys. We might watch it later, but there was some drama. Maybe an option. 3 to 2 glory, match really from a world champion in Dota. 30 minute video. The way JT plays it is, like, he's constantly active. The 30 minute long video. TA with the earth binds. I, I we'll watch the start of it right there. Cold for it. If, if they don't go for that, though. Here, how does pros? A lot of pros played a double the game. He won a big international maybe tournament with Seb. Maybe some beast. Like beast, it hasn't been picked a lot by anyone, but but secret. But you'll see all the betting on fixed matches from fake accounts. Okay, now they have to reveal is this brew offlane or or. Uh, that is voice recordings. Right. And IG, they banned out Omni and they banned out Ange. So they're not completely sure as well. You see the lobby? Mafia boss? Yes, I do. Jesus, Mafia boss. I'm trying to think of other heroes that you can... Wait, let's see. The... the gyro as well. Like to play with the Rubik. Feed next boss time. So... Okay, how much we got left? I don't know. We'll calculate. Calculate losses next game. We come back. Oh, Go all in. Do it. I'll try to... F it's a fantastic Meepo game. My first blood. Lose? Dude, yes. You have a face. He doesn't have that sneaky spray. We go die in their woods. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm getting a meepo, let's go. It's more of a face. Yeah, deal with the Mafia, I had no idea what he was on about. That sensibility, I guess. If he was meepo, he wouldn't care. Like, he'd actually love it. Tell him to be first blood or else there will be pain. Jesus, that's scary. If not, what else is left in the pool? Like, Mars is okay, but not great yeah. here. It's... I do want some, like, control. Puppy? <laughs> They have it. Like you have lion, you have clock. It's it's not terrible already, but yeah, something like. A I would like to explain where the proofs are coming from. Uh, something. Okay, like we'll watch the intro a little bit. Um, they were given to me by known three to two guy gone on his ability. He recruited Taiga. He may have described some things incorrectly. I was not there, so I can't verify all his words. DK's ban, right? Sensibility tricked you. You did not receive. It. Okay, how more? I contact Taiga himself and ask about the part of the story. This ability tricked him. You did not receive any 3 2 info. He blackmailed you. Beast that we mentioned as well. Mars, okay. the obvious one. Okay. Answer this video. I'll show both parts of the story and all available proofs. There's a reason 
But I have ton of proofs, video, voice recordings, money transfers, and betting receipts. It's like a really good game. I think you'll be able to draw your own conclusions of seeing all of it. Yeah, I mean, this guy seems like a this guy seems like a legitimate person at least. At least my impression of this guy seems like a legitimate reporter type of thing. He has the right attitude. All right. It's kind of similar. Too long didn't watch. He befriended a group of Russian matrixes 2023. They gave him access to betting accounts. Lock up in the death trap. He suggested betting on pro games using insider knowledge from the Mafia as means to raising money to repay the debt. Instead, the Mafia decides betting on OG games at Dream League 2023 April would be a better way as these games were considered clean by the bookmakers. Let's zoom in a bit, actually. Uh, Taiga was assured they wouldn't need to 3 to 2, just aggressively play for first blood in total over under. He also leaked Scrim, clean feed insider info to the Mafia under threat to blackmail, and he bet OG to win. Oh, he bet on OG to win? Okay, so it's not like he's throwing games, but he also bet on them to win. The match fixing suggests Taiga start throwing maps, but Taiga refused. Instead, he offers to throw first blood versus nouns. OG's aggressive first blood strategy work until they play against Team Spirit, who had studied their early movements and set up for it. This led to Taiga and the Mafia losing a huge bet on this game. To recoup their losses, Taiga agrees to throw first blood against Beast Coast. In hindsight, it's extremely obvious. Let's see this first blood. How does it look like? Making everyone laugh. Talk to him about that in a couple of interviews a few years back. It's always nice to have someone like that, you know, like your, uh, I don't know, the, the, the person that brings all the joy and fun into playing Dota. Makes you forget right. that How long does this take? All that serious and that you're playing for millions. Yeah. I, I can never get over nothing to say. Where is Taiga? Kitty is as well. Just. Oh, there he is. Something about him. Kind of funny. Just seeing this guy. He's, he's rocked him for a while. He did. Uh, Somnus did as well. I mean, we don't really see what happened for the first blood here. Nine percent sure it was Somnus. Maybe it was FY, but I'm pretty sure it was. It wasn't. We just see him dying up there. Hopefully Somnus is doing. Hopefully he's doing good as well. This is uh, he's always. What's with, what's with, what's with the kit ears? Okay. Uh... Let's continue the article for now, or the the, the, the summary. It's like. Uh, after Dream League Group City, try to cut, try to cut ties with Mafia. However, they won't let him go easily, and demand who repays gambling money owes them. Thus, they consider to cooperate on aggressive first bloods. OG are eliminated. Mafia demands Taiga to throw a game, but again, he refuses. Mafia alleges Taiga also leaked info on the Berlin Major. However, there's no concrete evidence of this. Taiga got it. Okay. Damn. Damn. All right. I mean, that was it sucks, dude. Lost, lost TI. I think. I think. I think if you look at the video, it's probably, I don't think it, it doesn't look like it's fake, fake news, you know? It doesn't look like it's fake news. Watch the video, the TLD sucks. All right, maybe we, do, maybe, I feel like before I draw any big conclusions myself, I do need to actually watch the video to see what's real and see what's not real. So he, he, he refused to throw games, right? But he, I mean, I can understand the lore of easy money of throwing a first blood. Like who cares about a first blood, right? Especially, especially if you're debt to some scary people, I kind of understand. It's pos it's plausible, you know, it's plausible. I can see the plausibility. And if he even bet on his own team winning, but he refused to bet on them losing, it so sounds like at least. It's plausible. The video was good? Yeah, but it's 30 minutes long, guys, so... It's 30 minutes long. I don't think this happens very much in... Uh, but what, something we have to understand, this happens all the time in Dota, like all the time. But I will say, it's very rare this happens in like tier one, tier two teams, especially in Western Europe. But if you go to China uh, and SEA, uh, even SA, the match fixing is rampant. And I'm not saying that out of my ass. It's because a lot of players have been banned for it recently. A lot of players are perma valve banned. Like three Chinese teams, or was it two Chinese teams in the last major tournament? Not last major, but one of the major tournaments last year got just de deleted. They're not allowed to play. So it happens a lot, especially in China. So this is not like uncommon because the money seems so easy, right? I can understand. It seems so fucking easy. But shit gets you in deep shit fast. I think a lot of the players, they're lucky they're only Valve banned, you know? Once you get tied up with the Mafia and shit like that... Oh man, that's, that shit, that's a world I would never want to get involved in. That shit's like an endless loop of shit. Like, you, you, start, you start owing them. It's like fucking going to prison, you know? Like fucking shank this guy or we shank you and you're like, fuck. You know? It will fucking suck to get any involvement with those kind of people.
Why so that's you why I hope everybody learns something from this and stays away from that shit, no matter what. That's like fucked up, dude. That's fucked up. Ari Mafia? Wait, why are you guys talking about Ari Mafia? Oh, Ari just died. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> wait, what was that death right there? Wait, wait, wait. Let's, let's rewind. That's also Rubik, by the way. Coincidence? I don't know. I mean, I put a bet of $50,000 that he was going to first blood, but I think that's just a coincidence, you know? That's just my... Oh, nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I was, yeah. I've never bet on any Dota game like that. Ever in my life. And I'm not even involved in the scene. I'm just, I'm just joking, obviously. But BZM also is a beast. I'm just joking. I don't remember, but he almost solo killed. Not the same. Watching by with Storm cooldown. I... Who was I it? am the Mafia. I'm trying to remember, actually. I know the game he's speaking about, I just don't remember who played it. But this is how, if you're going to do it, it's, oh, it's it meld early it on. Was, it was I'm lying. Yeah. Squad X? Uh, yeah, Squad X. Yeah, yeah. Squad X was playing the Viper. He was the one that lost the lane. I mean, this is the bad side about sports betting, right? I mean, some people think sports betting is like... Some people believe like sports betting in some like is some skill play. Sports betting is just as bad. Is actually maybe even worse than other forms of gambling because it gives you the illusion of skill, right? It's very, very, it's very, very stupid in that way. And on top of that, it can be rigged, which is awful. That's why I'm not a huge fan of sports sports betting in general. Some people justify it, but it's it's so stupid. Become even bigger. It's not. It's not better. I think it's even worse than other forms of gambling. Because if you if you're playing fucking slots, right, or if you're playing some bullshit, right, you know you're gonna lose. Hopefully, you know. You know, you realize. But on sports betting, it's like, oh, my, I'm an ana analyzing. Doesn't matter, fucking analyze, dude. You're always losing because the odds are always bad. The house always wins, and on top of that, you're playing against potentially rigged shit, dude. Chalice reports Ari Byte was 200k. That's a lot of first bloods. <laughs> Jesus, that is a lot of first bloods. Either way. Two points meld at level three. I also have a weird feeling that he got first blood somehow before that. So you gotta be careful about uh, differentiating the two, right? You gotta be careful about this, differentiating the two. And Dota, in reality, the reason this is big news is because Dota, revol Dota would not be alive if it's not for sports betting. Every major tournament, almost every major org, is sponsored by a sports betting or casino company. Every single one. So it's huge within Dota. It's massive. Really dominating and um, that's why it's very important to people that they need the games yeah, to I mean, feel fair, you know? All the lanes. Top lane, if is... Nice straw, thank you. I got these straws today, guys. Look, metal straws. I'm worried that the kombucha will, like, eat them, you know? I hope they're, like, good quality straws, but yeah. Wait, Tomato died? How? I was gonna just praise Tomato. He, like, never dies on these lanes. He's getting destroyed bottom. Good for Top lane's going pretty well for Brood, but Brew, but this mid lane looks quite impossible actually for the TA. Holy shit! Nothing to say never stops whipping, huh? Not bad. Looking rough once again. Are you going to be able to get a kill? Hopefully, Tomato is going to be able to find it, given some injection of gold. So be careful about sports betting, guys. Especially, it's not. It's not the skill game. It 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 kind of wants to be, you know. It's 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 not. Nice attempt from Boca to try and survive. It was good, like the double stun as well on point. It's not. But I'm I'm sad for Taiga. I I like the guy, you know. I actually do. Look at BZM, by the way, diving really deep. Boca is here now. It seems like he's a. Uh, th at least from when I talk to him, he's a nice guy, you know? But yeah. He's stacking as well. Looks like Ari's starting to make some stacks at the Ancients. The hard camp too. But I think the human psychology revolves around the betting a lot, right? I mean, also, guys, we, have, we can't forget, like, even Dota revolves around it. Opening loot boxes. You think it's a coincidence every single game nowadays has loot boxes? And nothing actually happened. Yeah, maybe Even here he says there is two stories. Should be suspect of a guy who makes videos for money and just gets the drama yeah, from. The oh, they're gonna kill Whisper here. El Whisper! Oof. Good rotation. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I didn't watch the video myself and I didn't vet anything. That's why I don't want to draw big conclusions, you know? I don't want to draw big conclusions. Um... 
yet. No, so, but uh, I am kind of drawing a little bit too many big conclusions, but I'm speaking in a general sense more, you know? But the thing is, it's all around us, guys. Like, you have loot boxes, you have... Uh, that's all video games. You have... Uh, um, thank you. you. Like, the stock market is, like... that. People think it's skill, but it's fucking... It's, it's a rigged game, you know? It's everywhere right now. Boboka, eesh, doing options, doing calls, doing fucking longs, shorts, whatever the fuck else you want to do. Life is a gacha. Life is a gacha. It's not a big stack, at least, right? Like it's just a double. One of the oldest industries in mankind. Yeah. So is what it is. Also, kind of bad for Whisper that he just died. Crypto, buying different coins, like hoping you'll eventually become a millionaire, you know, like... It, it's very deep-rooted in our society. Very deep-rooted. But either way, I don't know why I got into that ramp. That's like a sub... Um, that's like a sub uh, section of it. Like some people just get very virtue signally about certain things, you know. But I just wanted to get that out of my system, you know. Because they think like one form is much more pure than another. Nah, honestly, it's all trash. I, I think it's all trash. But that's just the way it is, you know. It's the way it is. Um, and uh, I wouldn't say. I would say that. It, uh, people get very upset about it, but I feel like this is a reality you have to come to terms with about the uh, sports betting. That it is gonna be rigged a lot of the time, and it does suck. It's not a great play, but it's a play. And it's a play that looks like will work. What about Texas Hold'em? It's still, it's still pretty fucking bad. But that one is one of the better ones, I suppose. Because you are one, you are playing as other players, but... Yeah. It's still pretty rooted. It all kind of... I mean, everybody that started playing Texas Hold'em at some point played for the high of fucking gambling, you know? At some point, that's kind of where it started, you know? And uh, for a lot of players, even though you say it's skill, yeah, 1% of... Fucking Texas Hold'em players are outskilling their enemies and they're making it a job, you know? The 99% else get drunk on a Friday night and fucking go all in every other hand, you know? Like, that's the reality of it. So, if you want to call it not gambling, okay, fine. But for most people, it is still. For most people. Ninety-nine percent. But either way, no, I don't need. I fucking enjoy it myself because uh, it's a hobby of mine. So I'm not like I'm not looking down on people. I'm just sharing. I'm still. Just sharing. Oh my god, Tomato! Even after dying, bottom. Look at his net worth. This guy is. I'm, I don't know. This guy is a god morphing, guys. I don't know. He, this guy is somehow always winning his lanes so hard on Wolfling. Mid lane went pretty shit, but actually BZM has good net worth. Top lane was the only lane winning for them, and it went shit after those ganks. So everything kind of swapped, swapped around here. Uh, they're gonna go on Monet. They have split and grip. So better luck next time. He has an 18 stick, but it's, I don't think it matters. He will pop it, and he has a Lotus, but he's just wasting everything. He's dead. Ares here. He's a top 3 Morphling player? Yeah, man, I'm telling you. People underestimate Tomato, but I think this is his best hero. Exactly Can he kill him, actually? He, he got him. Boboka. Taking a lot of damage here. Ooh, even a placed a little tree. It will flower over his grave as a memory, guys. It will flower over his grave as a gra memory. As a memory. But yeah, I'd have to. I have to watch the video a bit, guys. I have to watch the video a bit to draw a little bit further conclusions about what's true and what's not true. But it, to me, glancing at it, it looks kind of legit. It looks kind of like it's real, you know. That's my first impression, at least. Give me money at Gork. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A video just came in. Oh, I think it's a bit too long now. Yeah, I don't know. I really. Mado. I do think things are possible to fake nowadays. We have to always acknowledge that, right? Even voice recordings are possible to fake. We have to remember that. 
but then he writes but it didn't i think that's a hard one you know it's not that easy i think he just misclicked that's how it looked like i might be wrong did you hear about the drama while you were an og um i can tell you guys what they told me if you guys want to all right bgm shredding people Oh, here we go. Monet. I'm kind of scary. I, mean, I don't want to... I don't want to, like, fuck over OG necessarily. <laughs> Maybe that... Oh, the group is here. Monet. The Roar is there. Okay, BZM is dead. As far as I know, OG... They removed Taiga from the roster, so they knew something was wrong, right? But what they told me is that they didn't know... They, they told me, at least from what they knew, he did not bet on their own games. That's what I know, at least. That's what I remember back then. So I'm not sure if OG didn't know or didn't tell me, but yeah. That's at least what they told me. That's all I can tell you, really. A little bit sloppy by them, by the way, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He couldn't hit from the cogs, definitely. That was like a year or two ago, year year and a half or so, right when they removed them. Did you sign an NDA? No, I didn't. I purposely did not sign an, an NDA with OG, so I can say whatever I want. But uh, yeah, that's just the truth, you know, that's just the truth. They, they told me they didn't know. Maybe that's the truth, maybe it isn't. I don't know. They could have lied to me. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying that's an impossibility, but they say they didn't know. When you click on the little... What are they called? Like little uh, primal split brulings. Oh, I guess so. I didn't click on yeah. it. Yeah, because it's not worth. Yeah, it, it isn't. Allegedly. Still got 5K. In theory, in an alternate wor world in Minecraft. That, that covers me legally, right, Chad? I'm getting a little bit antsy with these ancient stacks not being claimed yet. I don't know, I just have some weird feeling OG wins some fight and then BZM just walks in the triangle and takes them all. Yeah, Jairo is. Oh, they live in from an area, okay. I don't... Mixed balls by Morph soon? Really I, I, mean, I don't have anything like that. I do... I, I There is some people in Dota that I still want exposed, but... I can't do it myself. It is, I can't do it. Not for this specifically, but... There is some shit still, guys. There is some shit. I can't say it. That's a weird part. I can't fucking say it because it's. I can't do it. But there was some drama about it a few years ago. and I'm, I'm not saying shit. I'm not fucking saying shit. I can't say it. I, I genuinely can't say it. I genuinely cannot. Like X, crit, BKB is his timing. timing. Beast is. He's taking over the map anyway. Look at Seb. But it's not related to the. Um, the Taiga incident or anything, so it's whatever. <laughs> nice for kill for Just saying, there's always. Yeah. Not. 100% nice of the truth is never out there, guys. It's never out there. 100% of any truth, right? Just so Ari doesn't steal Roar. As you gotta remember. Say the first letter. Nah, this is some shit I don't even tell people I know, guys. It's uh, not good. If the people want it exposed, they'll have to go do it themselves, and then I'll back up the, I'll back up what I know. But I cannot, say, you know, some things in some things is not your place or right to say, you know. Not push out of it too far. BZM That's all, I guess. Good job of being relatively active and getting some important kills. Whisper as well. We've seen the splits. I'm 27 being years well old. From they Sweden, a, a very, studying very industrial engineering now. and management in university on break. Thank you, Plonkins. Thank you, bro. I think you're the real force of the world. That I can't leak that, man. Come on, dude. We're playing into most, most importantly, of course, <laughs> Beast Master with the roar. Yeah, okay. Wait, why is BZM feeding like this? Oh, man. Oh, ooh, we almost killed Boboka with him. It's close. This game is very even right now, actually. Huge stack here, though. I'm waiting for him. This is a very, very nice morph game, I would say. He counters Razor and Gyro. How did they get this pick? It's crazy. It's almost too good. Who is he supposed to steal in fights? Razor or Gyro? I think I would rather steal the Razor, right? The Link is more valuable than the Fleck most of the time. Not always, though. It's a juicy no, stack. The flak is like, 
It sounds cool, but it actually does like 20-30% of HP on everything, everybody. It's not like crazy. Killed them before he walked up or whatever, but... Anyway. He had them a little bit earlier. Uh, probably just disappeared or... Uh, disappeared to the right with of Boboka. Exnova. This is this meme, bro. Saving the haste, nice, nicely done with the cogs. That mantle? Yeah, okay. Mantle completed. Of course, the radiance hallway as well. Got it, coming out of the car. All right. Uh, OG ban incoming. What's the problem? Nah, I, I don't think so. I think maybe they're. I mean, maybe it needs to be looked into, but. We'll see what well, happens see what with, uh, with the helmet everything. Like, that was the big I don't know what's going to happen with Taiga after this. About, right? No so idea. Like, once his item comes online, then G2 IG. I think for his own sake, so, okay, if you think about it, the, someone needs to check on him. Have, see that he's okay, uh, of course. Razor, you, you know, have friends have and family and stuff like that. Well. And you know, so not some, nothing stupid happens. Oh, Hex. Kill. Very good. Kill on BZM. Ah, yeah, yeah. IG's got OG's number, dude. I wonder if the news rattled OG, guys. It was dropped right before their series, guys. It was dropped right before their series. Maybe there it's, it, it's in their head, you know? They're like, look, they're like Sasuke on each other. Like, wait, are you? did you die on purpose there, BZM? Wait, whisper. Hmm. <laughs> solo, uh, until you split. And there's so much damage pumping They're squinting. Uh, out of gyro, especially with this How did you defend that tower master. right there? Even Beastmaster as well, himself. He's that was right on the Radiance timing on Whisper. Very sad time to die. They probably thought they could take the fight, but IG were just a little bit too fast for them and a little bit too many heroes. Is really damn good in some of these fights, especially if you cast it on, on the gyro. Do you think OG's part of it? I will say this. For Taiga as an individual, it's very lucrative and very, like, you know, tempting to do something like this. OG would probably, at least, just thinking logically, they wouldn't risk their organization on something like this. It's not worth it. So, I do. My impression is OG is not involved. I don't think so. Omega KK, that's the two months. I, I, that would be very strange. It's like asking if fucking Elon Musk. Uh, I mean, Elon Musk could do anything. I don't know. <laughs> I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna put it past him. But I'm just saying. And like Elon Musk fucking. No one questions whisper. Rigs. I don't know, whatever, dude. I can't think of a good analogy here. He might do anything. I don't know. They're reading this though. See if they're gonna be fast enough. And Radium will take it okay with the meld. No deaths are there. They will flare. This is a bit. I can't sketchy. think of a single single thing. Same place, like in the last game. Once again. Oh. OG exposed. In the game and out of it. Here we go. They go and kill Seb first. He buys back. Just kidding, by the way. BZM is dead. They are kind of owning with the split in the back. Boboka is dead already. But the Brulings die too fast. He does not have shard yet. The Mato has to TP out. Bashad, uh, next 20 months. What happened, Taiga? You have to look at the red thread, man. You have to look at the red thread. Disaster, really. The way the fight starts as well. You lose Seb instantly. Like he's your big control. Maybe part of OG yeah. during the time. Is it any chance you might be implicated? I mean, I I was definitely not involved in any sort of way in their professional team. So I was actually part of OG at that time, April 2023. Mm, isn't that suspicious, huh? Wait a second. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. I I I had, I never talked to them about their pro team. I never talked uh, nothing. I was so uninvolved in everything there. I wanted to be involved too. I mean, if they asked me, I would step up as a general manager any day. I didn't even know that was a real job title. But if they asked me, I would be a general manager. But they didn't, so I wasn't involved. Yo, I know Whisper was a little bit behind in their work, but I Yo, Paranoid DKP, my man with the 20 gifted subs. 
Thank you, brother. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate that, bro. Thank you. Support to just making stuff happen this um, game. This is, this is high ground. Corbin said satanic contract buyout is one million dollar. Thoughts? I mean, oh my god, look at how many razors there are. <laughs> Fuck, 7k gold lead, but the pressure on high ground is already here. IG have no fucks to give. This is really bad for OG. This is not the TA game they wanted either. They have split in 25. He has no shard though, does he? Oh, he does have shard now. They have to give this Rex, I think. It's unfightable. Um, I don't know if that's true or not, but I'd have to look at the source if Corbin actually said that. I'm a very integ integral... Wait. I'm a journalist with integrity. How do you call... What's the noun of calling someone that has integrity? It's not integral. I don't know. That is the go time. That's when integrated? That's not, a, that's not the one either. I'm an integral, integrated journalist. Integer. I'm an integer. Virtuous? I don't, I don't like that word. Almost everyone has come over, so be <laughs> It's a lot of inter words, but none of them have anything to do with integrity. Hmm. Hard one. Credible. Cre I like cre credible kind of works. Even more but that's a, that has to do with credibility, though, so it doesn't have to do with integrity. See? It's, a, it's annoying. Professional, you know, that's also not really have to do with anything with integrity necessarily. It's either you're a god gamer or the enemy team is just not ready mm. ever. And I feel like it's a hard one. Integrity. Integrity farms. But finally, they're showing some cracks in the armor. Ethical has to do with eth ethics, though. And dignity has to do with dignified. See, it's a tricky one. I don't know. We need some English expert on this. Either way. They're getting destroyed on map. Ari's died how many times now? Four times? Nothing, nothing too crazy. Nothing, you know. Nothing out of the ordinary. Yet. Mm. This beast has... Beast is like... Have you seen Beast like owning every game, Chad? Or what? I feel like he's been good every game. Liquid picked him. He's like back. This new Dominator change where you get free gold all the time. Seems pretty good. I'm not sure if I want to see not that bad. Meta once again. I'm an English expert here, there is no such word. Alright then. It's not viable. And I, I bet if I click this English experts as many options as possible. chat logs, he's gonna be... T oh, his whole chat log is like XDDD, Gorek, XGG. To be honest here. Really I'm not sure if I trust them. As well. it feels like the meta does get sale kind of early because there's not... Yeah, you know, there's like 20 heroes that can be picked. So I, oh, I already lost it's, lost it's because we have too many coaches. Fire all the coaches. Ban coaches from Dota. That, that's what you do. You okay. <laughs> Fire the coaches. Fire them up. I see performing really well though. This is a team that a lot of people are kind of writing off as a whatever team. But they're beating one of the top yeah, European right, teams. Right. Like, we have too many, uh, when you have, like, OG. They're still the top, right? It's 2019? I don't remember. And 20 seconds, by the way, that's how much the word is integrous. Integrous? Really? No, I don't believe you. <laughs> I'm Googling it. Tomatoes? You know what? It is. Wow. I've never heard this word in my life. Integrous. Having characterized by integrity. Amazing. There was a word, guys. Nobody knew it, though, I feel like. That is actually a real word. It existed. I think they got a glimpse of tomato actually pathing in the trees. The English expert was wrong. He did exist. <laughs> they, have, they have got flair if they want to try and scout him. I'm an integrous guy. Yeah, with Lincoln, still not an easy catch. Vavoka needs to be like, literally, he needs to jump as clockwork is hooking in. Uh, if you want to catch that. Morphling. It's all on Tomato's shoulders. We've seen OG come back a 22k lead with Morphling in a similar situation. I do have some hopes though. The game slowing down, giving. That sounds like a pretty shit word, word though. I like being an integer better. Sounds mathematical and nice. 
It's not great you're playing into Bookshot and Roar, but it's something. Like, you're getting there. You're m a little bit harder to kill in fights if nothing else. Kylo Ren is 21 months, man. I have a plan to fix Soji's image. Rehire Gorge for third time. I like it, I like it. So whenever OG loses, people won't spam Soji. Yeah. True. I'm in. That's four stuff. Oh! Nice, uh, nice sleep though. He dodged a lot of damage, but BZM still taking way too much damage here. He's surviving a while and he got BKB off. He's turning on the gyrocopter. They're focusing him. Can they kill him fast enough though? He's healing so much. I don't know if this is satanic. He linked the gyro. They can't kill him though. Oh, somebody please finish this gyro. Tomato will. There we go. Double kill for Tomato. He also killing up the lion. I didn't see that. Amazing. They're doing it. OG magic, guys. OG magic. Or did they pay the enemy team? Hmm. Nah, it's OG magic, guys. Don't worry. No one die. That's massive, like massive. The, the, the fact that they managed to rescue TA there and BZM with that. Wait a sec. All he had to do is just survive long enough. You know, you just survive long enough. So Stop pretending all of a sudden. That really magic. Go get him into Grusso. Thank you, they're blonde, man. Fuck Tiger. Integrus. Alright. Actually, magic, boys. Let's go. Any tips for Morphling? Also, love your streams. You are the best boss. Gotta get a lot of practice on Morphling and don't be afraid of dying every now and then. That's all I can give you, brother. That's all I can give you. He's Don't watch my replays. <laughs> he has it actually. He just purchased, finished the recipe. My morphlings are getting better lately, though. I practice them a little bit. I stopped being scared of the hero, so I don't mind playing him now. It's a very scary hero to play. Because you always feel like, ash, I could have done something there. I could have morphed this, I could have done that. Fums, yo, my motherfucking man with the 10 gifted subs. Thank you, brother. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate that, bro. The Boku goes full drain instead. They're coming though. Oh, roar! And they're gonna be able to. They Dude, they're doing it. They're actually doing it. They're back. Oh, they're back. They're actually they're back. back. They're Thank you, Fumps. Appreciate that, bro. Vintage, not even one K. And look, IG had a fantastic game. And people have become this. better against more than before. Yeah, people kind of know how the hero works, especially like some. Especially, I think in. Not even just in lower brackets, but in general, right? If you... Uh, the Whisper die on this, by the way? I don't even remember. All right, he survived. Um, you kind of overcommit on the hero sometimes, and you can lose a fight. Or you're, like, too scared to hit him. That's also, like, a thing that can happen. You're like, ah, we can never kill Morphling, he'll just morph strength. And sometimes you just have to hit him in a fight, you know? There's no choice. I was going to say lifeline, but honestly, it was their play that got them Six months seems to be the, the time, my, how long I usually last. Six months to nine. Yeah, hopeless deaths or deaths that didn't, you know, that were unforced. So, see what OG can do off the back of this now. The way I see it, Chat, I saw Gork up. playing PUBG at 5am last so night. Man, you exposed me, Moon. I did also play a pub at 7am in the morning. <laughs> I saw my Weaver game. Uh, I thought about it. I was like, I can't sleep, dude. Can't sleep. So I played a Life Slur game, guys. Don't worry. I won, guys. 27 po seven points in the bag. I saw it. Yeah, pretty, pretty amusing concept. Nice split used. Here we go. Whisper needs to keep his pandas alive though, but they're pretty tanky now. They're not as easily killed. Look, he's turning on nothing to say. He linked them. Oh boy, this could be bad. They're gripping gyro. I like it. I like it a lot. Dude, they're winning. They got their morphling is here. It's online as fuck. They're killing nothing to say. Beautiful. Oh man. Temado is so unkicked after this game. He he was on the list, he's off the list. Seb is happy again. And then Seb as well again with the roll onto the gyrocopter, they were able to get him from four. Very score. nice. Maybe you were right in the end. Maybe they did need those three defeats. You yeah, know, crossed off. Break them and force them back into shape because this is looking great. Full comfort zone heroes, of course. Blue on offlane, BZM, TA, Mado on the morphling.
IG is throwing pretty hard this game. It's, I mean, it's, it looks very throwy and it looks like they're stupid, but in theory, their lineup is not good against Morphling. So if they just fuck up once, this kind of happens, like a snowball type of effect. And obviously, Brew is an extremely solid team fighter, and TA is TA. You know, she just provides a lot of damage. But Morphling is the one really rampaging these fights with the stolen link and all that. They can't really deal with. If Tomato is also opting to steal him over the Gyro, I think that's a good choice. The link is too fucking good. The reason Link is broken on Morphling, guys, is because when you steal Morph, and you steal uh, Razor, for some reason, when you Link, you, like, hit uh, twice, right? You can hit twice as many times while you're Linking. Razor can only hit once, right? Like, he's disarmed during his Link, basically, but Morphling isn't. It's kind of weird. Two things that... One for TA, the other just for overall damage. And Timado is not really that far away from Razor. I hardly knew her. Good one. Wise to maybe wait for it, but is Nigma losing on purpose now the too? Hmm, they might be. That would explain a lot. I mean, they do have Miracle. Hold up. How would Miracle ever lose unless it was on purpose? I don't know if you get a clean kill. I feel like if a if if like three to two video came out about Miracle, people would be like, "Oh, I knew it, man. No way he would lose games." It's a miracle. They'd be like grateful. Whispers. He knows he's there, then he doesn't care. Just brews up. They're like happy. And that's it. Stays there. Could they force it on IG? I'm thinking. Yeah, if he wanted to win, he would just win. With, but there's a trap in the pit. They should know. So just sending Monet is sending Monet in just doesn't feel right. I wouldn't mind if they drop a sentry in the pit and just. In there. I'm sad we don't see secret in this post group thing. It was so close yesterday for them, really. They just got timber saw twice and got fucked over. That scared me. Okay. Whisper is a living ward, guys. What do you want to do? You want to hook shot him? I don't think so. They actually have pretty low damage if you think about it. I don't like this Razor Satanic build so much. I think it's kind of like too... Like, why? You know what I mean? Like, you can't really hit the TA so well. The Morphling doesn't give a fuck about your static. It's like 40 armor. I feel like he actually needed a different item here. And it might have, might have actually cost him the game. Because when you're kind of outdrafted like this with the Morphling, one item can cost you a lot. Tomato baiting. Uh, sending in an illusion. Tomato could steal this, but it's a bait stealing this, because then it puts his ulti on cooldown. So you don't want to do that yet. Really don't think IJ need to force this. They're pinging it. They're pinging. They're waiting for this. It's a huge top wave push as well. Like you have three range creeps. Uh, it looks like Koji might have to force or go back with someone. You gotta make a call though pretty soon. Yeah, you got Glyph. Invite Pile Die. Pile Die is finally. No, no, Pile Die is not qualified to this. Sad. How did they find the angle? Whisper, just aggressive charge in from the brew. Okay. Instant primal split. And what's the call? How are they going to be able to enter the fight off the back of this as well? They want to try and deal with the supports tomorrow. Early peek at me from Baboka, Baboka's the trees. They don't get a clean kill. It's actually bad, kind of bad fight for OG. They're killing all the Brewlings. They roared him so he couldn't press his shard. No, I didn't even know that was possible. Goddamn. Well played by IG. He does buy back though, but this is a Brew without a split. A Panda without his mates. He's just alone and sad. Oh, they got the Hex on Tomato. This is actually good if they get to get him low here. Maybe even kill him. They got him slapped up, but... Okay, Tomato does kill Exnova in the back. Whisper in here without buyback, by the way. Gotta, gotta run. They're killing him with grip, though. Very nice. Tomato's back. He doesn't give a shit. He's hitting the gyrocopter. Goes on Baboka. Better target. Buybacks are happening, though. Gyro's flacking it up, but it doesn't matter. He's dead too fast. Oof. Morphling is just too much of a menace in this fight. It, I don't know, dude. If they got the Mo Morphling burst there, though, it was actually kind of close. Because there was a big dragon pushing in, so he was worried about them maybe ratting mid. But like you said, let's see how close that was. It was actually genuinely pretty close. 
it really feels like it's better He's Lincoln though. I guess they didn't IG think about that too much. That's how it looks like. like no, that was good good Lincoln break. Ah, it's, so ah, it's close. Four staff, double four staff plus sleep. Got him the fuck out of there. Nicely done by IG at the beginning, but OG just outplayed them. The moment you, you focus the Madeline, or any target that is, the double four staff, the sleep, uh, the glimmer cape, it made all the difference in that fight. Yeah, I, well, ha, I'm looking at this. This Razor is so weak. He is very weak, guys. He is very weak. What's going on then? The outpost. That's the thing you said was there. Do you. Do you feel like Dai need to like reconsider their target priority and go for the support? We have Butterfly instead? and Razor soon. That's at least some damage, but oof, dealing with this 25k net worth Morphling, guys, it's hard. He's going Scotty and Monet. This is actually a build we've seen some gyros do unsuccessfully against the Morphlings before. Because Morphling usually just gets a BKB and doesn't give a shit about you. And he already has one on Tomato, so yeah. Damn. Send all the creeps and clockwork. OG lost the Razor too much, they know his weakness, Pog. Yeah, I mean, honestly, the fact that Morphling slips through against both Razor and Gyro, I don't know how that's possible. That's a huge blunder by IG. And now that I think about it, also suspicious. And also... Hmm. Why does Morphling slip through the ban? They set it up so perfectly. And they're a Morphling team as well. You think Razor is still viable? I still lose it. I see it lose all the time. All right, guys. After this, we are watching Falcons versus Quest. So I refrain from saying Razor is bad in any sort of way before we see Falcons play it. All right. They will not care about how many people are losing with this hero. They're gonna pick it anyway. So. Ancient Guardian Gyro. That's the best best item for you. Under damage while you're defending. Pretty pog. Is a way of dealing with it. That's the fucker. It's not just the fucker, guys. It's also the Malrini. Botlane has no tower, by the way. So someone what? needs to go. Pity gold. All right. Yeah, you can. You, you can force it forward as well. Like if you're a gyro, that's yeah. Just haven't seen the mechanic in such a long time. Nothing to see. Ready to wrap around. Guys, I need to one up Quinn actually. His new one, one, uh, one rank one against five heralds. What if I do me versus five guardian players? Isn't that the next rank? I should do that and I one up him. And then it, we'll see how long you can go. And Quinn will try against four legends or whatever it is. Okay, split is used here. I will lose. I maybe I will lose. It will be funny. Link is used, they went back, I nothing to say, is dead, no buyback. Whisper baited a lot of damage that fight without dying too. Oh, the Seb with the sleep on the gyro on the back, disgusting. Actually disgusting. And now they're gonna go on gyro, he's flacking, but it's not enough. It's over, guys, I think. They have triple buyback, but this feels so over. They've not been able to win a fight since they lost one. There are three buybacks. All three of them need to. All of them. Yeah, they have to. But you gotta get something. And Seb is just not enough. Maybe JT can catch someone with the raw, but the Hello, first Mr. starts to get them out. Not an old fan of yours, I but I do enjoy the way you entertain while playing such a stressful great, game. Yeah, that is pretty stressful, man. Your advice to get fast but MMR around 2k. Anyway. Fast MMR. Maxes, right? like, speedy. Wicked MMR. MMR. So you're two sides up. You're two sides up. Just got a... Um, just gonna bribe the enemy team. The Ask for their PayPal's and bribe them. To throw for you. Easy clap. This is. You lose one fight. This game might just. Your grief, I suppose. I don't know. This is really risky business. <laughs> Too soon. Back up. That's a very OG answer. Alright, alright, relax guys, relax, relax. Just a joke. Anything big? Like, there yeah, are no big items that will well, come for us. I hate being in the spot of IG. It feels so bad because... Yeah, you played really well most of the game, but you made one mistake. And now the game feels unplayable because of draft. It's still playable, but we have to rely on Tomato fucking up. He just doesn't seem like the Morphling type that fucks up a lot though, right? I don't think so. 
Yeah, the problem is like they were buying all these big items on, on the dire side. Like Razor went for Butterfly, you can see the Gyro queued up a Skadi much much earlier. And now those items that could maybe change the way the fights are played aren't going to be there, so... Mr. Seb, Mr. Seb. Like completely in OG they got state. second racks too, yeah. Aegis will be gone though, like it will be reclaimed. They're doing very good. Oh wait, oh, they got second racks on IG, oh I didn't see that. You know what, there is some potential for IG here, I will not discount it completely. Rapier Gyro, always, of course, but also Refresher Razor, massive this game, potentially. Massive, if you can get there. But yeah, bottom right lane was being ratted by Beast, I see, I didn't see it, notice that. So, it did get a second Rax down on uh, IG at least. I see hope, I see hope. I see hope. Dude, maybe we should set up the five Guardians thing, guys, it sounds kind of fun, right? I might lose, but it would be funny to try at least, you know? If I if I win, then there's a YouTube video at hand, you know? Like you can't play the normal game of Razor anymore. The one in which you just run in. Maybe if he had the Halberd or something. He's just rocking a talisman of evasion. I will lose. I mean quit one against five heralds. Um they are too. Would be funny. Yeah. That's that's keeping them in at least. Like top My algebra is a crusader. Wait, which one is the low second lowest rank, guys? Is it Guardian or Crusader? I don't know which one it is. The one that's the second lowest. Do you think this should be a Halberd instead of a Butterfly for nothing to say? I'm a Herald, can I join? No. Herald is a lot worse than Guardian. I do believe that, because Herald is like 0 to 500, right? So it's quite a big difference. I won't mind the Halberd though, just to use... Five Guardians conveniently picked by Gork himself. I mean, who knows? Maybe the other video is rigged too, you know? We didn't question it. Maybe Butterfly everything is rigged. This razor to mm. scale much, much better. So you'll be able to dish out some bonus damage in these fights, unlike like the halberd. So. Very low level. We'll is nothing to say. Level twenty. We already have a couple twenty fives. I think that could be good. Action instances from BZM. MKB queued up for him. Do you wonder when he goes that Do it after this game, I'll win for next game. To, to yeah, we push. can maybe figure it out. I don't think he needs if I lose, I lose, guys. Then we get sweep it under the rug and we move on with life. Worried about the split push, but they're in such a commanding position right now. That That's the plan. To even push out these waves. If we win, I'm confirmed better than Quinn at least. That's what matters. All they need realistically is one fight, right? There are three buybacks we're committed on three cores of IG. All you need is this one fight. Rosh may respawn in 40 seconds. Let's see how disciplined they are. They lost so many games today that <clears throat> I think that's also maybe affecting them a little bit. What MMR? Because uh, yeah, just I'm exposing all the Guardians in chat now, but what MMR range is Guardian, guys, okay. compared to Herald? What, course, what is Guardian? When do you hit it, you know? Game. You're a Beastmaster, Jar, Razor, Bolt back previously. So uh, ev every single call on G2 IG without a buyback. Thousand? And. 1100. You are going to get lucky. All right. I mean, this is. Yeah. Has Someone has a ranks thing linked to me. Let me see. I mean, this one is accurate. I don't know. If this is old, though. Okay. Guardian 1 starts at 770 MMR, guys. It does give you some see? more damage, right? 770. So, we want people around 770 to like 900. You know? That's the. That, like, we don't want them too high. We want them Guardian 1, Guardian 2, maybe at most. The low Guardians, because I think there's a big difference between being ranked se uh, 7 or more and 2k. I mean, uh, there's gonna be a huge difference, right? Oh shit, Seb's dead. How's it working though? Nothing saying actually walks it off. No, he dies to the trap, holy shit. Timato taking no damage and he's killing Monet. Unlucky, I guess. They're trying their hardest, their darnest to kill the Waterman, but they can't. No buyback on two of them. And now they can chase down the stragglers. is gonna be caught out of the river. You will get the TP away from Paboka, but walk it down now. Yeah, pretty much. Just OG magic. JT. 80% of chat. Might try to do something about it, but there is nothing to do. Whisper already moved back. He's got travels. That's one of the ways to, of dealing, right? Like with the uh, magic. You just buy travels, you go back. And look at JT even trying to go around, like hoping maybe if the creeps go. Yeah, I mean, you see Tomato. I mean, Mone trying to man fight Tomato. Tomato has like 50 armor. He doesn't give a shit about this gyro. And on top of that, if you guys are noticing, gyro does not have BKB, I think. Or does he? No, I, I don't think he has BKB, so he gets mega countered by Tomato Scotty as well. 
can't believe how broken BKB is to be when it went through. I mean, Scandi was when it went through BKB. Now it's very trash if you have BKB, but yeah. Hey, thank you, Gandhi. I appreciate that, brother. Revenant's brooch is a dead item, boys. Revenant's brooch is a dead item. At least 25 seconds till the raise is back alive, but both got. They're so indecisive. Like, they can go thrown. They have 20 seconds, though, and there is a glyph. Oh, there's a Raper on Tomato. Oh, it's coming out of the car right now. It actually still doesn't have it just oh, yet. I have to check something. Oh, they should Hello, ladies. Fast. I was just looking at the video. Ten seconds. You just gotta throw bodies. How long is it? Bodies. Not it's that long. It. They're gonna kite them. Tomato's just gonna avoid them at all costs. See, Whisper's right clicking oh, the Oh, here we go. Explodes. Nice comeback, Boji. Triple G's by Tomato again. It was quadruple before, but now they're small. So... He did perform this game, he did perform. I think OG overall, they needed this win or it was basically this span time, you know, I don't know. <laughs> With all the shit going on, they lost their first three games, they won this one. Sometimes Seb is like already out of there, you know, his wife is like, you better come in there right now. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but, um, what do I want to say? Sometimes it feels bad playing really well the last game of the day because you're like, wait, why didn't we do that the rest of the day, right? Why didn't we win all our other games like this? Was it super convincing? No, it wasn't. Why didn't we? I wouldn't say OG even necessarily played this game particularly well until they got that comeback, um, comeback kill. They were actually, they were actually almost lo losing this game. Very close. Uh, Morphling manages to very to close to losing this game. My problem is like, all right, let's see what's on the docket, boys. Let's what's on the docket, well. lads. We have times. two more series, huh? I am tempted to do the thing right now. We have Falcons versus PSG Quest soon. I'm not sure what's Heroic versus Aurora's Boom versus Aurora has already basically started. I hope we see more of this. Let's see how much did this lead go up to? I don't even remember. What 15 20 minutes of, of this series. Because it, it looked like the OG that we should expect. Like the team that actually can put up a fight versus okay. tier 1 teams. I don't want to like... Nothing to say. Mm. Uh, this game in particular, we really felt the support impact as well from OG. Which is something that has been... I mean, it's very mm -hmm. easy to not feel that in losses. Because you just have no net worth and... like no level, down. You're not really able to have a lot of impact. But I think in this victory... I really wonder how different this game would actually look if we didn't have like back-to-back -back fights where yep. you get double force. It was like a 9k lead here. This was the comeback fight, I think. Yeah. Tomato opened this fight by killing Lion, which was really good. This is the most important fight of the game. And they slept the Razor most of the fight. They chased down the Gyro somehow. He was way too deep. Something was wrong with this Gyro's item build, right? No way he should die like that. But then after this, the game was actually pretty smooth sailing for OGs. OGs. Okay. Another like one with nine batches. Bet Boomers Aurora. This game has not started yet, so we have time, guys. All right, fuck it. Let's do it. Let's do the video, guys. I need five players from chat, right? I need five players. Um, your MMR should be Guardian 1 or Guardian 2, right? We're going to make a lobby, right? We're going to make a lobby right now. We're making it. We're doing it, guys. We're doing it right now because we have nothing to do. So we're going to wait for it. We need five players from chat. Okay. Guardian 1 or Guardian 2? We're gonna do this experiment the same way they did. So we're gonna do the win versus 5 heralds. Let's see here. Let's see. Where was it? We're gonna do the same heroes as they did as well. To make it fair, you know? Clinks, Snap, Puck, Primal, Venge. Those are the 5 heroes, guys. We're gonna do those 5 heroes. That's the plan. Didn't have his so, the top 1% of the 1%, boys. Guardians, I'm calling you. Guardian 1, Guardian 2. How do I confirm you, though? Mm, I guess the way we do it, I create a lobby. Anybody can join. And then I just kick people that are the wrong rank, right? If you're a smurf, shame on you. Uh, but also, you will ruin the YouTube video. Imagine, you can be in a, you can be in a famous YouTube video, guys. If you... If you uh, Aren't smurfing and you lose, you know? You can be there. You can, you can use a different nickname if you're ashamed that your family will see it. But that's okay. It's just for fun, you know? Not a very accurate representation of anything. I am slightly lower MMR than Quinn. Maybe like a thousand, fifteen hundred MMR lower than Quinn. But that's not, in the grand scale of things, if you compare it, it's not that much, right? 
Yeah, maybe it will have an impact, maybe it won't. Let's do it, guys. Okay, I'm gonna make a title. 1v5 versus 5 Guardian players. Uh, watching, oh, watching Falcon's Quest after. Let's go, let's go. Uh, custom lobbies. Great. Okay, so how do we do this? How do we do this? Da, 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 da. Have fun chat. Yeah, let's go. Uh, we have to do... Uh, edit. Okay, I have to in disable cheats. Lobby friend. Public. Europe West. I hope you guys don't mind Europe West. Uh, all pick. Yeah. Lobby password. One, two, three. One, two, three. One. All right. One, two, three, one, three, one. You can join. Uh, check your ranks and see if it's good. And then we go. You have to pick the five, five same heroes. You have to decide amongst yourselves who plays what. But the five required heroes, according to the YouTube video, was... Let me double check, guys. Walter. For sure. But, uh, I, I All right. See, like, the five required heroes were... So far, uh, wait, I have to double check. Quinn versus five heralds. I'm gonna start kicking people soon. I'm changing the password real fast. Or that or that. My streamer doing some actual variety. What year is this? I know, right? I know. It's still just a customized match of Dota, but I appreciate the effort. Okay, so Clinks, Clinks, Snap, Puck, Primal, Venge. Those are the five heroes, guys. Clink, Snap, Primal, Venge. All right, let's check everybody's ranks here. We've been trying to get him out, but the Dota How do we see people's ranks? This guy doesn't have a rank. If you don't have a rank, he needs IT. I don't know how to see their rank, guys. This guy earned the Immortal March 27th. All right, look, bro. Get the hell out of here, bro. This is not for you. I know my viewers are gonna be very high rank on average, but how do we find how do we find their MMRs? Hmm. You cannot view ranks in lobby. How do we even join? I made a password so some people joined, but I have to filter through these guys. This guy has 7,000 commands. I'm already kicking him. There's no way he's guarding. Maybe he is, though. Maybe he is. How do I, how do I check them, guys? Dota buff? Alright. Uh, that's a good idea. Let's watch this guy's profile. He seems to have a spicy profile. Earned Guardian 1 on Monday. Wait, why does he have Immortal logo, though? Is that real? I'm Crusader 1.9k. That's too high, Bendover. You've exposed. That's too high. We want low Crusaders. Low. Low as you can go. My, we might as well, you know, like <laughs> when we're at it. I don't want Crusader 5s or anything. I'll take a Crusader 1 or some Or 2. I'll do a 2, you know. I'm not that scared, but if we're doing it for the sake of the YouTube video, if I have, want to have a chance of winning, it has to be low, guys. Uh, this one has a private profile. Let's check out this guy's Dota buff. This guy says Guardian 3. I mean, that's on the upper limit of it for sure. It's on the upper, upper limit. He plays a lot of Dota too. Hmm, he even plays Puck. Hmm, we keep... We can find better. We can find Guardian 1 to 2, right? Just Guardian 1 to 2. That's the requirement, guys. Night for Smurf 1 to 5. I did, yeah. Of course I did. We have to make the requirement. At least I want as high much high chance of winning as possible. I'll go. Okay. Anyone? Guardian one to two. Baz Azaman has five hundred games total. All right, I'll keep you. You're, you're, I'll keep you, Baz Azaman. I'll keep you. Fine. Big ticks, big MMR. That's just how I'll keep you. Ika fan. Let's check this guy out. I am Guardian 1. You are... S no, wait, wait a second. Oh yeah, he's Guardian 1. You're in, don't worry. Okay, so you go... Uh, go... Dire... Whack. I'm playing with 200 pings. Go Dire. No, 200 ping does not caught it. You're too high rank, obviously. Okay. We're gonna do it rank-wise. Can you mute background? Yeah, yeah, I'll do it. I will, I will, I will. I have to one-up Quinn, guys. Let's go. I think my, you know, I think my expertise in Bristol is gonna shine through here. I'm Herald 2. That's actually too low, Anna. That's actually too low. If you are Herald 2. Can you link, link Dota buffs? 
Okay, this is the requirement. You join the lobby, guys, and you link, link the auto buffs, okay? That's the requirement. You have to link the auto buff. One, two, three, one, two, three, one. Same password as before. All right. I want guardian one to two. Don't waste my time if you're not guarding one to two. I'm unranked and only play turbo. Nah, we gotta, we gotta, gotta have it 100%. Okay, that's too many people. Oh shit, help, 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 help. Jesus, okay. okay. Gotta link Dota buffs, guys. Gotta link Dota buffs. Miracle? Jesus, what are these pro- Why does everybody have such lewd profiles? Jesus, relax, boys. I'm Guardian for five years. There's so many people here. Check my profile. Lancer. Dota buff. Okay, good. Someone's linking Dota buff. The only way you qualify, you link Dota buff. Otherwise, you're kicked instantly, guys. Uh, this guy is legend on his Dota buff, so he's out. Bass X, you are out. Where are you? There's so many fucking people here. Where's is, where is Bass X? Wait, no, Mr. Anderson. Sorry, Mr. Anderson. A little bit too high. We gotta we gotta, we gotta keep it low. But you are based, so sorry. Okay, Space Dandy. Let's see, this guy is Guardian 5, a little bit too high, Space Dandy, sorry. We're gonna have to filter you out, but I appreciate you signing up, though. Wait, maybe it is Guardian 1. Maybe this is not updated. Maybe we'll keep this guy, we'll see. Serenity. Let's see, this guy is Divine. I'm kicking that guy for sure. Sorry, bro. Kick from Lobby. What else we got? You'd love yourself now. Let's see. This guy is immortal. Bro, guys, stop it. Stop link. Stop stop joining if you're immortal. I just have to kick you. That's all. What the fuck, guys? Why are my Dejan, bros? Why is this place so clean? The dolphin within, thanks, man. Just got here. What's happening? Can I join? It's a banned line, guys. I'm a certer I'm a certified hate watcher, just a bit high. I'm sorry then, post not clarity. Bend over. Sorry, brother. Sorry. It's okay, though. I'm an account buyer. Trust me. I do not trust you. I already don't trust you. Guardian Crusader aren't that much different. Yes, but for the video, guys. We're doing it for the video. It needs to be clean. It needs to be clean. Otherwise, we're gonna have, like, actually, Gork actually played against this guy and he was an anime. You know? We can't have any heralds. We can't have any... anything in between. It has to be clean, guys. Clean video. Alright. Let's keep going. What do we have? Dark Web. Did you post your... Dark Web. Okay. Get some more. Dark Web posted. He is... It says on his profile he's Archon 5. But that might be old. I don't know. It might be updated a while ago. Doesn't say anything on his profile. 3,500 matches? This guy's way too experienced, bro. Get the hell out of it, Dark Web. It's fine. We'll, fi we'll find people, guys. We have two already. We have two. We have two. We just need three more. Anir Butter Masala. Wait. Lancer. Lancer looks good. I like Lancer. Let's keep Lancer. We have Lancer, Bass, Ashman, and Quack Quick, yeah? We need two more only. Two more. Let's see. Paneer Butter Masala. Guardian 3. Alright, that will have to do. You're in as well? Uh, I don't know what we did with the Iron Cross guy. Did he post anything? I don't think he posted anything. I'm kicking everybody that doesn't post. Shamin Yuzi. Kicking you, you didn't post. MC Boss. You have 4,200 commands. I think you're already too high, probably. Kick, kick. Tim, Tams, and Coffee. Did you link something? Anna posted something. Who was that? I mean, you were Divine 3. I saw you, Anna, already. Okay, Michael Jordan. Let's see. Let's click his profile. Uh, he has a Star Ladder Season 10 thing. So he's already an experienced guy. All right. We have four, three, three or four people. We need one more. One more. All right. We have three or four people. We need one more. Password of lobby. No, it's hidden right now. Uh, we have too many people joining. So, let's see. Madarafaka. This guy. Oh, he's Guardian 1. Perfect. Uh, no, that's four. That's what we have four. We need one more. Only one person. Only one more person. Uh, can you link Jordan? You have ten... No, wait. He link Jordan, link your Dota buff. And Tim Tams and Coffee, you also have 10 seconds to link it. 10 seconds. I don't see them linking here, right? It's alright. Let's see. That's five? Are we at five? Wait, who's the last one? Paneer. Oh, that's five. Yeah, you're right. Alright, that's it, boys. That's it. Kick, kick. Sorry, thank you for trying to participate, guys. But, uh, 
You know, not everybody can make it. Wait, hold up. We want Lancer in here. Who do I replace? Space Dandy, right? I think Space Dandy. I didn't check this guy, did I? I don't think I checked that guy. I think he's out. Okay. Kick. All right. Go. XDD. I checked this guy, right? Did I check Paneer but Butter Masala, guys? I don't know if I checked them. Take Lancer. Oh, you're too. Oh, he left. Okay, we need one more. One more. We actually need one more. We need one more. All right. Opening up the lobby, guys, for a little bit. Just need one more person. Please don't join. Oh, wait. What, who are these people? Walt. No, you're out. I hate Watcher only. <laughs> Gork 14k soon. Uh, they're making fucking broadcast channels, <laughs> chat. What the fuck Guys is this, man? Some random guardian's profile. He left. Gorge isn't checking Steamid and Dota buff profile ID. No, I'm checking. I'm actually checking. Water. I'm sorry. I'm gonna kick you if you guys respect it. You're gonna watch the stream. Tika fan. Wait, wasn't Tika fan low enough, guys? I thought I checked him. Hmm. Didn't I check that guy? Good vibes, Mito. I think this guy has immortal on his profile. We kick him. Is this guy? I'm just gonna kick him. Whatever. Let's get a new guy. One more last guy. Fuck it. Let's not waste time. Not waste time. Um, where's the thing? Edit. Our password is one two three one two three two. That's it. One two three one two three two. I'm gonna have to remove this password fast so when people do one two three one three two. Couple people joining. Okay. Okay. All right. There's already too many fucking people. I'm kicking you. Where are you? He started hiding. Where is he? I saw him, dude. Kick. Smurf smurfing. I'm already kicking this guy. I already, I already don't trust him. Um, <laughs> stop hiding. Swala. All right. Angry Manu linked. Angry Manu. It says you are a little bit too high rank. Sorry. I don't know if this. I mean, I don't know if Dota buff is updated correctly, but probably not. Kick. I got Guardian one month ago. It says Herald five on Dota buff. That's exactly what I'm talking about. You're in Eru. Everybody else is kicked. That's the kind of just on the limit people I need <laughs> to be able to win. All right, I'm kicking everybody. Sorry guys, he qualified before. He had a very nice sentence. Sir, Surge. But I'll have everybody else's backup. All right. Well, who was it? Eru. All right. Kick. 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 Sorry guys, stop hiding! I see him trying to jump around. Alright, there we go. Who the hell is this guy? <laughs> He's scary, bro. Alright. Let's go, that's it. Okay, guys, requirement. Requirements. You have to pick this draft of heroes. Um, Puck, Clinks, Primal, Venge, and what was the last hero? That they played on the Quinn thing. Let's see. Uh, and snap. And snap. Fuck Link's Primal Avenge snap. Those are the five heroes they have to play. Alright. Keep it the same, alright? Check Basasha Amen. He fooled you. Alright, Basasha Man, you have to link again. I appreciate you guys writing them out. Basasha's a man. Oh, Hate Watcher, nah, it looks like he's Guardian 3. It looks like it, at least. Am I mi oh, sorry, Herald 3. Is this guy, you guys trust this guy? LOL, I have 500 games LOL, is what he said. Okay, do we trust him? That is a smurf, you guys think it's a smurf? Nah, 45% win rate? Guys, it's not a smurf. 45% win rate profile. Basash is a man. It says Guardian 3. I think that's fine, right? He might be the, the smurf Captain Hate Watcher, though. You guys think he's a smurf? Why? 45% win rate. How does he have a, How is he smurfing? He has an immortal badge? No, that's just bugged. Everybody has an immortal badge when I click on them. Or does he have it somewhere else? No. Linked. You're legit, right? Look at the stats of last games. It looks pretty normal. 
Five and nine Pudge, six, seven, eight, five, thirteen, twelve. That does not look smurfy to me. Looks normal-ish. Twenty-seven and four Monkey King game though. Hold up. Who played here, bro? Who the hell played there? I am legit. All right. All right. Let's go, boys. Let's go. You remember the heroes you have to pick? Decide amongst yourself who plays what. Let's go. I hope I created this lobby correctly. All right. Let's go. Let's do it, boys. Let's do it. It's go time. Go time. Did I do single draft? Don't tell me I did single draft. Why are you guys Pepe laughing? I'm not scared of Guardians, guys. I'm just trying to make the thing correct. He might be a fucking immortal... Immortal or something. Wait, this guy... Okay. Alright. I play the Bristler. OG Tiger caught for Heroes. Check Reddit. Puck, Venge, Clinks, Primal, Snap. You can play whatever you want. You can buy whatever items you want. There's no restrictions on anything as far as I know. Last two have to play Primal Snap. What do I not know, guys? One versus five. Let them go try. Yeah, you can try lane mid. You can put five heroes mid. You can put one hero mid. You can put however thing, however, you, whatever you want, guys. Whatever you want, seriously. That's all. Whatever you want. I should buy a stick because I'm playing as a lot of heroes, I think. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's let's. Let's zone in, boys. Zone in. Let's go zoning in. This is not my zone in music. Let's see. Where can we find zone in? Find a zone in zone. There's a lot of rock here. No. Oh, this is a zone in zone. I'm zoning in. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Good luck, everybody. GL. Everyone. Let's go. We're taking it to the next step, boys. <laughs> I might lose, but we will try our best. Holy shit, this guy is good, man. Fuck. I'm terrified. Bristle back here. Bristle back here. His faces need mashing. Mm -hmm. Prepare for yes. battle. Alright, GL everyone. <sighs> here we go. No stream sniping either, guys. No stream sniping. That would be unethical. Because I don't think they could have stream sniped Quinn because he wasn't streaming. No stream sniping, guys, okay? Bit of work to do. No, preferably close the stream completely, but no stream sniping, alright? The color mocha. Do I have to cover map? I don't know, I'm kind of scared. He will wear you out. I'm telling you, Guardian players have never seen that ward in their whole life. That way. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, it's not time yet, mate. Mm -hmm. By all means. Oi, one step at a time. Here we go. Mm. your brain. One step at a time. Begins. Oh, free room? Nice. I'll take it. Living la vida loca. These faces need mashing. Our devil red. The color mocha. You're a beautiful person with a charming oh, personality. Now I feel better. Oh, they're gonna do solo puck mid. Wow. Yes. Interesting. Here we go. Against Quinn, I think they try lane. Like a bullet to the brain, oh no. One step at a time. Your bottom tower is under attack. You know, sir. I'm under attack. You're getting me flat up now. Uh. Here we go. Ah. 
I don't know. Should I get a bottle here? I don't know. There's a lot of things they can do this game. I hope they just don't do them, you know? Bring your lights out. There you are. I think they're actually using their brains on this one. I feel like I'm not aggressive enough. I need to not respect this guy. I'll sort this out. I need to unres unrespect them. Don't even try. Only miracle can be better than Quinn. Oh fuck. Your bottom tower is uh, I don't think I should buy a bottle, actually. I think I gotta take some risks, guys. I can't win with this without first blood. They're free farming two lanes. <laughs> and maybe more, you know? They might be jungling too, who knows. Like, I'm happy winning mid, but maybe I shouldn't be, I don't know. That's a gank. Good shit, good shit. First thing in the morning. First thing in the morning, yeah? First thing in the morning. The boot delivery came in clutch, boys. The first one. Oh, I'm so bad. Uh, go this. Your bottom tower is under attack. Your bottom tower is under attack. Might die here, but I think it's fine. Ah, fuck. If I survived for the stick, I would have killed him and I would have gone bounty. But that's okay, I think. Uh, let's see. I'm not sure if this is the play, but let's do it anyway. Hopefully, it's the play to lose Bloodstone. It was really close. I get the rune here and survive. I had four stick. I just needed to get it off somehow. I would have been super happy then. Your top tower that's a level 5 kill though, they got a lot of XP. Good TP by Snap, maybe that's something the Heralds wouldn't do, that the Guardians did. Now you finally understand how the other immortal players feel playing against you. Churro, churro. Oh, Vero, I'll take it. Yeah, I know, they're free farming side lanes, guys. There's not much I can do about it. <laughs> not much I can do about it. Your bottom tower is under attack. The bench sitting here is preventing me from like diving and killing this puck all the time. Top tower is under attack. And I have to deal with side lane soon enough. I have to address it. Here we go. Your bottom tower is under attack. Not yet. Black bastard. I'll sort this. Your bottom tower is under attack. I'll sort this out. Okay. We need to we need to start abusing something. I don't know. This is too slow right now. I can't. If I get no kills, it's not good. Alright, good. 
Say again? Let the world end now. It matters not to me. Your top tower is under attack. Your top tower has fallen. Is my top tower falling? Lynx is getting fat, boys. <laughs> that is ein problem. Alright, let's... Hmm. Jungling is not worth it, right? I was thinking about stacking for myself, but yeah. Your top tower is under attack. One step at a time. Shit. Is he smart enough? That way. Your bottom tower is under attack. That's yeah, not a worthless place. By all means. Your top tower is under attack. Oh my god, he went for a TP. That's not enough, fuck. I could have killed him. He could have just gone in this. No, 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 no advice, no advice, friends. No advice, no advice. No advice, no ba da ba da ba No giving guardians advice. That's not part of the guardian motto, dude. You can't give them advice. That's not part of the deal, bro. No, give it, of course you can give them advice and they'll play better, but we shouldn't do that. Fuck, this guy's dewarding me. Not good. I wonder if Quinn got dewarded. I feel like he did not. Your bottom tower is under attack. Fuck, no rune for me. 50-50 luck gone. Dodge. One step at a time. Your bottom tower is under attack. Your bottom tower has fallen. Alright. I'll sort this out. See, maybe they left these, you know, you never know. Left one. I don't know how much gold that gives me. Does it give me only 45 or 45 times 5? I think it only gives me 45, right? So not that amazing. I have to deal with this guy eventually, actually. I think we got attack speed actually. Uh, he's too smart. He's gonna TP. I need to abuse TPs more, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. I don't think this tower is that much under threat, but I'll have to defend it eventually. Tier 2s is not something I want falling out of the way. By the way, why didn't I glyph? I should have glyphed. Shit, they're getting ulties now, guys. I just realized. Puck is level 6. God damn it. Some spells, boys. All good. Up tower still alive. All right. Gotta abuse everything. It's not gonna be easy, guys. It's only gonna get harder for me. 1v5. They have too many spells, you know? Fuck. 
Fuck. I should have done it. I knew he would be gonna TP. He's not that stupid. He's, he did it last time, he would do it again. He realized the power of TPing. We have to buy an item to stop their TPing. I mean, if they got to pick their own hero and counter Bristleback, I'm fucked, right? If they pick Viper and everything. I just did the same videos that Quinn did in the video. Not going on this for sure. This is the bait. Okay. Let's go Ags, I think, for some firepower. Oops, no TP needed. Clinks is ratting me, bro, a lot. I don't like it. He's the big problem. I'm gonna have to buy, like, something to kill him later, man. Or I'm fucked. Like, he's ratting too hard right now. He's Orchid soon. Alright, alright. He's using the big old noggin. It actually worked out better, no way. <laughs> I need to use glyphs, guys. I'm not using glyphs enough. They're spawning soon enough. They might go for a kill on me now. I feel like they're probably ganking me. They don't want me to take mid tower, probably. I forgot the glyph top. I should have glyph top. For sure. I could have installed that tier 2 way longer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At least we got him out of there. That's what's important. Primal chilling bottom. You need this clinks to be worse. He needs to run. He needs to run away, you know? I'm pushing out this wave, because I have to, I think. Alright, let's keep on trucking, boys. Keep on trucking. One step at a time. Your bottom tower is under attack. It's fine, once I get items, I'm gonna blast this Klinks. He can't do this shit anymore. That was close. That was pretty close. I was actually thought I was dead. Thank God Klinks is in here, you know? Well, that's the benefit of him only riding, is that I'm not very easy to kill right now. That's a big kill. Okay. Uh, sure. 
Actually, I was thinking about the ghoul caster. It's probably better. I want to be able to chase hard. Uh, nobody's here. I should keep pushing. I need to. I need to start taking objectives, right? What should I buy? I feel like I should buy AC, right? So I can take objectives, maybe. Hmm. I want to check what Quinn bought, but I feel like it's kind of cheating. I won't do it. I'm just doing a good job pushing mid here. I'll kill him soon, though. You sure you want to hit me? You're all dead. You are all dead. Okay. We wanna kill for neutrals now. I don't wanna lose mid tower though. Let's TP mid. Mid tower is pivotal for me this game, I mean. For movement on the map. If I keep it, I can TP there and go anywhere. If I lose it, it's not good. Alright. Here we go. There we go. Come on, something good. I mean vampire fang sounds pretty fucking good. The other tempting one was uh uh light collector so I get move speed. This is also good. I feel like it's easier without teammates on Bristol, you know? More gold for me on the map. I'm just chilling. <laughs> pretty nice. Oh, oh my god. That's pre AC. I'm pretty fucking strong right now, I'm not gonna lie. Your middle tower has fallen. Oi, one step at a time. I don't know if it's worth even killing this tower, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Actually, why am I killing towers on side lanes? Like this is pointless. Fuck this. Your middle tower is under attack. Not yet. I am not ready. Your middle tower is under attack. Bring your lights out. I feel like I should just walk down one lane now, right? Pretty much. Time for a good scrap. Alright. I'm gonna buy Abyssal so they can't TP away. Actually, I don't think it matters. I think I should buy Rapier now, actually. No? Why not? I mean, it's risky, but maybe still, why not? I can end the game with the Rapier much faster. Mm. It's a bit risky though. Windwalker? Yeah, Windwalker makes me unkillable. They have a Vessel actually, but no charges on it right now. He just needs to die once and he has charges. Let's see if they want to TP. Nope. We're still splitting, splitting, pushing. Your bottom tower is full. Fuckers. Your top tower is under attack. One step at a time. There you go. Trouble's over. Oh, where are my manners? 
Your bottom yeah. Coming what? Are you on about? Make me feel. Your bottom tower is under attack. I'll sort this out. You want some of this, son? You want it? They haven't lost yet, guys. They have not lost yet. Trust me. They have not. I have not won this game yet. It's not so easy. This is basically just child abuse now. I hope One the opponents report you. Fuck it, dude. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm not sure about this one, actually. This is a, maybe a mistake, guys. This is maybe a blunder on my part. I might lose the game because of this. Why am I doing it? Why am I, this is a habit, dude. I have bad habit. I need to push lanes now. Yet, mate. For your troubles. Have some of that. It's not time yet, mate. So I'm gonna Your middle tower is under attack. Proper fashion. That way. Go mid, go mid, go mid. Outside. I'll sort this. What the fuck? You need to push him. One step at a time. I'll sort this. I'm under attack. The enemy's middle tower has fallen. Indeed. Nice, my illusions are doing it. The enemy's middle has fallen. The enemy's middle has fallen. Dire structure. Not yet. Actually, I feel like Wind Waker is better than BKB, right? It's just that I want something now. I'm buying it now. I'm scared, bro. Wait, what the fuck am I doing? Go push. Okay, I'm not playing a regular Dota game. I just want something now, you know? I was gonna buy Wind Waker, but I want to end now, so... No, I hate when that happened. I had him. It was a bit slow. Okay, split push is kind of dealt with. That's good. It's not time yet, mate. Why can't you see? BKB? Vessel. That's the only reason I'm buying BKB. Fucking Vessel. Fuck that shit. Ooh, that's a nice item. Nice uh, little shield around there. Can maybe end with it. Bit of work to do. Yeah, all those illusion. The illusion was clutch, actually. He yielded. it. Here we go. Easy cut, lads. Fuck. That's <laughs> not the hardest, hardest dodge I've ever done in my life, but yeah. Not over yet, huh? Oh, 
You think that will stop me, brother? You think that shit will stop me? Let's fucking go. What now, Quinn? What now? Gotta make another video, Jenkins. Gotta make another one. Radiant victory. Game, game, boys. GG, though. GG, thanks for playing, guys. GG, well played, guys. GG, well played. GG's. Thank you for participating. Uh, gonna go for Crusader. Is it time for them to go one, up, one step up after guarding us? Uh, let's just confirm they were all. Okay, this one didn't have a rank. Guardian 3. That guy was on Dota, but on Dota Buffy was Guardian though. Guardian, Guardian 3, and this one was also Guardian, I think, as well, on Dota Buff at least. But yeah. Nice. Easy game, boys. Easy game. Easy game. Nice. Now we got that out of the way. Let's go watch some Dota, boys. That was fun, though. That was fun. I had a good time. I was sweating, dude. I wanted to win so badly, bro. I, I wanted to win so badly. I was sweating it, bro. I got concerned when they started slow pushing, but. I don't know, you just get so much gold in a 1v5. Spoko, the new best ranked player in the world? Or did he just beat five mentally challenged people and call it a W? LLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLLL
Like it's actually, I don't, I don't even know if they could win. I genuinely think I could beat five divine players with Bristol if I get lucky, you know? Okay, maybe that's not true. Maybe I'm getting hubris here. I'm just saying the hero is broken to do this. Just saying. Maybe I'm, do it, um, you know? You know what? <laughs> maybe, maybe we'll try something. Maybe I need to get humbled a bit. I think five divines might fuck me though. Because they, the thing is, like the Dono said, if they know properly about split pushing and stuff, there's almost nothing you can do solo. Like literally almost nothing. Like they could have some really disgusting shit. But we're not, we don't have to do anything until, you know, we don't have to break any world record. We already have the world record now, guys. We are officially the world record holders. We don't have to break our own record. Let someone else break it, you know, let Quinn do it again, then I'll go. I'm Divine Add Me. Cut wave. Yeah, there are things you can do. Whatever they can do. If they have a slot, it's going to be an HP item. And it works. Both teams just kind of farming. Those heroes are bad versus Bristol? Actually, Primal is really good, but he needs to get eggs. But by the time you get eggs on a Primal, on a primal I mean, you should have like a BKB on Bristol, and then it's whatever. It was scary though, like the Primal grabs me, it's, it's one of the hardest counters to Bristol, no cap. But, I think obviously if you design the lineup against Bristol specifically, you pick Viper, there's nothing I can do. There's literally nothing, I just lose uh, instantly. If Viper is in the pool, it's over. It's just over. They really want to play that works out, I feel like all their early rotations so far on Falcon they're all about meter and split push. I don't think it would have worked, actually. I just have too much farm. I don't know. Like, I have an obscene amount of farm. Psyche, thanks for the five gifted subs, man. Thank you, brother. That was fun, though. That was fun. My point wasn't to prove how good I was, but I think I think it was a, just a, like a fun experiment, because Quinn did it. I wanted to see how hard it was, you know? That was all. I don't think it has anything to do with skill. Not on the... I feel bad for the people who lost to me. Don't feel bad, guys. It's okay. It's all right. It was just for fun. I feel awful, Sash. Don't say that, guys. All right, what's happening in this game, though? 2k lead for quest. Looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. 11 KMR guy bullying casual players. I didn't do it first, man. Fairly slow start for what I. Two yeah, versus five divine. The, uh, yeah, I'd have to play, beat. I, I mean, I'd have to get lucky. I, I have to like beat the like shit out of their mid laner, though. right? I have to get like quest. triple kill, first blood triple kill, and then snowball like crazy. That's the only way I can beat it. But it's possible if I get like the insane snowball, right? But that's the only way. As a fellow guardian, I demand a rematch. Against to five stack, get, uh, we will not take figures. this abuse. Havoc, that's the three dollars. I, mean, I, be I believe I should. I should lose if people have if people have an organized deck. It's true. It's not possible to beat five people with three KMR. Maybe we should do this challenge, guys. We should keep going, and then maybe it will never end. You know, eventually I'm beating Team Spirit with Bristleback, guys. Eventually. I'm just kidding. Step by step. It's happening, guys. I'm trying to see what the uh, quest is waiting for. Yeah. Well, they did just finish the Aghanims on Kunkka, so he's yeah. got Phase, Blade Mail, Ags, and like two Bracers, so he's pretty strong right now. Uh, Necro? Oh, that's. I can play 10 players against Necro, it's strong. Well, it's a quest game, guys, so there's not much to talk about. Since we tuned in 7 minutes and 30 seconds ago, there's been one kill. Um, we can talk about strategy stuff in this game, and I can look for co-casters. Let's see what we got. Let's see who we got. Amar is not really my co-caster, because he's in the game. That sucks, let's see what he's doing. 
Oh, they're gonna do go up play here. Ro Maureen rolling. They got him with the arrow too. Nice. Thousand ADP. It feels laggy though. We can switch to in game maybe. Skitter is not able to fight this, is he? He might die. Holy shit, he's dead. They're getting quested, boys. Noob is dead too. These teams have a lot of history, by the way. They play qualifier against each other all the time. And Quest, even though Falcons is the best team in the world right now, Quest are the only team capable of consistently beating Falcons. Only one person dies. How crazy is that? They're not maybe the second best, but they're the only team that got their number a little bit. Less than three. Thank you, Anal Miss. Thank you, bro. All right, we'll do the. I will start killing people. He's got his orchid done. is very scary. Um, let's do. We can do the. We can do the two Kim MMR next time. We can go up, up on the MMR and we we see. Farming and it's aggressive farming, right? They're they're on the half of Falcon. But like I said, it's only for fun. It's just a meme. Don't feel bad if you lose or anything. Like, yeah. it's, it doesn't doesn't mean anything though. Otherwise, it's just for fun. But let's not. Do, I'm not doing it today, guys. Uh, one, I'm not doing more than one a day. Like that's exhausting. And as expected, he does go for the shard early, right? It's it is a pretty damn good item against the Naga Siren. Does he have one's management? He does. Okay. Radiance middle tower has fallen. So tier one tower finally falling in the mid lane, going for quest. Can the Guardians get an immortal coach? No, 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 absolutely not. It would be easy. I think you can coach five Herald players to beat anybody. Like you just have to coach them. It's it's not hard beating a one v five strat. You just have to know what to do. That's all. And and I know I know people are intelligent enough to understand when someone like like tells them what to do. Obviously, you know, like it just takes a little bit of experience. They just need to know roughly where people are going. Dude. It's just about strategy, you know, at that point. Like, the, unironically, the best strat might even be to never go on his lane. Like, don't even, like, nobody goes mid. That might actually be the best strat. Because then you don't feed him. You just fucking cut waves, you jungle on two heroes or three heroes. Like, how is one guy gonna out XP five heroes? It's impossible. That might actually be the best strat, I don't know. Cause then you don't give, then you, they don't give the guy solo a chance to snowball at all. Just dodge him. Just run away. As soon as you see him, you run away. Never give him a chance to get any kills. That might be the strat. They bring all five heroes for this though, and they're looking for more. Zeus would be an amazing grab if Amar can get. Yeah, that's a pango moment right there. They know. And off to mid they go. I think Naga wise, they got a decent amount of counters. They got Pango, Doom is actually pretty good, and so is uh, Zven. And Lion is also pretty amazing. So they got plenty of Naga counters. If I am Falcons, I'm not worried. Guys, I'm gonna check in game, dude. This is so. Did anyone else feel like the quality is low and it's a bit laggy? I'm gonna try in game instead. Then we don't get caster voices too, which is a benefit. There's a lack of trying though. Falcons is yeah. Okay. Look at the quad increase. Boom. Using Ron Alt, they keep trying to find the fights. Uh, uh Broadcaster. Very patiently. And the heart. Yeah, this is much better, I think, guys. This is much better. Overlay, perfect. Amar ended up dying after all. He got caught out. The thing I fear with Naga is counters don't really exist if you know how to play this hero really well. I feel like it, they do exist, but it's not like it doesn't like matter too much. Not to quest Dotto at least. Spectator chat. Let's have one gander and then we leave instantly. Radiance top tower is under attack. Same challenge again, but you ban three heroes and let them pick whatever. Oh yeah, that's fair. I can, we can do that. We can do that next time. I think it would be boring to just play the same heroes over and over. And I understand, not everybody plays Primal and Proc and stuff, so... We can do something like that. I ban three heroes and everybody gets to pick whatever. As long as I get to ban Viper, I don't even think I need another ban. Viper is just unplayable. With Brussel. Whoever versus five at least. Maybe SD as well, I don't know. We can do that next time, guys. Next time, but not... Uh, not no, not now. You provide PTSD therapy after the game. 
Okay, T2000 down in the end. That's a really good tool to deal with this stupid song spell. You just roll in on him. What other heroes do you think are good? Yeah, let me think. SD would be basically unplayable. Viper would be basically uh, SD if you got to farm an axe, right? I just, just can't play Bristle anymore. Um, same with uh, Viper. What other hero is the worst? Mm, you know what? I think that's about it, honestly. Maybe Ancient Apparition? Yeah, I would ban those three heroes. Doom? Oh yeah, and Doom. I'd have to ban Doom as well. Bane? Fuck, there is a lot of heroes that can be really annoying. Bane can be absolutely unplayable as well. Because imagine if you do this. Like, I'm not giving- Nobody's allowed to do this now after I say it, right? Because this is a strat. What if you just pick Bane and you go and sleep the one guy over and over? You don't even lane against him. You go and sleep him. So he misses a few CS and then you run away. You go sleep, run away. That's all you have to do. Like, what the fuck does he do? You dodge him and you sleep him over and over. You just can't do anything. It's so stupid. <laughs> you sleep in it. I don't know, man. I don't know how to beat that. I have no idea. Delay his timing, it's over. And the only reason I'm winning that game. Oh, whoops. I had this on. The only reason I'm winning that game is because I have a fucking 10 minute bloodstone, right? Or 8 minute or whatever. Can't win without it. No way. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Just sleep him. But then I have to pick a different hero than Bristle, maybe. If you play, if I play like, let's say I play Lycan, I think that that's also maybe a one v five hero potentially. We have to pick a different hero. Win got five bans. Oh, he did. Oh, I didn't know that. That's actually pretty important. Then uh, with five bans, I think it's doable. Bane, A, SD, Viper, and A, and Doom. I think that's a decent amount of heroes to ban. Brood can 1v5? Yeah, I think Brood could probably do it, yeah. It's an annoying enough hero, for sure. Meepo, for sure, can. Meepo can fucking 1v5. Actually could 1v5 an insane amount of people as well. Okay, is uh, Skeeter punished for this? A little bit a little bit eager, but they did buy back something, right? Yeah, Shadow Shot, Shadow Demon. Big Zuck by the Snake King. Amar jumping in. BKB, he's still chasing. Doesn't have fire ground thing. But they are owning. They're poking, poking, poking on Talon. He's so annoying. Yeah. Nice. Talon is still so good. You can see the crispness in their team fights here. They baited Quest in really well there. That's true, Sensons. There's a lot of things you can do. Like, conceptually, you can't win 1v5. Of course not. But. The thing is, once we start talking like strategies and stuff, like yeah, I, of course nobody can, nobody can win. Venge dagger, swap on a clip every time it tries to TP, just cancel it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's true. I mean, you, you at that point you try to buy a four staff or something, and you have to predict it, right? What else can you do? There's some, yeah, there's some really cheesy stuff you can do, of course. Uh, let's see. Ay ay ay. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Radiant are scanning. Desa Gemi, thanks for the four months. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Need a specter to watch the five heralds. Radiant's top tower is under attack. Jolly Q, thanks for the fourteen months. Wow. Wow. Falcons just happy farming, they're not too worried about late game. Let's see the win percent. Actually, it was favoring quest 70% a moment ago. Wow. Maybe Gaben knows something I don't, because that's kind of crazy. What the fuck? Why? I feel like that's inaccurate, but whatever. They still have a very decent chance of winning this game. 44%? Not bad at all, guys. How come all the player cams are the same? Because it's me. It's me all along. I'm glad you have fun, Quacky Aqua. I am too late for the tiger thing. Radiant. We addressed it lightly. We didn't look into it like giga much. We saw it though. We saw it. 
Nice Euronioic. Falcons kind of made fools. They're running after and they know about the smoke on quest. Probably won't get caught. E2000 is still pushing. And Zeus at Manta. That's another Naga on the map, guys. Here we go. Here we go. They're questing, guys. Get in. Does everybody have a good old blanket to tuck under? Guys, yeah, we're questing tonight. It's up to Falcons to see how well they can stop them here. I don't Radiant know, dude. Are fortified. Tuck in, lads. Tuck in. Not a very sport. They're actually gonna smoke and contest this on quest. This is very unlike them. See, that's the surprise factor of the game. Skeeter pressed ulti too, so his ulti won't be the whole fight. Look at Ma Tia 2000. She has Shadow Blade. Interesting. The Roche is dying in 5 seconds. They don't really have time if they fuck around. And they're fucking around too much, I think. The Roche is already dead. They found Snaking right away. They will kill him for free, maybe. No, they're saving him on Skeeter. And the roll is there. Snaking's still alive. Save your mates. Here's Bolt Boy, though. Wait. Could this be a good fight, actually? Ducalis is actually surviving a lot. What the fuck? He's dead in the back. Amar dooms Zeus. I think that's a good doom, though. Nah, 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 nah. I think they're cooking too hard, dude. Mirana, not dying. Song. Doesn't have TP, though. How much vision do they have? Let's see. No blink online. I don't think they can catch him. Yeah, that was... Felt like a decent fight by Quest, but you can't underestimate how good Pango and Doom are. They're... Like, perma-stunning, like, two heroes, dooming Zeus. It's just no way, bro. Amar actually is chasing. He got him. Wait. What the fuck? Shadowblade. Ah. Shadowblade is cheating. Shadowblade is cheating. Wow, I really thought that would end better for Quest though. I thought it was a decent contest. The, that they wrapped around on this side instead of going through middle with a song. It was a bit unconfident and it cost them a lot. Cost them a lot. Alright guys, I'm gonna have to BRB a little bit, but I'll put on the casters a little bit. I have a little bit of a mini emergency. Nothing serious, of course. Just me, me. I'll be back in uh, a minute. Give me a moment, guys. No one was there to do the damage. I'm back soon. Gork, what is the quest? I'm too out of the loop to know. What about the nightfall? You were talking with Yap the other day about those. You gotta download 7 TV, my friend. Uh, just 7 TV. Things. Bear back one second. <laughs> yeah, he actually is so tanky. Uh, he's been, uh, you know, Aaron the Creeps. He's a uh, 1, 1, and 11. 92 last hits. That's a good, uh, good for support. Finds his money. Dyer's top tower is under Peace. attack. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. <laughs> that is some high-level AFK sit attack. behind a tree right there. That is... Yeah. I mean, if he moved at all, he would have been found. Now he knows to step out. You get to start farming. Look at that. They might see the courier going back and then realize, like, oh, it was the enchantress somewhere in there. Under attack. Dyer's bottom tower has fallen. Dyer's courier has been killed. Radiance Courier has been killed. Radiance Top Tower is under attack. It's, it's a pretty good spot to be in. And we were talking about Quest, maybe more comfortable in the late game, but this is a bit Radiance of the weakness of picking the, the Naga relatively early like they did in that Sven is a natural counter, so it's not the worst late game matchup. And they were able to pick up a Lion for the... Mana Drain break on Illusion, hey boys, so even though Naga is top in net worth, 
you can instantly kill off a good chunk of her illusions which really hurts her her damage output so it's it's not the scariest late game naga game we've ever seen still potential but it's not the worst Oops. didn't know it was a quick one guys quick one all right they got the naga catch i came back right on time they have doom they're not using it amar is actually pressing bkb for this and I keep chasing to 2000. What's this attack speed on Amar? What the fuck? It's actually quite high. That's way higher than I thought Doom had. They netted her. He's running. Oh, can he get out? Stun, miss on snaking. They have no idea where he is. The TP. <gasps> no, what a play by snaking. Okay, we have to do the apps on that one. Look at that play. Look at that play. First, we go player view, snaking, right? Player view, snaking. Shadow. Oh, he saw him for a second. He saw him for a second. Okay. And then he placed a sentry to get vision of him and hexed him. It was cooler if he didn't see him, but he did see him. I'm never gonna catch up. Turns around, passes it off. That is so sick. Radiance middle tower. Clutch play. Clutch play. It's not not an emote. Yeah, we haven't gotten it. We haven't gotten enough of a, a better, a good enough emote to do it. I think. How to play his sentry? I mean, he used a sentry to get vision of him, to be able to hex him, guys. That's what he did. Like, sentry gives a little small area of vision, you know? That's what he abu abused. He's a cheater. For a moment, I, oh, I may be misremembering. Be Perfect. I hate that you have to change the shadows like that. I feel like they should add in Valve. Here's Maybe I should write to Valve about it. But when you change from, like, free camera to the thing, it should change the shadows to whatever they're using, right? The broadcasters, I feel like. Why is it? Why do you have to go back and do it every time? All right, smoke by quest. They might get a little snaking here. Oh, well, they use a lot for him, and they got him. All right. Hexo. The lion tried to fight back, but that's a pretty shit kill. That it's not what I wanted. Not what I wanted. The ESL reason. That one isn't too bad. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. I do like when chat types reason though. I don't think we need an emote for it. It's time. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. I meant fog, not shadows. Yeah, yeah, fog. By the way, I don't know what people complaining about Mirana shard. I actually think Mirana shard is quite good. I actually think this is actually quite a good shard. I know Singh hates on it a bit, I'm calling Singh out. This shard is actually not that bad right now. Upon landing, deals damage and slows units, right? But, well, guarantees to be hit by a secondary star storm. I played a PL against Mirana once, and I'm telling you, before you get heart, she just leaps on you and presses Q. You fucking die, bro. You just fucking, all your illusions are dead. It's really good. I was I always hated on it too, but they buffed it a lot. MYE Dota, thanks man. Uh, Skeeter almost Daedalus, very standard send build. He actually really likes the Ags though, he never buys Blink. Some sends buy Blink, but he does not ever do it. How good is the Zeus right click versus Magic Zeus? I think Zeus right click is the new standard right now. I'm not sure how like refined it is. Like, is it actually good? I don't know. But it's the new standard right now. So I assume the pro players that are practicing Zeus a lot, they probably feel like it's just better in every scenario, pretty much. I would consider going like Magic Zeus if I can't ever see myself hitting in the fight. Like, let's say there's a faceless void. I don't want to play right click Zeus. That's for sure. I also played it against a gyro one time with the right click Zeus, and he just flacked down my illusions, and then you're kind of useless also. It's very matchup dependent, but everybody's doing it, so yeah. My shard is secretly broken, yeah. Yeah, I feel like in this game he can't hit either. I agree. That's why I'm surprised he's doing it, but I don't know. It also is very good if you're planning on split pushing like Quest is doing, it's good for split pushing, so. 
You can use mantas, push out waves and stuff. Radiance courier has been killed. Radiant are scanning. Dyer's bottom is under attack. Tiger thing. I was gonna check. Oh, I was gonna check out the tiger thing, but yeah. Sorry about that. Titors. I meant to do that off screen, guys. My bad. My bad. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Double stun into arrow. He has to press BKB. That's a sad ass BKB. Alright, remove Pango from the game. Actually, I'm bored with zero. I've had enough. Gabe, pull the plug. Pull the plug. Nobody has fun when he rolls around like this, and you can't do anything about it. Okay, I have an idea, guys. So you know how primal primal ulti cancels pango roll? Why can't we have a little bit more things that cancel pango roll, you know what I mean? We need a few more things cancelling pango roll. Like it just stops it. Like stop. Alt. Alright, what could stop it? Let's say ST ulti maybe? I don't know. Like all that shit, just to just stop it. Roar? Yeah, Roar still... I mean, it stops it, but it doesn't, like, cancel it. You know, I want some things to cancel it. Like it does with, uh, Primal. I guess that would kind of balance the hero a bit. Maybe. New hero? Yeah, we need a new hero. The fucking... Rat Killer. And then it gets bonus perks against Pangolier. And other ratty type heroes. What do we? That's a doom. They call it TA2000. Yeah, I don't know. Amar used to not be a doom player, but I feel like his doom is kind of world class now. He is really scary to play against because he has a very. He has not the most conventional way of thinking about things, so he's not. Pre he will predict you more easily than most players when he finds these dooms. I feel like he's very good at like catching people with dooms. I've noticed compared to a lot of dooms. Like he's caught this naga like three times now. Can primal ult the pango even out the BKB? I think yes, but it's not easy. I, I don't know if you can do it technically if he's like. Actively rolling though. It must be almost impossible. But I think yeah, I think it's possible, of course. If you have an Aether once, let's say, then yeah, of course. But yeah. Also you got Ninja Gear on Doom, that is absolutely crazy. Escape. Absolutely crazy. Malrin just having a having a giggle. <laughs> rolling through. How much is left of this roll? Dude! How is it still rolling? What the hello? The fuck? Alright. That's the 15 talent needs to go, bro. <laughs> the 3 sex rolling thunder duration. The fuck is that? 13 second duration, guys. Who thought of this was a good idea? And they got Skeeter once. Oh, they're actually chipping him down a lot. They're jumping in to finish him. Doom, trying to doom the Zeus, but he manta dodged it kinda. He dooms it late. They're gonna chase this on quest. This could be really good, guys. This could be really good. Pressure, Doom the Naga, easy clap. The arrow will miss though. He is super dead. No buyback actually. Maybe this game is over. Okay, all right now. Not bad, not bad. They got something at least. There's hope for Quest. I don't know why I'm rooting for Quest. They are kind of underdogs after all. I can't help it. But I've been too mean to Quest anyway lately, so. No, only at the 42 minute mark. There is much stalling to be had. Smart for the Tango, he hit gem in the trees. Oh, he did actually, you're right. Sneaky, sneaky boy. They didn't notice he had gem, I guess. A bit sloppy by Pound and uh, by Fat Quest, I guess. Keep a please answer this guy so he doesn't keep asking who the best Naga is. Who is the best Naga? Well, it used to be 
unequivocally Arteezy. Like, 100%. Everybody will agree, two, three, four years ago, it was definitely Arteezy. Nowadays, in my opinion, I think Skeeter, for sure, is on the list. Uh, Arteezy is still on the top three, I think. He's definitely up there, you know. Definitely up there. But Skeeter is definitely on the list nowadays. Tamalo might even get close to the list of top three, for sure. Ame... I don't know, Ame's Naga is a bit of a hit or miss, but yeah, it's still very good. Pure? I think Pure is actually definitely in the top three for me. I think he's a beast. Pure is like top three for me on a lot of heroes right now. And Watson... Yeah, there's so many good Anagas right now, hard to say, bro. Pure is very good right now on a lot of heroes. Like, yeah, the pure is like very good. Luna, one of the best Lunas, one of the best uh, Nagas too, I'd say. Five people in the top three. That's how it goes sometimes, guys. That's how it goes. That's how you don't defend anybody. <laughs> yeah, they're all in the top three. It's definitely not the Atoro's best hero. I don't think so. I mean, honestly, you remember the B-tier Duraccio meme? If Ame was being real, he meant to put Duraccio D-tier. Like, D, actually D. Because it's the he was the lowest tier of the low. B just hap B is actually a good rating, you know? If you give someone a B, that's actually pretty good. But he put them at the bottom of the list, which technically is a D or an F. So he was kind of being nice. Kind of being nice. Better to be nice than not to be nice, right? Noob. <laughs> Mocked by Falcons, looking for quest, hiding in the jungle. Find some Zeus solutions, farming a camp. <laughs> Classic. Uh, gotta keep stalling, boys. Gotta keep stalling. I think Quest is a good enough team where the stalling shit doesn't work. Against a player like me, like, I'm not the caliber of these Falcon Skyers, alright? I mean, I haven't seen them beat anybody in 1v5 yet, so maybe I am better. But, I get so stressed out when people split push me like this. The better the team, the less it affects them, though. The better the team, the less it affects them. Because they abuse the fact that you kind of get like impatient, you make a mistake. But Tundra invented this shit, like Skeeter is not getting fucked over by this I feel like. They hexed him? Did they follow up? No. Eggs mark? Not gonna work. Radiance middle tower is under attack. Amar put himself in C tier and jabs in D tier. What? I didn't see that. Guys, I want to tell you guys about my sleep schedule. That's the aesthetic cap. Really fucking value. They're going for it. It's a very weird go. Not, a, not fast enough on that boat there. I sleep... Right now, I'm sleeping 5 hours, right? And the next day, I sleep 10. That's my schedule. Every other day. So today, I slept 5. And now, I feel like I go to bed, I'm gonna go sleep 10. I keep sleeping 5, 10. 5, 10. It's so fucking annoying. Because I'm like too... Like, I've, I've been stuck with this for like 10 days now. It's horrible. Every other day I feel good. There we go. Nice torrent, but the song... I mean, I don't know when this pango roll will end. It might uh, go on till the end of the game. They're trying to poke something here. Amar is looking for a doom. Go look, he's finding something. He doomed the SD. He doomed two heroes, hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah. Fucking bone zone is here. That's over. They did it, I think. Wait. Good boat, though. Any buybacks? No buybacks. It's over, it's over. Gig, yeah. He hit him. Don't GG out. I hit the torrent, guys. I got this. I X'd him, guys. You know what? <laughs> Might not be over. I don't know. They don't have penalties, they don't push so fast. Come 
Amor is good, guys. He is good. On Reddit. Okay, I'll check out that Reddit post after about Corbin and Satanic. Snap! GG, there it is. Finally. <laughs> they literally believed in that Kunkka for a while, huh? In the game one player. Oh, by the way, forgot about this. This is Amar's old teammates, too. He's fucking them. It's I think for Amar, it's more about fucking the org than fucking the players. I don't think Amar is beefing with any of the players, but I don't think he's too happy with Quest in general, right? So he, he got him, you know, he got him back. Got him good. Got him good, man. Pretty, like, insane start for Quest if you think about it. 5k net worth, 5.5 Zeus, 4.9 Kunkka. They won all three lanes, but they still got handled later. I like the... Falcons draft way better, like it's way more well-rounded. They have Pangolier on a OP Pangolier player. 26 seconds of ulti, guys. 20 wait, we have to try this, by the way. We have to try this. Like, what the fuck? How many is it even longer if you press shard? How long is it? Let's see. I have to try, I have to try. Level max. You don't even need level max, you just need level 15, right? That's all that matters. Yeah. Level 15. Let's see. Let's start the timer at 15. Get it. Falcon said such a huge lead whole day. 15. Why didn't Sky to go and try to kill Tormentor solo and die for 90 seconds? I know, right? I even have time to go keybind it. Ah oh, fuck, I didn't I didn't queue that perfectly. But whatever, we we let's imagine I did. I'm too bored to do it again. I'm still rolling, but it's only 15 seconds. I'm still 15 seconds. I'm still rolling. Yes. <laughs> 40 attempt. <laughs> How many seconds of rolling was that? It's fucking 32 seconds of rolling, dude. 32 seconds. That's why he buys refresher. Imagine a fight. 32 seconds. He's, he just keeps stunning you. And then he has ag, so he gets like these swashbuckles all the time. Does timeless relic work? Wait, I have to try it if it works. Okay, let's try it, let's try it. Let's start at 1, 1, 1 16. Alright, here we go. I'm, I'm going. Is it time to like work, guys? I have to try this. <laughs> Looks so stupid, man. I didn't optimize that. That could have been a little bit better, but... Oh, wait, I have free spells on, sorry. Let's let's redo it. Sorry, I fucked up. I fucked up. I fucked up. I thought I refreshed. All right, trying again. Last time, forty-six. Here we go. Last time, last time, guys. I promise. Last time. Last time, last time. Roll and roll and roll and roll and roll and roll and roll. What what was the starting time, guys? I fuck. I spaced out. I spaced out. Okay, I'm. Sp I can't do this, guys. I'm I'm too like bored while I'm doing it. It's that long. I'm getting bored. All right, here we go. New starting. What was the new starting time? I didn't look. Whatever. I'm getting. Oh, I'm getting bored. Like it's too long, bro. Like look at this. How can a spell be so good? It gets boring to watch. Oh, you can't do that. Oh wait. I, I thought you could do that. Okay, so I have to. I see. Okay, so what I have to do is. Okay, let's see. So I have to like roll, right? And then I have to. I thought you could refresh mid roll. You couldn't. Okay, okay, okay. I got it. I got it, boys. Don't worry. I got it. I got it. TikTok brain, I know, I know. Wait for it, wait for it. Alright, wait for it, wait for it. Okay, that's that was the play. Now I have free spells on anyway. Anyway, but whatever dude. Experiment successful <laughs> shut up chat. <laughs> shut up. Alright, let's see what we got. How long was it? Thir let's say 30 35 30 34 35 seconds or something like that. I am done. I'm done, dude. I had free spells on. I know, I know. I had Zoomer brain. I was watching like four TikToks and a Family Guy clip and a fucking car driving at the same time. Um, how is Boom Aurora doing? Let's see, it's going. It just started. We can watch this a little bit. All right. We can watch this a little bit. 
I couldn't. I couldn't do it. <laughs> I didn't have the patience, bro. It was too long. Can you raid me later when I go live? I, I can. Anyone else want to raid in the chat? Yeah, this is very skilled matchup. Like, Bango needs to be careful. Uh, Titanic eight, is standing in for Aurora here. They won game one against Boom. Titanic is fucking uh, owning, boys. This game, though, Boom got Morph against Sven. We've seen Morph win a lot of games lately. A lot of games, a lot of games. And you can already see Lorenov pushing in the wave. Start to put some more pressure. Raid my balls. A bit of wave dragging going on. Pakan's getting tossed across. Pope Rowan, thanks so, man. Thanks to 33, bro. Yeah, Tiny's gonna go drag the next one as well. So tier one bottom on the Radiant side is gonna take a bit of damage from this next dire wave arriving. Because We're just chill watching this until Falcon starts, so let's put up the text a bit. Text, text, text. Text. Waiting for... Aurora secret. I remember Aurora secret. Falcon's quest. Here we go. Why do they not want to play this lane? Is it just because double melee, double ranged? They don't want to get hit over and over again. Yeah, I think you want to get like level two, level three. This Am I still playing WoW? Nah, I haven't played WoW in a while. Maybe a little bit of a shenanigans at start, and then because Q didn't even. I'm like busy doing nothing right now. Okay, I'll check out the. I'll check out the Reddit, guys. Fine. Wait, I gotta close the Pango thing. <laughs> What's this Reddit thing you want me to check? All the Reddit. Let's see. Corbin wrote Satanic buyout contract is now 1 million. For those who know the Corbin, Team Spirit Manager, was he told the interviewers on a four hour YouTube channel when the interviewer asked him how much to buy out the contract. Seems the Satanic is going stuck in Team Spirit Academy team, not play for Tier 1 team. The only org can see buyouts from Team Spirit or Falcons Request. Wow. I'll say this, I can leak some info guys. From what I know, it must have changed recently or something. Because that wasn't this buyout contract before. But, I mean, you don't have to trust me or anything, but that sounds like crazy amount. That's some like miracle shit, you know, like... I am surprised. Unless he's trolling, you know, if he's trolling, he's trolling. But that is very, that is not something any team is willing to pay for any player. That's all I gotta say. This doesn't happen. So he's fucked if that's true. <laughs> he is fucked. Don't need to exaggerate, Gary. What penta iron shell you're talking about? You can get triple iron shells, <laughs> don't you? Yeah, let's uh, let's do the math. Nine second duration, twenty. Definitely four. trolling. Yeah. Can. Yeah, Dota doesn't have like league money or Counter Strike money. The thing about it is like. It's, it becomes like Monopoly money at some point, right? When you start trading players for like millions of dollars, then you have to also ask for millions of dollars for your players. So it's like teams are like trading hands with millions of dollars, right? Over and over, right? They keep trading. You get a million, but I take a million. You get a million, I take a million. So it's like a circle, right? Um, but in Dota, it hasn't reached that point or anything close. In Dota, the buyouts... I don't know if I should say this, dude. I don't know. Whatever, dude. The buyouts are not that big. I can say that much. They're not even close. League is just better. I don't know about that. Say it? What's the point? It's not like you guys are going to go out and buy players anyway. What the fuck do you guys want to know about? When he is slightly ahead of the storm and experience, so maybe he thinks, you know, hey, level six comes, I can kill him, but it's a move from Tiny. Drag this Pango back up. Slate them. He got slayed him. Nice Slowly but surely, Aurora is becoming a CIS team, guys. Slowly <laughs> but surely. Lorenov made his way in last tournament, this time Satanic. Maybe next tournament, there's gonna be another one. That would not be a kill. And Q will go into triangle. And soon we'll all be comrades. Tree trap, he can't really stack multiple camps. He's one of the few ones who can't actually do it as a position four, but needs to have that tree grab available. And now making a rotation to the bottom lane. You are for sure gonna be that. How much would your buyout be? Saying, Billions. Oh, with a B. <laughs> Don't even try to buy me out. I'm an unbuyable. I even liked them when I was not in my you know, older age, as you would say. Seven-year-old uh, Lacoste buying a, <laughs> a 
hundred dad jokes for the younger gentleman. <laughs> Oh, oh, Pakaz, he actually survived it. That's crazy. I didn't think there was a way he could survive that. How did Jabs not have any spell? I guess he had cooldown. Oh boy, that's like your one opportunity to kill Morphling in this lane. Less of it, not gonna happen. He is. He does have five abilities, though. Like when you look, oh, that's. <laughs> How long have I been High Immortal? I've always been High Immortal. I mean, I don't know. I started playing Hawn, right? So. I've played the game for a very long time. I will say that in Dota 1, I was definitely a noob, though. And after I start playing Hawn, I haven't really dropped. But I played this game so long, like, it's. If I wasn't, you know. <laughs> With the amount of hours I have across all three MOBAs, it would be kind of crazy. I'm not noob now. Well, I mean, I'm not giga good. But I still have things to learn, guys. We we'll always have things to learn. Dota is a game riddled with mistakes. Hard to play this game perfectly. If you watch a Yato replay, you can find five mistakes in pretty much every single game. I think some heroes are just better. Example: Swen on Dire in terms of farming these outer camps before you can get some sustain. Mighty Minds compared to Mana, what is called Well Wishes, is much better. Yeah. Built different. No need to go found and just stay up there forever. No tails buying out some flyers to buy Satanic. I think I think OG are pretty happy with Taiga right now. I'm sorry with Taiga. <laughs> Tongue slip. Tomato. That's also another T. King. My king has fallen. Ooh. Sad Sven. I haven't seen a single great Sven except Falcon still. I'm waiting. I am waiting. That's a pop move right there where you think, oh, there's no way that the enemy team is going to be there. Stick around. They don't have that much tower damage. But yeah, they did bring the numbers. And the bottom tower did fall, Aurora getting Double it. overlay, yeah, sure gotcha, gotcha, boys. Jabs I think he's playing well on Tomato. I'm glad he's found a team and all that. Most of the players on TSM, I feel like they all kind of spread out and upgraded, right? Ari got a pretty good team, he's an OG. Tomato is also an OG. Saberlight's in Shopify. I mean, they're all doing better than they did in TSM, at least. I don't know, I don't remember the other players so well. There was like a... Was it Kasane? No, I don't remember. I don't know what they're doing exactly, but yeah. Whitemon? Is Whitemon doing good now? Whitemon... Liquipedia, let's check. He's in Tundra. Oh yeah, he's doing really good actually. Holy shit. I forgot. Dubu. Dubu, I guess. He's like a coach now, right? Really die because there's so many. Yeah, it's Blacklist International Coast coach. coach. Yeah, it's still a good gig, I think. Good gig. Moonmander used to be TSM, he's coach of Tundra. Yeah, honestly, everybody that was in TSM pretty much made it, you know. Just had to bring the American values to new teams, and then it all works out. This Darkseer is unbelievably fat. What the fuck? He's been on a bit of a warding mission, try to slip himself through that top jungle. Where is Brile? That is true, actually. Brile was left, I guess. Because I don't... He's nowhere. Sedge. Must feel bad to see all of your teammates do well, except you. I feel for him, I feel for him. He retired, maybe, yeah. A rolling thunder for a crystal maiden here. To secure the kill. Alling Thunder, getting the kill there. Uh, it feels like he Stop really subbing to people that have stupid tails, guys. He already tried to use it one I don't want to see these tails in my chat. Zip, big it's disgusting. Keep seeing tails. Super aggressive there. Just buying time, defending their tier one for as long as they can. It looked like. As soon as they saw Illich coming in with this mech double bracer, they're like, okay, they we can't take this fight. So 
that's a good thing that Illich is having a good time, much better compared to the previous game where he's staying on top. Game started? All right. Let me, wait, do you mean they're just a draft started? I was a little worried. Uh, about... Let's check Falcons field GD. Ban. Nah, just a draft. We can wait a little bit. I mean, I'm, I'm not, I'm, I haven't been paying attention to this game anyway. Let's just watch this draft instead. I want to see the players. Tundra Esports in the back. I see Saxa. Will be the bat rider. Makes sense. You could just go for the shadow demon response. And there's Templar Assassin 2000. I see a guy on the street, guys. Someone should go on the cam and show their ass. Right there, guys. You see the angle? Somebody knows where this street is. Uh, the Earthshaker ban, just to talk about it a little bit. Skeeter's apartment. Uh, some teams do like him as Straight a up four, it's Kim Kardashian top. couch behind them. Uh, but you can still you have the classic position for Earthshaker. Oh boy, I don't like Skeeter's current beard cut. Really it looks weird. Earthshaker mid. Oh no, that's bad, dude. I don't like that one at all. The neck beard thing, Strat. Uh, if you think about some of the popular heroes, he looks right older now, though. Like Primal Beast, Kanka, Pango. What happened, bro? Band out here, but. Earthshaker would do well against that. So these two teams also being extremely familiar with each other, I think it just shows a lot of That's respect. a sex offender <laughs> can cut right there, bro. Like, we know he plays it. We know we could pick around it. But no I respect you, it, though. Right? He has a he has a respectable mustache. Is this the little Nick thing? I don't know. Timber, the Pango, right? they're, they're meta, so it's like, yeah, I get it. But also, this is Falcons. I don't really want uh, to We got the Crystal like Maiden on Falcons. Falcons. I, I mean, you could look at both we, we drafts right now, and you would know again, that Falcons is on the right without Here's looking. Angry. I knew it already without looking. They would never open a Batrider. Fuck this hero. I actually don't even think... But I think Batrider is slightly overrated. Unless you have a really good Bat player. CM, always solid, dude. Always solid. For the bat but this time around, they banned the pango, so don't have to deal with that shit. Uh, yeah, Crystal Maiden has looked like one of the best supports again. Sheriff. Kind of off the back of Falcons in the last event, right? Like Kuro, Bat, Giga <laughs> Yeah, that uh, wasn't their best uh, draft, I think. Crystal Clone for farm speed. And people are like, how does this mm -hmm. Crystal Maiden have like three full items? Like, what is going on here? Um, they get slightly nerfed in the mana cost, rightfully so, but. Still has been an exceptional hero, and of course, one Peter of the is players, twirling his mustache quite a lot. Rider, so. I know how that is. I do that a lot too. We're seeing it picked up. We see the gyrocopter and the life stealers uh, banned out from PSG Quest. There's still a lot of options. Malrini. On what you could go for here on Falcons without revealing too much. We've seen the Grimstroke paired with the Crystal Maiden a few times. There's still heroes like Rubik um, in the pool. So, and Tusk as well so there's there's a lot that they could go for i wanted to add amar told me a really funny fact about maureen i want to share it with stream but i have to ask first if i can share it so going up here kind of personal but it was funny i mean does he i can say it after the last game Mars? can it's i crazy. tell like he's not he, he wasn't stream about last game. it feels wrong the hero definitely i have to ask if i can say it it was funny though side nerfed by the changes to broach there's Amar with the classic camera angle. Darkness on the top. Let's go. And that's a disruptor pick, so... Falcons not valuing the flex as much as other teams like OG is, so they're just gonna straight up pick their both their supports. Same with uh, Fa Falcons. I mean, sorry, with Quest pretty much as well. Beth Edge. Still not the strongest laner out there. They're ignoring to ban Naga completely. Don't respect the reason you pick disruptor, right? You just gotta get through the laning stage. They take the Doom on Quest, which makes me think like they want to take the Naga afterwards, right? That's what I think. So I think they need to prep a little bit on Falcons here for the Naga. What is that cup he has on crit? I'm intrigued. Please raise your cup. Raise it. Oh, he's not raising it, guys. In the laning stage last game, I don't think the Enchantress was the problem. So I like I don't mind going back to it. I like this opener. Crit hairline Monka. Like counterable, like of course you're gonna yeah. pick to adjust, but it looked like a cat cup. Yeah, I thought so too. A Naga in the the second pick. Yeah, I think that's the big thing for me too. Is like you're not putting TA two thousand into a heavily countered scenario. Oh, we've seen this one before. The Wraith King. The Skeeter Wraith King against Loom? Wow, the, are they experimenting here, or what the fuck is going on? This hero is dead, bro. Also, you're gonna get Naga. They have to have a really strong hero against Naga, or it's for sure coming out. And I don't want to see another Naga game. 
it is completely free. Primal Beast. I do like Primal Beast. He's a very good Primal Beast player, Maureen. <laughs> That, I mean, that's this one be... way to prevent it. So I guess we're saving the last pick for I mean, Amar. Cool. No flex we at all on Falcons. Don't well, I don't think Amar can play Primal, right? Out of the meta, but it's hey, 42 months. Thanks, brother. Hero, and part of the idea here is that Thank you, Grug when you get doomed, you'll just come back to life. Uh, Grug McSwoog. So if you get pulled out, uh, you get killed, you come back. Maybe you can blink out BKB, get your stuff off at that point. Uh, you're right, though. Alchemist is really good versus... The skeletons from Wraith King. It just gives so much gold. We saw, who was it just yesterday? Was it heroic? Yeah, heroic, I think it was heroic. versus uh, Talon. I was just such a farmed alchemist. Every time Wraith King tries to use skeletons, Peter is a bit of a Wraith King genius. He's the only one that makes his hero work. And get, what, you said even like last time I saw it, it didn't work. So I'm not sure anymore. They're thinking about Nagging. Trust me, but I would definitely consider Timbersaw and Lifestealer are out. They would have been perfect here. I think this is the new it's guy in Quest right there. That replaced KOR. That's the Kalos right there. Yeah, that's the Kalos. Medusa. Spicy pick. Spicy pick. Oh, watch out for this now. You got a bad anti mage here. I'm telling you, Almar will play the Wraith King so Skeeter gets anti mage here. If they have to. Yeah, they ban it, of course. You got you got to ban it. Not surprising. Not a ton of offlaners counter Dooza, I will say that, yeah, guys. Not a like, ton. Well, Pango is out, anti mage is out. It would have been a pretty Let's look up on the list, see what's good. Darkseer is good. I don't think Amar plays it, though. As well. uh, I don't know, there isn't much left, guys, I'm telling like you. They, I don't know the exact stats, <laughs> There isn't much left. They have to be one of the, the teams with the longest average. Nyx? I don't they think. I, I, I'm just trying to think of something Amar can pick, but. To drag out the game. I don't think that's it. Right now, Medusa Doom will be great as you go later and later. Enchantress scales up well. Bat Rider. No, yeah, they can awesome. definitely still run Wraith King offlane I and last pick some weird carry. It's possible still. It's not impossible. Pick. But it has to be really clutch. It to the cup. Play in the primal beast could just be an offlane primal. What is it, crit? But it's like an anime yeah, cat or something. Just get stomped there. He's trying to be cute. He's an uwu face or something. Puck DP banned. Okay, Puck Death Prophet bans. What does I, I that tell that us? I don't feel like it tells us much. Those are just heroes that Noob likes to play, to be honest. To just out -tempo Falcons. Like, yes, the Doom is a little bit sad in the Wraith King because he just respawns or whatnot, but you just leave the Alchemist to kill the Wraith King and you Doom up something like a Primal Beast or whatever their other hero is. And I think at that point, you just out -tempo Falcons. When Whisper, Pepe Laugh, Seb playing post 3 and pub still. Dude, Whisper must know about this. Though. Doesn't he ask Seb, why are you playing Pulse 3 in pubs? The thing is that... He's, no, he's playing Pulse 5 as well, though. He's playing both. I don't know. Weird. Inflicted way to kill Whisper not. This is a Pulse 3, Windrunner. Pulse 5, Pulse 3, Pulse 5, Pulse 5, Pulse 5, Pulse 3, Pulse 1. I don't know. Pulse 3, Pulse, Pulse 5. He's like mixing it up. Maybe just darks here. He's considering who to kick. <laughs> Himself or Whisper? Yeah, maybe. I, I'm trying to think about it because Enchantress is a pretty strong support and you're playing into that. Dark ban. Okay, they actually think it's Wraithing offlane, so they banned two carries. So. Looking to have a good time. Think, they I'm think to think correctly, like, you know, I believe. That could sidestep that, maybe just do creep cutting, which Darks Oh, well, they have last pick on uh, Falcons. Like you get to decide. Carry counter route, because it could be offlane Wraith King. I don't know what they've been playing in scrims. Maybe that's what is the going on. Good hero but, against primal mid though. Yeah, Slark mm. and anti mage both pretty good versus Medusa. It's a little scary. Like if you get doomed, obviously Storm Spirit. I like Storm Spirit they have a little tools bit. to help them avoid being doomed and lasso. Please add this so emote. All right, check it out. Be just like chasing the Medusa and add uh, e. uh, Wraith King offlane's not that bad, even though it has dropped out of the meta. So I can kind of understand making sure you take out those carries. Okay. Tiny pick for the mid lane, it looks like. Pretty... I mean, pretty solid hero. It's also very good against the Primal Beast if you put the Primal Beast mid, because you can avalanche... Add tail emote? Maybe I do have to add a tail emote again. No, it sounds weird. But financially speaking, it might be correct, so you guys don't go subscribing to a bunch of tail people. Maybe it's correct. struggle to the Medusa in lane, which is kind of another, I think, 
problem with this Medusa pick, and you can just pick like a fan. Don't. Of <laughs> yeah. It's not like the best. Right, I won't. Don't worry. Match, I was just joking. You literally have nothing. Well, that's uh, tiny mid. Tiny against uh, Primal. I guess it's pretty good. I think I'm up for that. Oh, what's our last pick? Either a Skeeter or an Amar hero. Hard to predict. Is a bit of a greedy I like the Darks here the most, but it's not gonna happen. I mean, I'd be curious how he builds them. You could just go for like double bracer into like a blade mail and then thinking play to run with no one's saying anything so someone is someone is cooking on that team i don't know who's cooking though I mean, if this is fast if this is a mar playing it i feel like it's gonna lean towards greedy let's see it it's either it's underlord or... oh i love it dude oh, i love it you know why because this is what the gay men used to do all the time that is strange it's not that strange at all. Sure it's the pick against Dusa because, because you just I walk mean, to lane with Atrophy Aura and you deny every creep in his face. I actually think it's kind of cool. It was it's the old game encounter to uh, Dusa. It used to be very meta back when Dusa was meta to pick Underlord. I think it's a cool pick. It's very cool. You can also portal away your teammates that are doomed. Maybe I don't know. It's all gonna depend on that lane. If he fucks the Dusa like he's supposed to, then it will be a good pick. My idea is that we can switch to in game. Yeah. The buff he got, one of them, is to his passive, which gives him more damage as things die near him, and he might just be able to massively out deny a Medusa. No. And then you have the heroes to play pretty you fast. Like that is something a Wraith King carry can do. Is Amar the you might still go Radiance, the but, uh, Whether you do Radiance or not, there are builds to to build to go for that help. I feel like Amar has been mewing. Look at that boy, John like John right there. He's owning quest before this Medusa comes online. Um, I I'm up for it. We really have not seen very much Underlord, but if Falcon looks maxing. Feels, comfortable with there's it, no no one like, left anymore i'm excited to see what that is i think it's really i can good. fast stand against them let me rephrase that i think it's good i don't think it's very good i think the <laughs> underlord definitely is like a situational pick um mm -hmm. i think the buffs definitely help let's the fact that beach it up guys. Slow off your beach talents, it I think, is up like pretty sick that was your entire old agonim scepter they're just like put it as a perfect talent. transition guys let's go perfect perfect what do we have here? Marlene has those the white skin on Primal. It's so good because you get so bright when you get a shield rune. It's funny. I think Wrathwise, if that lane on Underlord goes as it's supposed to, holy dude, that's too close. It's scary. Get me away from the Primal. What the fuck? Eight wins in a row is Primal. Uh, I think if things go the way they're supposed to on lanes, I think Falcons out drafted him pretty hard here. Hero with more than I, level 3 win. Hmm. That's a proposition, noob. I like it. It also means they're desperate. For all the videos? Alright, guys. You gotta go to the the VOD channel on YouTube. I accident... Okay, so this is a story. I know it sounds unbelievable. But I accidentally deleted all my VODs. Because I had to delete a few of them. Because of copy, uh, music copy strike, right? So I just was deleting a few. And then I marked them all, right? I marked them, duck, 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 duck. And then it said, and then I clicked the delete all button, right? Which I thought was delete all the marked ones, but it meant delete everything. So I deleted all of them. But I emailed Twitch and they're probably gonna be back like tomorrow or something, whenever they get to it. It, I mean, why does it, like, I marked it and then it says delete all, I'm like, yeah, delete all the ones I marked. Obviously, I delete everything. So I fucked up. But they, they all will be back in a while, so. I feel like this is bad design, honestly. Dent <laughs> game. Wow, 65% non-believers on the Bristleback game, guys. That's funny. I didn't <laughs> I didn't realize. That's hilarious. Uh, quest Falcon. Quest Falcon. Not believing in me?
Yes, it was one and three hate watcher. Technically speaking, guys, with my off stream game, we are completely even from yesterday, so it's fine. I don't care. My 7 a.m. life stealer game topped us up. 27 points in the bag. A pause. A reason. We're not getting a reason. Admin, you know what to do. You know what to do. This is why they hired you. What else is there to do as an admin? I don't know. I honestly, that's the only thing you can do. At this point. Oh. Oh, no, Amar. Is Amar the one I'm pausing here? Crit, bro, this... Guys, learn manners, okay? When someone says go, Did you, win the one v you say go. You also say go, and then you unpause. It's manners, that's all it is to it. I, I know I get hung up on this a lot, but it's manners. I, I like good manners, that's all. Come get healed. I like good manners. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Uh, sorry, never mind. I can't even say what I just read on Steam. <laughs> well, I can't tell you guys about the thing earlier. No, I can't say it. I can't say it, guys. Uh, I was thinking about saying it because it is funny, but I can't. Uh, sorry, I can't. I, don't, I shouldn't have said anything to you guys. I shouldn't have said anything. My bad, my bad. Wait, why is this camera so focused on bottom? I guess we're focused here because we're thinking how good is Onward against Doza. Right now, 8 and 4 to the 9 and 0. So Doza has a very decent amount of CS, so not too bad, I guess. <laughs> Interesting that they swapped it around. They put crit on the Maiden and snaking on the Disruptor. Hmm. Interesting. The cameraman is obsessed, guys. All right, let's switch to the Russian stream. I feel like he's, he's too obsessed. Let's see what they're... They're also just looking bottom. What the fuck? All right, then, I guess. Fine. This is the most interesting lane. Underlord versus Dooza. Zero kill potential lane. All right, there we go. Something happening top. It's player perspective. Was it player perspective, guys? Oh, my God. Maybe it's my fault. Was I the whole time? Damn. Mid lane is looking pretty good for Tiny though. 14 and 7. Funny hero. I just watched the Taiga 3 to 2. That's enough. Yeah, we didn't really watch it yet, but from what we've heard and what we read, it seems like it's it's not good for Taiga. Don't retire the Taiga. I do like saying Taiga. My player perspective again, guys? Uh, no, 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 no way. There we go. Eh, no, doing very well, mid at least. Dip. Uh, this first blood there, Skeeter gets it to even better. Very good for Falcons. Oh my god, this Batrider is so hard to fight, though. Jesus. Okay. Super good for Skeeter. Wraith King is one of those heroes that does really well at first blood, I think, because he has... He doesn't really love going jungle early. Like, he's okay with it, don't get me wrong. He's definitely okay with it, but... The more items he can get fast, the more he accelerates like crazy. It's kind of like an alchemist first blood. It's so valuable. Now that I think about it, most heroes are like that. But still, anyway, you know? Wraith King especially is very nice.
I don't understand the sensibility guy. Doesn't he also get in trouble? I mean, the reason he doesn't get in trouble is because he's already bad. So he has nothing to lose, basically. As far as I know. I mean, he's admitting to it, I'm assuming, in the video. Being involved, so... Nothing to lose. Will you watch video on stream? Maybe I will, at some point. But right now, we're watching uh, the tournament, so it's a bad time. But right now, I won't watch the video, now. I watched the... I saw the... I read the summary, though. And we saw the comments, and we saw the statements. It's just a 30-minute video. I, I can't take the time in the middle of a tournament, you know? When there's some dead time? Definitely. We saw the OG Twitter thing, yeah. I took the time playing as Heralds. That was Guardians to you, actually, sir. And it was fun. And it was fun. I thought I was honestly ready to lose. You know, recently it was also a CSGO drama, too. Damn, really? Amar the Bakar. Nice rotation by Omar. I still can't get over Omar killing Amar. Come on, man. Radiant are scanning. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Boss, okay, snaking down. Also new beef. Man, a lot of stuff happening in Dodo right now, I like it. Beef everywhere? Nah, I'm just kidding. But there is a lot of stuff happening. Beefs on beefs, drama everywhere. I don't like the drama, actually. I say I like it, but I don't like it. Beef, I'm I'm more like the, the E-net e beefs, they're funny. I'm still waiting for the first boxing match in Dota, you know? It will happen, I hope, one day. Dude, maybe I should be the one doing it. Maybe I should fucking do it, guys. Fuck it, you know? Why not? If I want it, why not start it, you know? <laughs> I did, I did like two years of boxing in, um, in when I was like <laughs> 12 or something. I have a little bit of experience, you know? Maybe I'll get back into it. Easy. I smurf him, you know? I smurf him. I don't remember anything, but maybe it's in the bones, you know? Maybe it's in the bones. Still in the bones. No, I'm not finding anybody eight weight class weight classes above me, guys. All right, that's not how boxing works. I like I like fighting a lot, but it needs to always be under like rules and controlled environment and stuff. Of course, I'm not a big uh, fan of the other type of fighting. That shit's just stupid as hell. But as a sport, I think it's a very entertaining and good sport. As long as people do it voluntarily and stuff. FN called Desire's girlfriend a street girl in a pub while duo queuing because they lost a match. What the fuck? That's so unhinged. No way. Radiance top tower is no under fucking attack. way. That's actually pretty fucking crazy. I have to see the clip of that though. Alright, Malic. Oh, he did the pl branch play, guys. He got out of the disruptor ult, the easy clap. But I don't know if it's gonna save him. We have stun soon here. Skeeter, a little bit bamboozled. The bonus armor from tower is gonna save him a little bit. Uh, not enough. Minus 50 for the branch. <laughs> Peter has uncrazy hinged net worth here. He already has armlet finished flying out. 10 minutes, very nice. 
The Dooza ended up winning against the Underlord bot, so I don't think the lane went as planned. I bet Amar is a little bit disappointed about that. North, I think, something, man. Here's the clip. Should we watch the clip now, guys? Or should we wait? Ah. It's not so important. I'll watch the clip from later. Who cares? Thanks for the entertainment always. Ah, fuck it. It's pointless drama anyway. It doesn't matter. We will uh, see it if it comes on right. What did you say? Everything later. Guys, we're watching a game, guys. It's an important game. Listen. Balcony. Look at that gank. Now I missed it. Because we're looking at stupid clips. Miloski is at the 59 months. One more month until our five year anniversary. Thank you, Miss Mark. Gorge present. Miloski with the 59 months. Norta, Honey Queen Bee, thank you. Bottom tower is under attack. Asking Gorf to watch a 30 minute video, we can't watch 30 second Pango roll. It's true. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Sora, thanks for 22 months. That Pango roll fit was hard to get through, dude. I don't know. It was actually hard. It was so long. I guess I'm not a Pango player, you know? Pentagram. Oh boy. He's dead. He even high fived the tower as he died, no? Nice. I didn't know it worked like that. Peter ends up killing Ducalis, though, so it's a trade. Too bad. Mid tower is dead, so this tiny actually cooked. Tiny against Primal, huh? I didn't know that was a thing. I'm starting to believe. Radiant's top tower has fallen. Come on. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Radiant's bottom tower is under <laughs> attack. Sorry, I laughed at chat. Radiant's bottom tower has fallen. Just, uh, I'll say what I laughed at, whatever. I just have a random comment, I just read it this thing. This isn't live though. Ty guy is five minutes ahead. I just it was just so random. He just sounded so honest about it. He just sounded so sincere. Jesus. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Alright. We got the tiny. They used quite a lot for it though. He's late here on bat. Ooh, the blade mail is kind of killing him though. Oh, surprise underlord moment. Back to bot. Crit also wants to come, I guess. Anyone else want to come bottom? No, I guess. Peter TP mid here, actually. He wants the tower. He's so fat. Does he have relic yet? Like, he might actually have relic now. No, not quite yet. Not quite yet. Dyer's top tower is under attack. I had the best life splitter game of my life, by the way. Off stream. Last night. I'm not trying to flex or anything, but I had a 15 minute armlet face boost radiance. It was the game of my fucking life. But it was off streams, so you know. It was also Miracle playing on my account, of course, also. That's, that's my benchmark for the best game you could possibly have, I guess. Alright, we are untouchable. But Primal has big hands, he wants to touch that butt. Touch it, touch it, boom. He's dead. No. 
I saw it versus HFN Morph. Yeah. Who the fuck is HFN anyway? He played pretty good though. I was scared. HFN Liquipedia. It's a Brazilian player for what team? No team. Brazil. Radiant are scanning. Can't feel a thing. A streamer now? I see. Ah, back to the portal you go. <laughs> He's taking again. He's actually coming back again. Radiance Making mogging these people. Attack. They want. They want them though. Look, the little single scout or the Radiance cobalt scout. No, why send the cobalt to die? It was giving you gold. It was loyal. And now you just send him to die. It's fucked up. Dyer's top tower has fallen. Minus 150 mana, exactly what I was thinking. Falcon taking nice control of this game. 85% now, boys. Looking pretty good. Wraith King is getting a Radiance soon. He kind of slowed down his farm a lot. I don't think he's that far ahead of Dooza right now, so it's not that crazy. Here we go, they found Omar, they can always glimpse him back. And also, thank you Snaking for taking a point in Kinetic Field. We've seen way too many ra Disruptors skipping it lately, I don't like that. Can I not be late for one day? I know, I'm late every day, guys. It's been really late streams. I will try to fix it um, by tomorrow, hopefully. But I don't know. It is what it is, guys. It is what it is. I think this is a game you might get a Crimson Guard on Amara. What is he thinking? Let's see what he's thinking. It's not ideal, but it's really good against Dooza. He bought a pipe. Okay. Pipe is also decent. Pipe into what, though? Pipe into Lotus. Okay. Don't remind me about Lotus, please. I mean tomorrow early stream. We'll see what's on the schedule tomorrow. See if it's worth waking up for. But if there's an OG game tomorrow, I gotta wake up fast to get my bets in. I mean, I have to wake up fast to watch the game. Um, there is uh, not an OG game tomorrow. Thanks. Uh, what is there tomorrow? I can't see. We'll check it later. There's Tundra Blacklist in the morning. That's too early, though. Aurora GG. Dude, there's so many games today. That's crazy. Mm. Actually, tomorrow, the night games are the best games. We should watch the night games for sure. Wrap it up. Radiant are scanning. Let's see what's for dinner, guys. Sausages. I sound like rustic. Sausages? Sausages? You like sausages? I can't do his voice. Sausages, eggs, and salad. Mmm, tasty, tasty. Am I still working out? No. With my sleep schedule, shitty sleep schedule, plus my back injury, I've basically been to the gym two times in like a month now. It's been really bad. Noob tossed away, but it's a skeleton. Boom. Who's I still cooking though, boys? Still a chance for quest.
How did I injure myself? I don't know. I was just being really stupid. You know how I told you guys once? I don't have music when I go to the gym. So I usually I don't. Then I finally fixed my headphones and I got music. And I was blasting, you know, I was fucking blasting. I was like, yeah. And then I went a little bit too ham and I injured my back. I just went too ham. Okay, that's a decent dude's ulti. But Ench dying here, I don't know if they can fight. Amar is on the behind. They're focusing Dooza hard. The Doom has been popped. But that's not a Primal Beast. I don't think he cares. Dooza can't fight this. Okay, she's dead. Massive kill. Massive kill for Falcons. I hate Cucumber though. There's Cucumber in this salad. I fucking hate Cucumber, though. I'll be completely honest with y'all. Cucumba. Radiance top tower is under attack. I'm a least favorite vegetable. Actually. Least favorite vegetable. It's like water with texture. Congrats. Fuck cucumber. I mean I'll eat it. I'm not picky, but I just don't like it. Here comes another food take. <laughs> and I do like pickle though. Pickle is nice. Oh, we got Cliff. Low, look at him. He's Cliff. Amar has plenty of ways to get out of there. He's actually fine being up there though. Press the light collector more for the memes. Oh, he's just TP. Cucumber is a fruit? I don't believe you, brother. If so, it's definitely the worst fruit of all time. Man, they're just playing too fast, dude. They're not ready for him. Flips back on Omar. Alright. Maybe quest isn't so good against Falcons after all. I think with vegetables, you can like, you can kind of excuse cucumber for not being the worst. Cause there's a lot of like shit vegetable out there. Like kale, like kale is garbage. But, um, but if it's a fruit, then it, it, dude, the competition is just way too high. It's, un it's you can't even compare it. Is cucumber a fruit? They're botanically a fruit. Wow. Hello, Mr. Gorak. What play would you be competitive in? Crazy. Dota two had failed at law. Uh, what would I compare with? Maybe Counter Strike, maybe World of Warcraft, one of the two probably. Well, that's uh, probably my two other main games. Doom. Almost back on Primal. Can they finish him through the doom? Yes, they can. Buy back on Omar. Oh, he's not dead. Oh my god, they didn't finish him. No way. And Skeeter is here to clean up. Oh no, it's over. That is disgustingly devastating. Yeah. Call it. Smiley face by Malreen. Classic Malreen. Alright. GG. That was pretty fast. What the fuck? Quick smile. How PMA of him. Alright, what do we have now? We ESP. The Falcons is done there. They are done. Victory, Victoria. Let's check. Betpoom Gaming Gliders. This is the one I want to watch next, guys. Betpoom Gaming, that's a good one. It starts in two minutes, nice. Um. Yeah, 11, 0, and 10 on Skeeter. Okay. 
He just had way too good of a start. Actually, showing Wraith King is a real hero? That's crazy. I mean, obvious. Quests were outclassed this game. And they knew they were outdrafted, I think. They knew they were outdrafted. They knew it. Just wait here a little bit. Uh, let's watch the documentary or... Obviously, if you max Q, you miss out on glimpse level. Documentary time a little bit, I guess. I'm eating anyway, so I, I should watch something longer. Uh, I'll watch a bit of it. It's a 30 minute video, guys. I'm not too motivated to watch all of it. That's the problem is if I get started, I feel like I have to watch all of it. Problem is I feel like I have to watch all of it if I start. It's so fucking long, dude. Team Spirit 200 IQ Roshan Steel. Let's see this first. Ah, they went on the- Oh, they went on the swap. I like that. RP, easy. That is actually kind of 200 IQ, I'm not gonna lie. I actually kind of like that. It was a good play. Alright, this was the video. Match fixing from a world champion in Dota 2. New morph video. Alright, I'll watch a bit of this then. It's in Russian, guys. But, I think Russian. Maybe Ukrainian, I don't know. But, but, uh, yeah, it's translated, so. With his friend, no tail. Oh boy, that's not good. Mafia boss, yes, Jesus, help. Jesus, man. Guys, don't ever get involved in this kind of shit. Ever. It all looks like... If something looks too good to be true, it usually is, boys. The easy money it doesn't exist like that. Known 3 to 2 guy. I'm not advertising him. Yeah, that's good. I mean, sensibility? Needs to not be seen as a good guy in this. He's also involved in this shit. It's not good, boys. Not good. Be careful about that kind of stuff. Am I getting an ad? For gambling skins? <laughs> okay, I'll skip. <laughs> like this is funny. Okay, wait, let's see. International Dva. Amar, I saw him. That was kind of crazy. Nobody believed in OG back then.
That's not that bad, dude. People shit on 8th place, come on, it's pretty good. But yeah. This was a Twitter post, right? Or something? He only briefly mentions. <clears throat> Randomly got into a pub game with a sensibility, okay? Okay. Wild card too. Casino later. All right. Oh, thank you, my boy. I didn't see what you said though. Hi, guess wait, wait. What was that? That was important. This is true. MetaMask learned it quickly. Well, Taga learned quickly and made a Binance account. All the money, betting info was sent there, okay. Tiger's version of the story, all the money transfers were simply loans, okay. Loans? Hmm. The ability tricked you into betting in Dota 2, you made an account for you to bet. You started borrowing from it, paid back from salary, you got no profits from it whatsoever. Okay, that's kind of a big statement, if you got no profits. If that's true, right? That's what he's saying. Okay, fine, I guess. Oh. Man. How crazy is it the sensibility recorded all this while talking to him? That's crazy, bro. Jesus, man. I don't know how you could have the heart to do that, man, honestly. But yeah, you know. You recorded all of it? What the fuck? Okay, dude. And okay. Yeah, sports betting is... It can get you, bro. Okay. Alright, this guy is pretty thorough at least. 
I'm sure you don't believe the thing you want to say. You can easily fix someone's voice using AI. True. Good. He's bringing that up. Okay, he is saying that. Yeah. Tiger moved from Discord to Telegram. Okay. All chats with Tiger and Telegram from Sensibility's fake account. Basically, he was chatting to himself. Okay. Tiger never denied the conversation in Discord. The recording of chats in the background of Tiger's profile picture used in the pro scene. That's fakeable though, but yeah. yeah. Norwegian mobile mode. Okay, okay. I called since on Instagram as to share his screen. He showed me Tiger's number in context. First of all, what kind of psychopath? What kind of- wait, back one. What kind of psychopath- fuck. What kind of psychopath uses the upside down smiley? Come on, guys. That's not good. Your chat records in Discord and Telegram match? Tiger writes about paying 50% of his debt to his mom, about $100,000. He needs to withdraw 100k! What the fuck? Excuse me? Oh, rubles. They're talking rubles now. Okay. Yeah. Bergen. I've been there. Yeah, that's not good. <laughs> Just take first one, bro. That's hard. That's all you have to do. Well, yeah. Thank you, Alashami. Oh, you missed a child. Good day, sir. They do. Let's see what happened in that deep sea game. Hunt for the first blood. Taiga got very lucky. A millisecond before top. Damn. Threaten to show everybody the previous chat since he cooperated. This will end the Tiger's career in a second, yeah. Wait, OG's house for first person part of the he never got any money for it. Wow. His only fault was sharing his Discord, but that was only due to blackmail. That sucks. I mean, betting on your wins is better than betting on you losing, but it's still, I think it's still not considered, like, good. I know, like, Floyd Mayweather bets on himself winning, I think, or something like that, in the boxing matches, but I don't know, I, I think in general, it's also bad betting on your win. But it's also, at least it's better than betting on you losing, because then you're, like, throwing, but yeah, still. Like, just so you know, you can't do that either. Chinese Mafia! Monka.
Evet, daha sonra deniyoruz. <gülüyor> Does it mention that only Chinese mafia can bet big time, but Tiger insisted? The Shake Ti. <laughs> I like that. Shake Ti. What the fuck? Tiger refused to throw. And the bet is won. But that's not all. Before, but this video is so long, bro. All right, are we really finishing this whole video, guys? How much should we watch? Throwing to win it back. All right, how much should we watch, guys? What do you guys think? You should keep watching or watch the draft. What do you guys think? More? More? All right, fine. Let's watch a bit more. I just finished eating, so okay. Where is he? We don't have to watch the faces of the draft. We can see the draft underneath. Where was the video? Pubs. Someone just messed. Someone just said pubs in the chat. Uh, oh, there it is. Yeah, I see it. It was. Let's continue. Before the game, Tiger. In the case, he's required to more than a certain number of kills. He plays the top of the multiple bets and gets unnoticed. I mean, that is impressive. I'll say that. Oh, Monka, the powerhouse of NA. He made all the betting decisions himself. They duplicated the strategy. Oh, that's bad though. So the disability is double dipping, huh? I mean, that is a terrible bet. Like, if you're rigging games, like, Jesus, how greedy can you be? Like, why would you do that bet? That's so, like, hard to... Even if you're in a game, you're one out of ten players. Like, it's, like, impossible. Yeah. Nuns were a problem. They often gather five, use the smoke, and start a FFB hunt themselves. Fifty thousand dollars? Jesus Christ. Okay, that's a heavy ass bet. Dude, Tiger didn't sound so secure. I would be like, yo. Bro, I'm suiciding right into the tower and saying misclick. <laughs> what the fuck are you supposed to do? Oh. Ah, uh, so Dijon. In a bad way. The 3 2 Mafia was very pleased. OG had a match against Liquid. He's a noble man. He says the feeling first we will ruin the game for his team while he wants him to win. On the second map, Tiger must bet on totals. Since we did map duration, what the hell? It's crazy they can put 50k on a first blood. That's so fucking stupid. Wait, I missed that. Let's start last part. 
None of the bets worked out except first blood, hence everybody got losses. Oh boy. What should you do? I win everything back. Undra. They won a bet as usual. Alright, they seem to be winning a lot. Okay. I'm gonna say in case you'll just throw in one of the following matches. Oh boy. And that always fucks you eventually. Thank you, Ming Mojo. They forgot the Team Spirit took TIs for a reason, so replays of all the enemies. Oh boy. You know about the FT hunt? I made up a counter strategy. Oh shit. Damn, they play so many games a day. A few hours after the Holy Spirit. Oh boy. Well, this was enough to tag ass a bet even more during the picks of that game. There's the pain thing. I did not realize the case for Mafia could have found them in Norway. Yeah. Oh, they removed everything. He bought boots to run fast, Jesus Christ, he's trying to feed so badly. Taga sells it boots to secret shop. Oh, he sold them at the shop. Yeah, it's this play, I've seen this. He can't find them. Run into the goddamn tower, bro. <laughs> Dude, what the f- he must be so stressed out, dude. <laughs> Fucking Mafia, bro, Jesus Christ, man, that's so fucked up on so many levels. <laughs> the troll got scared. <laughs> the guy is trying to feed you first blood with no items, running into you, and you get scared. Oh, is that Hector? <laughs> is that a Hector troll? I just found that so hilarious. Jesus Christ. Ah! He's coming! Ooh, that's a, not a great angle to take right there. He meaninglessly attacks troll. Accidentally switched the so you can see this pics of OG's game. Okay. What no Dude, it's like that fucking it's like literally that fucking movie with Adam Sandler. It just never stops. What the fuck is it? Uncut gems? That's a great movie by the way, Chad. You gotta watch that. A heavy loss for it, and they barely break even. Yeah, don't owe the Mafia, that's all you gotta do, Jesus Christ. Oh boy. Oh, dude. Oh.
If you think it barely broke even, then let me disappoint you. He made 11 first blood is in a row that without mistakes. Holy shit, that's actually crazy. Three failed and 25 successful attempts. That's impressive. He fed FP two times. He made good profits. That's I'm honestly impressed. How does he get that many first bloods in a row? Like what the fuck? Oh god, that's so not worth it as a pro player. 35k? Dude, that's not worth it. Ugh. I thought at least he would have like 200k or something, you know? 35k? And you get involved with the fucking mafia? Oy, oy, oy. Reason? We got a reason here. Internet. They have internet pause in the game, so we're waiting. Bill is an accomplice. Moreover, Tiger converted me, he fed first blood, but only against his will. Oh boy. Yeah, see, the problem is, if you do bad with the Mafia, they fucking find you. If you do good with the Mafia, they don't want to give up a fucking free money machine, so they will also pressure you to keep going. It's a fu you can't win. You literally can't win. It's soon, it's fucked up, man. And then... Oh my god. Do you see how Taiga plays when he doesn't need to feed first blood? Jesus. He's, all, he's zoned in. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that is way more money, so. Of course. Yeah. All right, the video is almost done, guys. Then we can go to the game. Actually, it's five more minutes. All right, we can do that. It's fine. Five more minutes. Let's just finish it. Uh, here comes the blackmail. For example, I asked to stop making fake Taiga accounts writing everyone with upcoming throws. Oh, I could believe that, maybe. Oh boy. Paris copied Spirit Stress and waited for Odin in the jungle. Yeah. Immediately curses in Telegram. Fuck this. Oh boy. Yeah, but that's why, see, that's why Swiss stages are good that we had in the other tournament. Every match matters. These matches don't happen, and then there's less chance of this fucking bullshit going on. <laughs> no swords, no solution. Yeah, how do you get out? I don't know. In fact, they got higher. Oh, the Berlin Major. The proofs on this part are flimsy. Okay. There were no streams sharing screen from Milan? Yeah, of course. Yeah. 
Ja. You went to the bathroom? Damn, that's my old, that's my old cheating on an exam strat. Go to the bathroom with a second phone, easy clap. <laughs> what the fuck? Jesus Christ. I still remember that history exam in ninth grade. That's oh, that's so not worth it for the much amount of money they make from a major. That's not bad. Tommy Taiga, new this advance as you know the upcoming pick. All in on a different toll. Oh, All those bets, GG. Yeah, the thing is, if you do shit like this, it's gonna be distracting too, maybe. Week later without Taiga, okay. Explain it to him, mental issues, some treatment. My recent seven theory. Oh, he had a seven theory too? Well, yeah, what else are you gonna... Zubin and Sherman Tiger just started working with the other Mafia, what the fuck? No, they were at the wild card or bleed. He was threatened, forced to pay more, and haunted on social media. I was shocked to face such an awful person. This is really isn't denying this. But the question is, even if you paid 10k, are, is he sure sensibility would stop, right? That's why probably maybe it's not even worth Tiger to pay it, right? Tiger crossed the red line. He broke his main problem and started working with other betters. Oh. Yeah. OG haven't said anything. They believe the Tiger neither made bets or fed. But yeah, that's what their official statement was too. All right, that's it. That's the whole video. They believe the Tiger made bets. Oh, that's it. That's the end of the video. Yeah. They had some interview with Seb too, but I, I don't. That was 96k views. What the fuck? Crazy. But we saw some quotes from that one. I think they talked about it. All right, that's the end of the video, boys. We watched all of it. Damn, that's crazy. That is yeah, crazy. Classic move down at bottom where crazy. Stays too far forward. Gets caught out by this reflection metal crazy. of Nightfall's Terror Blade. Yes, I will stop sure, but he go and bet with other people. I see. I mean, I don't know that. That he didn't show any proof of that or anything that I saw at least in the article. So, but I, I see. Okay. 
Lots of green. I see, I see. Net boom doing very well on all three calls. Starting to ramp Check OG Twitter. Yeah, we saw that. We saw the statement we had already. Damn. All right. That was a lot. I mean, it was much more than we read on the TLDR, guys. We still have TLDR. All right. Dragonlance. Well, that's enough. That's, that's enough. As well, that's enough. Just so that he doesn't die. Getting that solo yeah. XP as well on Duraccio. Very important as position one weaver. Stop tagging me. All right, but that's enough sensibility. We don't need you in the chat anymore. I don't want. I don't want to be involved in this in any sort of way. But I. I think we saw what needed to be seen, guys. So we saw what needed to be seen. Yeah. We have to see what saw what needed to be seen. I think. I think my conclusion is it's pretty damning. Like it's very damning the the whole evidence part. I don't think it's it's hard for Taiga to convince someone. It sucks for Taiga though, because I feel for him too. In some level, you know, as a human being, it sucks for him. Once you get too deep into, once you start, you fuck up once, and you get too deep into some shit, it's hard to get out. Right? It's hard to get out. I think. But you know, on some level, oh my God, Duraccio. Jesus Christ. Tucked away now, but yeah. away from saving Miero, and it looks like he's safe. Uh oh. Okay, he's not going back in. I was worried there Gorged for a second. Bans people who flame him, but not criminals like sensibility. El fucking giggle. <laughs> what? <laughs> I didn't. I didn't even see he was in chat. I just saw a message. So aggressive. What am I supposed to ban him for anyway? Not finished off by. I he. We said he's not a good guy. We said it many times. He's not a good guy, he did extremely wrong doing this shit. But he doesn't care, you don't understand, he doesn't care. Like that's, he doesn't care about his image, like it doesn't affect his life, but like it affects Taiga. Taiga's life is fucked now, I mean at least in Dota life, you know? His name is fucked. He's been fed a couple of tangos, raindrop making a difference, fairy fire as well, bringing that bracer. We talked about his itemization, it's all about... Like he doesn't care guys, like it's not the same, you know? So far so good, not overextending and keeping things very close going for Dragonlance as his first item so that that's gonna be even more he got a team now Leviathan yeah I, d I think he's getting dropped on Taiga after the no team wants to be involved in controversy like this not worth it even what whatever of it's true and whatever is not true it's it's already too late you know it's already too late but we watched the whole video it was a good video I think the reporter seems pretty legitimate he brought up points counterpoints like he questioned the credibility of some sources he also gives pers give personal opinions whether or not it's likely that these things are faked which it seems kind of unlikely but yeah wants to invade here tofu's not close enough by this is this is nothing to do with gambling really if anything this is this is not this is not the gambling if anything guys this is the opposite <laughs> this is the opposite of gambling this is the spot to be in, though, as gaming gladiators, it feels like having the act. This is the. This is like teams. rigging stuff. It's uh, scamming, it's cheating, central. it's whatever you want to yeah, call it, right? How much emphasis they put in this mid lane. With Go and put. Just the worded one, and there's also another one right in front of their tower. How? You guys don't understand it? It's cheating. It's a completely, two different, completely they different things, guys. Razor, but Celery's on the run, gets back down to the river. If you rig matches, you're not gambling. Then you're you're rigging stuff, guys. That is completely different. You need to understand the distinction there, guys. The websites they make um, they make money regardless of. Uh, Winning or losing, they don't have to rig shit, but they always will make my money. So check Taiga Twitter. All right, let's see. And another piggy. I don't think he's written anything though. Has he? That was a nice play there. No, I mean there's no response to this, man. What are you supposed to say, dude? He hasn't tweeted anything. I don't know why he said check Taiga Twitter. There's nothing to say. Nothing to say. Tanky I'll say we already said. Tofu, I move. removed the white text, yeah. Back into the mid lane, should be an easy kill on save. Yeah, disrupts himself for a little bit of time. And that's it in the end. One to six. Yeah, game glad here is really... Make a completely opposite game. line, deny everything. You know what? I know how crazy this sounds. Yeah, that might game. honestly be the best move. Hard. Deny everything and out. pretend it didn't happen. A lot of it is already <laughs> what else can you really do? Like, even a, a whatever, fuck, you know? Uh, the only people... I don't know what else to say, dude. Like, what else can you really do? Yeah, it's true. The fuck can you do? He invested into these healing cells, tangos, for the Baraccio. Needed to buy sentries, multiple to unblock some of the camps. 
allowing Duraccio to... There is no winning in this one. It does suck, though, for him. Yeah. You know, it sucks for him, but on some level, level, obviously, personal accountability has to be held as well. A lot of reds. So. Axe already two called armor has... Blade it's my opinion. Could go for some of these solo kills as well. TV, not the AI voice, you think? It didn't. I mean, it sounded very believable to me, but, but need some follow-up. Possible. Like you could. You could always down. claim it at this stage in day and age, right? Yeah. Stun out from GPK. Stomp to sleep them up. Quinn and Tofu fighting back though. So oh, Fufu. A move onto the lash. And I save Quinn's life at least for now. And Celery's also pinging back up towards this radiant triangle. Weaver is invading along with Celery's inch. Would OG be in trouble if found out about the tag incident and you miss him but hit it? Yes, they would be. If someone were to prove that to OG knew about it and uh, and still played with him, I think they would be in trouble, yeah. That is a good point. OG might be sweating a little bit, you know? It's possible. That would be really bad. That's a million, million dollar big org. They do not like being involved in this shit, I'll tell you that much. Holy moly, Betboom got fucked by Liquid and now they're getting railed by Gaiman too, holy shit. Unfortunately, but they are running them over. Durancho is just chilling. That's why TB, he can't... Quinn playing Razor, hold up. That's not his 1v5 bristle hero. He can play more heroes, what the hell? Why do people insist on picking Terrorblade though? I don't get it. It is theoretically a decent Terrorblade game. It's like a Razor, he's pretty good against Razor. I think that's the main reason they picked him, but still, there's no way, bro. Yeah, no, uh, as far as I know, at least looking at the article, it's really hard to say that this was, like, not real. You know what I mean? Really hard. Smiley face, smiley face. Double Russian smiley face. Okay, Discord lag, smiley face. GLHF. This is the second time that they say lag. What does that mean? Ay, ay, ay. Oh these all these oh, smiley faces, what? bro. Okay. So I, I thought they were talking about. A match fixing it sucks. It ruins everything. But it's so twice. big. And you know what I'm worried about the most, actually? When you think about it, how do the Mafia bosses feel about this being exposed? Their whole, like, scheme is being exposed. I'd be concerned if I was anybody involved in that shit at all now, you know? Like, sensi sensibility should watch his back now too, I think. I I don't know, bro. That is, I don't get involved with those people, that's all I gotta say, man. Let's fucking fuck that shit. And the reporter guy, maybe? I don't know. They don't care. Maybe they don't even care. Hamachi? Do you remember that one? I do. Yeah. Everyone knows it? Yeah, maybe, but... Too old, actually. Yeah. Back Back in our every sport has that. Back yeah, the, the, it is in almost every, every sport. Sort of like that's the that's the bad truth of it. Pretend we had land connections over the internet and great stuff. Now, things have been very slow in this game for Betboom though. Down. Seven we saw the OG statement already. Five K net worth and now basically down half their map. Game and Here we go, Quinn. From bottom lane, Linking GPK. Mid, sweeping in towards this last right. True, true. the stampede to save him. GPK gets away with I was approached by now, sensibility in my Herald game said, Oh no. Says nowhere is safe. You cannot show on the map. We will run at you. Things are gonna get much more difficult now for Bed Poom. Stinny boy, that's 35 He's months. Picked up his blink dagger. It's XD. being delivered. So once you get that, you will have a form of initiation. Tofu, he is getting some farm, and they are going for enemy XP run. In case of a federation by any federal entity or similar, I do not have any involvement with this group or the people in it. I do not know how I'm here. Probably added by a third party. I do not support any actions of the members of this group. Nice, I like that, I like that. It's true, true. All accurate. I don't even play Dota. I don't even know what he's talking about. I don't know anything, guys. Hands, my hands have been here since I was born. I never put my hands down. This is where my hands were since I was born. I never put them down. I swear. Mid lane salaries free farming there, and Chandra's she can scale. Yeah, no joke. That's just such not a for spot to be in. We're safe. Yeah, he's not going for you know Dragon Lance power treads into Hurricane Pike, uh, Shard, Dagon, etc. Whatever. He's just picking up. What? Yo, dice, there's some man. That bloodstone on Lash no Rack video proof that this man every play as well, Dota. try to cancel his blank dagger with it. So yeah, I know, right? What the fuck? Why do you think I deleted the vaults, guys? Now you know. Tanky, but, yeah, <laughs> it wasn't a misclick after all. Coincidence, guys? Coincidence? Hmm. Oh, Sus, yeah. Very suspicious, right? The video gets dropped. All my vaults get deleted. 
You know that Weaver game yesterday, guys? You don't even know how much money I made off throwing that game. Nah, I'm just kidding, guys. That's a, that was a skit and a joke, guys. Just so everybody is aware. It was a pub, and it was a joke. Yes, the authorities are aware. Again, is Thank you, Storm Mountain. Investigation by any federal entity or similar. So I do not have any Arcane involvement boots, with so nice. the with the people in it. I do Just not know these... how I am here. Probably based... added by a third party. Battles, I do not like. support any actions by the yeah, members of the group. Because you have an offlaner who's having such a good time on top of the network. 15 minute blank Happy dagger blade mail. I score. don't think you need to rush it. It's more. Storm Mountain. Thanks for 18 months. Thank you, bro. Mana and Ace wants to get the jump. There it is. Straight in. Save him a little bit here it's with a the disruption. Setup for tiny. <laughs> it is into a dunk. The third win there for the Axe of Ace. And he's pig polling forward, trying to chase into Shadow Demon. Maybe he's swinging also northwards pig now. <laughs> Miero is being eyed up by My Dark. arrow. TP out from the centaur. All right. I was a little bit I was a little bit taken aback. We're remote in video, so but we should watch the games now. The Let's see. Like pushing the limits in this it's not much left play, anyway. Because you are playing against Weaver, who doesn't have any kind of stuns. Things will change eventually as soon as he picks up that Gleipnir so he can stop his TP, keep him in place during the Stampede, or if they decide to bring either Axe or Tiny. Why? I, 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 I can't, uh, some of people are asking me to, to perma ban his ability in the chat. I could do it, Not a real but, Nightfall has been like, first of all, Mafia, Monka is. But secondly, second like, the what's my... What's my reason? He's not a good guy. We've said that. He rigs matches. But he is also the one that made this report happen, which brought awareness and came out with the truth, right? About uh, what shit, the shit that's going on, right? Right. Otherwise, nobody would have known. Stampeding away. So another defensive one there, just to get out of the grasps of gaming gladiators. Mod him. <laughs> no, I'm not modding him. I'm just saying, I'm just telling you guys, I, I don't like the guy. I say, I'm telling you, I don't like this ability. I've said it many times on my stream. Million times. I don't like him. Play on the enemy side of the map a little bit. Yeah, even, the, like, this is the thing, right? Or oh, is, is, wait, is Mira still dying? Tofu's tracked back and found the centaur here. No stomp, no stomp. I was telling you, if he didn't say anything, nothing would have happened. Right? Rochan gets him. Oh. Of course, underlying oh. under that, if all of this that has been sent in the video was, was true Baron and all that, Roshan then yeah. It, yeah, Nashor, I was thinking, what if Roshan's net worth would be worth more if... That we have to underline as well, if it's all true. We don't know for sure. Nothing we know for sure. OG, at least, the organization yeah, believes it's true. That, like, they condemned... Thing. They condemned the Tiger. Chatters asking about OG Roshan would be a bit... WTF, much, but, 322 you know, on match is much easier than actually winning a team. Yeah, I mean, it is... Not everyone can be mega famous. I feel like the amounts that were going around, I mean, except for that 50k bet, the amounts that were going around doesn't seem like it's worth it, risking your pro career, considering you can make millions winning Riyadh. Millions. But Taiga's bets seem to have been 90% on himself and him, them getting first blood, right? Except for like a few of them where he fucked up, right? And then they had to, and then they had to change the thing. We were waiting for this opportunity ever since Miero's like, okay, Blank Dagger is available. He's going to TP mid, get picked up by Date Smoke, and let's see what they can do with it. Game glad it is a smoked into them. Blink stomp raises the wall. One five is fixed too. Centaur it was. Back up. Where's the buddies? TB arrives. Stampede's coming. Tofu's still alive though. And Quinn gets off his BKB into a turnaround play, draining all the damage through that disruption onto Miero. A few more hits should do Miero. the job. Miero. Gladiators and that's it. Man, TB's so shit, dude. Look at he's just like scared with top net worth. There's nothing he can do. Meanwhile, Giga Chat X is gonna handle the business if he ever jumps him. You know, X used to be the old school counter of TB because it was pure spin on. The uh, <laughs> he called the ground. <laughs> nice one, Ace. I was just praising him. Shadow poison ticked out on him, so he lost his blink dagger. Unlucky. I mean, it was a good initiation, but no real follow-up. They needed either ET stomp to land, or they needed Earth Splitter to land on those two heroes so they can take a fight. But GPK, he's not. He's not too comfortable to get close to a fight, considering that he doesn't have a Bloodstone yet. He deals insane amount of damage with Kaya and Whispers of the Dread, but 
he can be shredded. Like once and then those good as heart. That was when we self finished because what the video said. He wanted revenge. Yeah. <laughs> he did. I'm not saying he's a good crack guy for even coming out to this. He was blackmailing him, which is fucked up, I think. But in his eyes, he, at least according to the video, Taiga owed him money for one reason or another. I don't know. But like I said, in these kind of situations, how do you know? You know? Uh, the, the hard to know the absolute full truth. Centaur and Terrorblade on his tail, the Avalanche TP, though. That was crazy, though. Oh my god, he's out. I saw, I saw two things pop He's up too good, man. He is too good dead. on Tofufu. No. Uh, tofu he, made, he made it look close. Like I am, you know what? Gen, you know, as a funny side note, I am genuinely impressed that Taiga managed to, like, say, we're gonna get first blood fucking 20 something times in a row and do it how the fuck do you even do that against top teams that must be so fucking hard i am genuinely impressed with that as as a, as a, obviously a weird side note to all of it like what the fuck how do you fucking do that betting against yourself and throwing and looking stupid that's easy doing the opposite what the fuck Hold them back is what the fuck do you? How do I would never trust myself to do that. So never. Ooh, forcing a stampede. Take some balls, dude. Okay. I guess because GPK is farming the outer ring top. He was trying to get first blooded. Yeah, when the, it was it was obvious when you look at it, and he was trying to get first blooded. It was so Man, obvious. About yeah. But it's I think we wouldn't notice it too much because usually the camera is not always on him, right? When you're spectating a game and whatnot, so it's not always as easy to notice as you think it is. Yeah. And people do make stup do stupid mistakes in Dota all the time, even the pros. So it's not always that easy to under we just to, need to see get him it. A bit more time. We just need to get him to defusal and heart, and then bloodthorn, and then and then and then. It's and always then one item. At least yeah. for me, PL at least can you know, cause some confusion and right. can pop off if you have like good timing on your defusal blade. Good PL players will join correctly, get one fight, continue to farm up their next item. But uh, right now, Bet Boom, they have no real space to farm. You can see where GPK is farming, not where you want to be with the Lash Rack. And he's in the outer ring on side of Gaming Gladiators near the Mighty Mines. While well, rest of the gaming gladiators are pushing this tower and doesn't seem like Bet Boom can take this fight. Baraccio, Gleipner is available, so there's gonna be a lot of chain to chain chain damage. Plasma field, the uh, eye of the storm, keep them in place. Ah, uh, yo, Schneeches, thanks to the Prime, man. Have a blink dagger. How did you accidentally sell boots, though? No, that wasn't on purpose. So there's actually a real play you do in Dota to ward fast. I'll tell you guys. You buy boots, and you run up to this secret shop, level 1. That's what Taiga did, right? And you sell them just to get faster here to buy to place a ward, and then you run back and you get your items. That way, you place a ward where enemy won't expect it, right? Like, maybe blocking the camp or whatever. It's actually a real play. But then, not getting the items and <laughs> trying to die, that's different. Fighting the troll without any items? That was like, Jesus Christ, man. Real, real challenge to break through. Eternal Shroud, Blade Mail. But yeah, I think Boxy. I don't know if Boxy created that, but Boxy does that at least quite a lot. Yeah, it does increase. Wow, this is one passive ass Weaver build, but whatever. He doesn't need to do much. He needs to just sit back and wait for Terrorblade to lose, it feels like. And also. Gamer are doing good job choke holding the map here. Pretty freaking massive. That's just like Tidehunter Ravage type. Can someone link the video? Yeah, yeah, the link is... I mean, just check the top of Reddit, it's just there. It's just there. More blade mail value? Yeah, great, great build. Bet Boom just slowly being shoved back into their base. Wave by wave, tower by tower. Lane by lane. They've got to do something to break out of this. And it looks like it's break out of a this? smoke wraparound, but they can't decide where they're heading. GPK was going bottom, Nightfall was trying to go out through top, now they just run down mid and onto the wheel. There's the follow-up, they, they got him. Got it. The follow-up. Finally, finally, it took them 24 minutes to They do finally so. got my Rachio. He was trying to die this game. There was Why no does the Rachio actually die four times every them. game? Hmm. Maybe with like Even though GG are winning every game. Max, would be they blink There's in, they're gonna go on Centaur, toss him back. Yeah, they use a lot of spells for Centaur then, Tofufu is dead too. This can actually be pretty good for Gaiman. They're looking. Boxing Celery, slowly. Quinn is trying to run, Celery, 1 HP, come on. Oh my god, he didn't die. That is so sad. 
Ace's axe slips out of grasp and Celery's Enchantress also making a run. Wind's trying to run here. I don't know. Blink call an axe, but it's who cares? TB doesn't care. He's just an OP hero, I guess, Kappa. They're trying to finish this axe off. Ah, it's not enough. Wow. Gaiman's kiting there was insane. I can't believe they died. Two heroes like that chasing and didn't get anybody. Duracho set that all up, guys. He did all of that. He's just too good. Did you that solo? Yeah. Oh, Celery killed him? Oh my god, that's so sad. He was chasing the hench and died. And then refills his bottle, and then Celery is following Quinn, using Spirit Vessel on him and bringing him back to full HP. Quinn watches Duracho die, and he's just like, You're going fountain, right? <laughs> Yabzor yeah, time. Grab me a, you know, a Big Mac, Crunch Trap Supreme. <laughs> How can I stop players out. using phone and toilet? Double, double, you know what? I don't know, actually. No pickles. Oh. They need a full no pickles? cavity search on every player, I think, before every game. I mean, are and during the game, just in case like, there's a vibrator I somewhere. Pickles too much, but, uh, mm. I, can also I think that's the only solution. But the thing is about like pickles and cucumbers, cucumbers disgusting like how, how do you eat cucumbers and then pickles are like okay it's pretty good finally a yeah, good take yeah no right i mean i'll see i can't, can't do anything i despise cucumbers and i love pickles pickled cucumbers gherkins do you have a specific name for pickled cucumbers in croatian uh we just add like the word acidic before that that's like a little translation just like acidic, acidic cucumber acidic cucumber yeah nice well, it's just basically the same thing as saying pickled cucumber, I guess. But yeah, I, uh, I get into arguments often because uh, for me, pickles are anything that's pickled. So onions, yes. cucumbers, eggs, you can, they're all pickles. You can pickle anything. Yeah, absolutely can. Jalapeno peppers, pickled. Jalapeno. He's just angry. He's angrily stomping because he blinked badly in the woods on Centaur. That's funny. He's still stuck. He's pinging himself. He got out. There we go. How did we start talking about freaking pickles? Uh, you pickle? Said pickle. You oh my god, Rick, I'm a heckin' pickle. pickle. How crazy is that? Same. Well, I mean, Morty. Oh, did I? Yeah, no, we yeah Quest got destroyed by Falcons. Oh, I don't, oh, yeah, I haven't yeah, updated yeah, no, title. Bet Boom versus... Uh, oh, there we go. Two nice kills, actually. BB versus GG. There we go. Zero, zero. Starting to come out of their shell. It's been very cool. Let's go. On the Bet Boom front, but now... A couple of decent initiations, getting out of their base. Missing 11k three times? Actually, it was four times I missed 11k, guys. Four. Done it. Unbelievable. Minutes into the game. Still, one of one of the most upsetting things I've ever done in my whole streaming career is missing 11k four times. So pretty massive. 17,000 network has Hurricane Pike to break the link of his zone against Razor Garaccio again. Oh boy. He's dusted and stomped now, though. He just gone. Surrounded, the Weaver has no friends in this area. Easy clap. Blasted down by Bet Boom, and they did not lose the Wisdom Rune this time. Easy ah, clap. Rachio down. Aegis plus kill. Was... Looking good, guys. Looking very sus, actually. Nah, it's looking good. Bet Boom are a good team. They can come back. Looking a little bit too good, doesn't it? Because he had one suspicious death near the mid lane they still decided oh, to what a build on x now bloodstone eternal well. shroud Bedford shard i like it wide. i like it the bloodstone makes your call bigger actually if you think about it that's even Let's doper now if nice. Dead and gladiators want to fight again without their weaver oh my god Bet. currently solo smoked gathered up with ace and celery quinn awesome. is just... you know what he's gonna write oh 17 packet oh, i was wrong <laughs> the Rachio faking rage to throw off lag. investigators. <laughs> Holy shit. Not this it's over. 17 packet. The whole thing needs to go. I've got a flying neutral item over the TV. Uh, right, so Quinn's razor is running into the middle of Bet Boom, and backup is like. like 3, reason? We didn't get a reason? Or... Oh no, he wrote the reason. He wrote packet loss. 17 packet loss. Can We've had more packet loss issues and stuff in Dota a little bit more in the past few months. Something up with the update. Like blank stun him. Okay, he doesn't Maybe Valve reduced their amount of employees from Maybe two to one. With some that would explain a lot. Play into Splitter or a hoof stomp, the rest of the team should be able to connect. But 
Finn also does have the friend lists are too big. Oh yeah, dude, wasn't that a crazy conspiracy that actually got confirmed in Dota? Yeah, I guess, that if you have big friend lists, you get more lag or something. Tanky. Fucking nuts. I'm removing people right now. Who's getting removed from my friend? I'm removing somebody right now. I don't care. I'm totally not from the Russian Let's find them. The Russia has me because I was told you threw failed top, four times chance to reach 11k. We can <laughs> use a talent and like yours. Again, area. I'm totally not from the Russian mafia. Salary controls up with some vision. Okay, dude. Let's give a little bit of room now. We're moving bedroom. somebody. Get out on that bottom lane. Toronto, Tokyo's out. Somebody out. is Dropping getting removed. To be placed. In the name. Nothing personal, kid. But Green's I need. So the, I need the, the. I need the FPS. Move speed. You're, getting, <laughs> you're getting removed. Win place. Yeah. Bam. Nice and white. Man, I'm I kind of feel bad about removing people though. Talents, no idea. Guy seems nice. <laughs> I'll keep him. Such a lazy Poor guy. Man. So here we go. Twenty move speed. <laughs> I gotta find somebody to kill them. Time, Pelican, <laughs> my old <laughs> teammate. I've seen this game forever. Speaking of start, removed. Oh, nice PKB out of Quinn and a jump go. call from Axe. Pelican is dead. GPK is dead. Here we go. Literated and out of the picture for a minute. Durancho is going to time lapse off all of that damage because Quinn with Tofu chasing it onto Toronto, Tokyo. Elder Titan trying to save oh, the tree. Save. Away, you get chopped. Oh, we just beautiful, beautiful. Well, save dies right, in the meantime, we got so two down. Two dead. Are they gonna go high ground? They're not throwing hard enough for GG to lose. Not enough. 40 seconds, it should be a Rex, maybe. You see them winning those fights. Is Juice to remove only one? Off. Who knows? Maybe that one is well, keeping my really FPS nice down. If someone has a shining moving profile, they're definitely going, dude. They're definitely you're going. Yeah, those buildings are gonna go down. That's a sh like way too shiny of a profile. With, no way, Percy's, you're gone. And look Remove. at the AOE on Berserker's call. Shiny profiles. Pretty insane. Hate these shiny profiles. You're also getting removed. I'm removing people, guys. I want FPS. I think I care about friends. The only thing I have in life is Path to the Ghoul. Why, why doesn't he just go and get Aghan himself? I will get rank one and I will kill all my friends along the way. Kill is a little bit harsh, Jesus. I don't know what I mean. The Ghoul uh, kills. I will destroy them. He might still swap things around. I, I don't know if. Uh... He wants to commit to it. Lotus Orb is good at... Beaver, Just last online one reflection. year ago. I guess right, that's so a remove. Actually... 44 friends in common, though. You get hit by that reflection. It's good against Sunder. Bolt is live. Well. Last online two I years ago. Hmm. No, not the greatest Let's keep her, guys. Item in this game. Just Let's in case to commit to it. Maybe he we play games again together. Surely I haven't burned that bridge. Extra armor. Let's see if he goes for it. Uh, Aghanim Scepter definitely up there. He was also now about we know shard. Koki has uh, been bought by 322 Mafia. Sanja for more status resistance and the dunk possibility. Oh, wait, Miracle, whatever, lose. Joe Papa. Yeah, tons of ways to go. Gonna see his quick the hell is this ship. guy? Another two oh, man stop? One. Oh, so Quinn with the whips. Quinn with the whips. Pause. Lol. GPK got revenge against Celery, by the way. It's pretty funny. Now, what happens next? It's one of those classic. One for one, but one is a core and one is a support. That's what you do. Who is Shadow Demon behind the mask? He just he's just a blob, dude. He's just a dude in one of those skin tight suits. What, what do you do, Gary? He's a cosplayer, man. What the fuck? Let's say a guy uh, I'm removing someone else. Who is this Carl guy? Last oh, online no. two weeks yeah. ago. Yannick! Does no, we gotta keep Yannick. So... Uh... Okay, Quinn, giving them an advice that... Marios? Should... I'm sorry, I'm removing you, Marios. Money into you don't even play on this account. Different Discord channel, considering that... Mario C, are you in the chat? Sorry, I removed you. Discord, what is Quinn Miracle? Say? I'm never removing Miracle. <laughs> I love a bit of old so, chat. So Quinn wants yeah, so... them to invest into their own Discord. He's not in the chat. The same Discord. <laughs> oh, I don't know, man. Damn, I'm, I'm feeling my FPS increasing as I'm removing my friends, guys. Holy shit. Has paused the game. It's the answer. My, my, my response is this. The OK Egg guy? I can't you remove that it. guy. It's gone. <laughs> what do you mean? I can't remove that guy. You've hammered it's it broken. into the keyboard. It's just like a hole. Yeah, in, it's... it's a hole in your table. <laughs> There's no keycap. Oh, friend. Another guy. Who's this guy? Last online Shout seven months ago. Go, uh, go do some cold call Danish like guy. Or, it's Beaver or, Knight. Or oh, like, friend. I need caps, my F9 in particular. One of the best things that have been okay. that has been added to the guy, game. Guy, remove Fern, star Jadian. You cannot pause the game and Friends? start. I, I, 
top tier, best. I don't know. Okay, how many do I have left here? Couriers, having five couriers is up there. We're moving some friends, boys, on the side. I'm it's productive. One guy. Like, productive. Know what he's doing. Watson like, Smurf. Why are you I'll move that one. He's not allowed to smurf. It's banned yeah, anyway. <laughs> probably, you know. Chippy, chippy, chapa, chapa. You click that ready button. Okay, there we go. That's enough. I got some insane no FPS, guys. Dota's going to be so easy now. And we are <laughs> Caliber Smurf. Fail. So we used to play Ability Draft with this German guy, and Move he had a, a young baby. And without fail, we would queue for a game. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it, dude. Like Twenty or thirty minutes, right? So we queue for. Wait, is this Excalibur Smurf? Or did I just remove the real Excalibur? Like, Oops. I need to feed the baby. So we had him. Pause the game. Go AFK. We would all have to report. Ash strike. And he would go and feed the baby for Move. like five or ten minutes, or he would go to the bathroom okay. and take a shit. There we go. So I am so glad that my Bambo. Is saved oh my god. My when they I go can't remove him. You don't need a it's smoke too break. sad. You don't need to poop. You should have done this before queuing. Yeah, you don't need to feed the baby. Right, that's enough. <laughs> you don't need to feed the baby? <laughs> enough. Yeah, you really set up priorities there, Gary. I uh, <laughs> can't remove <laughs> Bambo. <laughs> Fucked up. Uh, I'll uh, I'll tank no, the minus I, I, of PS for that. big reason for me. Why my F9 is or Jaden gave me the void set? Well, that was like five years ago, wasn't say, it? Like, I don't even remember it actually. Maybe you're right. Say delivery. I need five minutes because I messed up. I need to finish this meal because it's gonna be so bad if it's not. There's no point in removing them. It affects so only if they're online. The real time update on their activity is what causes the lag. Really? That's so fucked up. He's back in disc joining. He's Moment. Back, so okay. No, um, We're getting nice updates here. Holy shit, so many guy doesn't want to hit that so button. many updates. I love it. He's coming back and uh, Thank you. they're not lying. Who who's allowed to, so I was spamming F9. Like spectators and observers can't F9. F9, right? F9, no, F9. That has been moved like removed long, long time ago. So players can in any oh, of the there's players, Oh wait. They, can they concocted so a plan, control. but it didn't work. Hang on, the fight's continuing. Oh it God, didn't work. Uh, <laughs> six stacks, like that's gonna kill him. Uh, like that's gonna kill him. GPK a little isolated. Let's see. Wait, wait, wait. Here's Nightfall, the real one. Ace with the Bloodstone chasing. Four staff back. Nice kite by Gaiman. That's why they're good. Bet boom. They pop meta. They turn around. They tried to fight, but now they've spent their spells. Gaming gladiators could come in for round two and maybe just crush this one. We should try one v five in Guardians. I mean, what else can you do? Let's see what. Well, isn't it? Wait, I keep mixing it up. The third one, I did Guardians. He needs to do Crusader, right? He needs to go for Crusader. Or he can't win. The spell mechanic, which is gonna be nice against Reflection. Scotty as well. I think that's that's what he's bothered about. Like he gets slowed down there. And Baraccio going for Tormi. Be careful. Baraccio. Next time we'll do it. We'll do it with different rules next time though. We'll do. You can pick any hero you want. As well. Preferably, you're just your best hero, and then. Looks like uh, time for Bet Boom Two. And then uh, what you gonna call it? One lane rack down in that bottom lane. Higher rank. I would not be and I get a few bands though. I get a few bands. Move into the I just wanted to do it the same condition Quinn was doing it. That's all. Get into that classic. That's all, you know. Cutting I don't. I didn't lane. really know the rules or anything. There's also that potential for Roshan. Before I did it. Know, just over a minute for that fast spawn to come. I mean, the YouTube video on Jenking has 115,000 views, guys. Mine better have like millions. Millions. Did Quinn ever die, though? He went 41 and 6, damn. He did die one. That's 41, 46 and 1. I went 33 and 1 before I won. <laughs> He goes and tries to kill kills the Torment. What was his build anyway? Kills himself and AC, Octarine. He doesn't even have Ags, bro. The little bro <laughs> Quinn is not even a Bristle game. player. Pain and no Ags. I don't remember watching that. I, I probably saw it. The one that always... Remove Pango. What rank is Quinn then? I don't know, bro. I don't know. I don't know, man. Maybe 5k. I'm just kidding. Pops himself from 100 to 0. Jenkins is better at YouTube than you? I think Jenkins is the number one YouTube... Uh, uh, in in all of Dota, it's kind of crazy. It's because of all the pauses that we had, so you do lose the track of time. You lose a little bit of momentum as well during the pauses. Yeah, I mean that, that to me felt like the time for Game Gladiators to put their foot down a little bit. But Bed Boom have been allowed to get Metamorphosis back off cooldown. BKBs are already. So Dota, what the fuck? I don't know. Fight. Dota, what the fuck? Again. I don't think. I think Dota, what the fuck is dead, a isn't it? And Twenty away. Also, Dota what the fuck could be a group of guys. Jake is just one guy. Ah, Dota what the fuck still gets a lot of views. What the fuck? 
Five, 222,000 views. It actually still gets a decent amount. That's crazy. Okay. Ace is a little bit stuck. He's trying to bluster on his way out of this. Nope. Bro, they're coming back, I think. I don't know. I keep thinking they might come back, but then Gaiman just don't lose that much. They just sell one guy and run away. Peru watches Dota, what the fuck? Yeah, I, mean, I can't think of... There's any... Press 1 in the chat if you watch Dota, what the fuck? And press 2 if you don't. Like, I haven't... Okay, in the last year or two, I don't know. You guys actually watch that shit? I see a couple people... Okay, there's a, some people in chat watching it. But it's way more 2s. Way more 2s. Definitely not the target audience here. Looks like the building should... Oh, the range rack dies. Melee still, of course, surviving. Yeah, that's one of those yeah. Really okay, I mean, that might be the number one channel, but Jenkins still... I feel like Jenkins has the easiest one. He doesn't even have to... He just watches Herald replays, right? He just spams him. That seems like the nicest fucking gig, bro. Yeah, I'm not saying that to... Uh... Not saying to say what he did is not good or anything, but, you know, he's just spamming Herald videos. Look how many views he's getting. Crazy. 170k, 140k, 200k, and that's a week watching a Herald replay, replay every week. Damn, that's, a fucking, that's a nice one, man. On Terrorblade, so they should be able to take it. Bottom lane will push in naturally. Mid lane as well, we have this range barracks taken let's see if bad boom wants to take the fight it's been 20 almost 20k gold lead for them elder hero reaper is actually pepper left yeah roshan dropping down to half i know right they, they can't get there on time i could i couldn't do it the brain rot would be too much for me but it could be funny if it's like specifically funny ones right i'm trying to work on but yeah kaya sands for the centaur with a shard queued up next a tier 4 token just picked up by him as well so potential here for Betboom to have another round of huge items to try and contend with gaming gladiators in the next bout. Well, yeah. Aegis and cheese for Weaver. You agree with Hassan and say the stream ring is a very hard job? No. I, need some element of surprise. I do. Ag I will say that Cheeky if you want to be the best at anything and you're, you're your own oh, boss, you, you can make it however hard you want to be. So you can make streaming device. a harder job than being an oil <laughs> rig repairman. I don't know if if you just happen, decide to work uh, 18 so hours a day every day, you know? Nightfall, yeah, you can make anything a hard job. Nightfall has been pretty on point. So it's all relative. But in general, no, streaming is not that hard. He, have, like, he has like 50% evasion at this point, holding on to Aviana's Fetter and Butterfly. There is MKB. There are things like mental exhaustion, except for physical one. Not what Hassan said. Ah, I just read what someone in chat said. Oh. Ace has got a grab here. Save throws Demonic Purge onto this axe, and Nightfall opens up with the Metamorphosis. The Blink Stomp in from Miero. Ace is still alive. Finally, oh my god. Magic gets off the time lapse now, though. GPK still has a BKB to play with. As this Nightfall Terrible just stands here and watches the Okay, okay. Into the ball. Nice kite by TB. Axe is already dead. Could this be a good fight? They're my Rachio. He lost Aegis. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I don't think they can kill him again, though. No way. Stuns and catch here. You can die from streaming. You can definitely die from streaming. Of course you can. Uh, oil rig is a bad example because oil rig is maybe the hardest, one of the hardest jobs in the whole world. To be fair, but like in general, I mean, it's kind of like thinking like Jeff Bezos has a easy job. I mean, he maybe has now, but he used to have an easy job. But he probably worked like crazy to start up Amazon. Probably like insane old days. You just say, ah, but he just sat in front of a computer. Yeah, but. Probably did really a fucking long days, you know? And then he got successful. And I love the build that he's going for. This is a bit of a pub build, a mean build. If you can slot in maybe some heart later on down the line. God of giving examples. I know, right? I know. Have a camera so he can pull them in and also land the stomp. Or land the I think even in modern age, as crazy as it sounds, a lot of people don't respect non-physical labor, you know? Rattle cage on axe. Like they don't feel like it, it should so easy, you know? No. No. Why would anybody complain Zero about sitting in front of a computer ever? But items, I, for some reason, Holy item moly. Like, there it is. You that was a big burst on Rachio. Big fucking burst. I'm not saying my... I mean, they just like, like don't even like it at all. But I will say that for myself, I prefer it. You know, <laughs> for sitting over a computer. I mean, that's how I grew up. 
Saved us die in the end to Ace. Now GPK's been Win is just never stopping. Holy shit. Cheese too. Wait, they're turning on him. Wait, they realize he's faking. He's a faker. But he, uh, he's still not stopping. Miero's dead. He's so strong with the refresher, man. It's so crazy. Cheese refresher. Fuck that shit. The Raju is actually feeding so much. Like first static link, let's say, was on the pool with the shard, and second didn't register, so he had, you know, he, he's stuck there, acting like he can't pass through that cliff. It was a weird that interaction. Was wild. Oh, and there's four staff drifting people left and right as well. GPK and Tofu that yules into the sky. Tofu's about to die. Tosses a creep into the face of GPK with his Very nice. Breath. Very nice and kills. Somehow Betpum are holding on. I don't know how, but they're holding on. On the legs of the Rachio, they're holding on to this goddamn game. They don't want to lose, bro. They do not want to lose. My goodness. Holy, that's a flying illusion, help. Okay, disruption, hold up. He has no BKB for 20 seconds. This could be a kill. What the fuck? X with the call, but the nice pike, pre-pike. They're still going on Quinn. He's dying, he's dead. Finally, Quinn dies. They're going for more. Let's see what they can get. Gleipner is here by Mairachio to slow things down. MP, they actually just get out of there, huh? Okay. I think it was Toronto Tokyo's. I think it was Toronto Tokyo's four staff that uh, kind of pushed him away because I clicked immediately and Hurricane Pike was not. It was ready on TP. Okay. I think if we could see the replay one more time, that, that yeah. would definitely help. The replay from like three minutes ago, like start with Duraccio's death, <laughs> right? And then. So the Razor, I think, only used one. MS Spock, that's 21 months. So I think it was just the, the to shard the link. Was trying game to... I know. Like you make him are. and the TB closer, you and he's gonna call a clip. It couldn't. You are. Yeah. You are. Double. You are. Double, Double XP rune. Can I save Vols, please? Yeah, yeah, I will. I think this Vault is being maybe, saved. Don't worry, guys. The Vols are coming back. I messaged Twitch about it. They're coming back. Don't worry. I mean, I don't know if you guys want to watch old Vaults, but this one was. Yeah. I queued up the arcane blink as well. You think it's common uh, to do the throwing in Dota 2? Okay. Uh, okay. I think. I'll tell you at least from what I know, in tier 1, it, it especially in Western Europe, it's non-existent, basically. I got a if Taiga yeah, thing, I always have to preface. If everything with Taiga was true, then that was an anomaly. But, I think in other scenes, especially tier 2 in every fucking region, uh, yeah, I would personally never put my money on anything related to that shit, ever. Fuck that. At least not personally. I, I am not, I, there's too many teams that have been Valve banned and shit like that to to trust that shit. Lotuses of Duraccio, six of them in his backpack. GPK and Nightfall still pretty tight to this Radiant base. Fuck that. Not wanting to How can I know? Well, maybe being very intimate with the scene for this like 10 years might let me know. <laughs> if we had heat map. I don't think Betboom have crossed the river since minute 10 or something, you know? Maybe yeah, that's, okay, it was... wild exaggeration, but you get what I mean. Yeah, you have TB pushing out some of these ways. They didn't kill tier 2, tier 1 tower. I'm talking real lane. It took them a really long time to kill tower in the mid. What, 28 minutes we said? It yeah. was GPK who was like farming the outer ring at one point, but they've been on their side of the river pretty much throughout the whole game. I think it still exists. A little bit. a pretty good job Not from that long. position. And being on your... On your back foot. Oh, my vault's no technical error. Bad. Yeah, pretty much. That boom have been going no more go, no more Revenant's Broach build. They actually managed to completely the kill the item, it seems like. Maker. Nobody wants to buy it. This would have been a nice game oh, for it against TB, though. Gary. No, they're not. Oh, no, they're they're not. Actually, Who's getting who here? Get their feet wet. Any kill is good. Even Celeri. He's coming no, down. Like Can they kill him? Get the DD rune. Move into position with a Miero blink stun. Yep, they're going. Ooh, they have to burst him. They got it. X blinks in, but he only gets the ET. Wait, this is whatever. He's gonna die. Holy throw, dude. It's happening. What are we doing for our anniversary next month? Barley is a must. Probably playing Dota, my bro. 32 Vietnam League players got recently permanent MRI. 32? What the fuck? He jumps in now and he gets purged by shadow demon on top of it and tb just slows him down and kills him <laughs> and this was the hero that Dyer's middle tower yeah, go ahead just not long ago axe felt like the hero that was just winning the game single-handedly he was destroying he people did. i don't think this is 
an easy game by any means for gaming gladiator I, I, like they need to commit heavily they need to get the first jump they need to find the back lines and kill off this shadow demon because he has he can keep the distance like look at his right. items <laughs> ether lance blank dagger ogre seal totem. Scorpio so always laundering channel points yeah distance. i'm it's collecting as i'm so collecting the channel points his job is to blink in, use the disruption, and save it. Upon further consideration, uh, yeah, guys, I, these four I, well, I had right? some time to think about yeah, it. I think I will ban in the chat. I think I will ban. I say four staffs. They've got. I think I will ban. I think I'll do it. Respectively, they have multiple blinks, ether lenses, range, catch. I think upon further consideration, I think I will actually by bad boom in the last. Three, four, five, for a simple reason. I just want to separate myself from that as far as I can. And that's all. You know. That's my reasoning. But both teams going to start edging towards the pit. Top lane tier two going to be pressured by some TB illusions in a second. And Betboom knows the angle from which Game Gladiator... But I needed some time to think about it. Betboom. Vision dropped. Toronto, Tokyo spotted. Four staff, four staff. Oh, there we go. Out of trouble as gem trickster's cloak. It's the. <laughs> I have 550k channel points. What can I do? Quinn Just on razor. Spam ha redeems Three. until you're out. That's the only Jack thing you can do. So Is that does that even work today? It does work today. I think. Back speed from Terrorblade. That's gonna be pretty big. Like I we want to add more. We want to add more. Speed out of them because this is what you usually want to save it for, and one of the reasons why he's going refresher on Centaur. Want to add more channel emote stuff, but it's just. It's just to be careful. not that fun. It gets very repetitive very fast. This one is kind of low key. We can kind of ignore it, so it's fine. TB should be the focus here for Game and TB Aso Come on GPK is actually doing it Miro bot back Celeri comes in Takes a lot of damage The refresher on TB What the fuck He's so fast Can they get him? They missed the stun Nah he's dead anyway I'm sure Holy comeback boys But look the base is falling The base Someone needs to defend Managed to get the, the barracks and Miero bot back, but he didn't defend. Miro. They have to TP back ET. It's a shit hero to defend, but it's good enough. Now yeah, yeah, means Gaiman will want to take this fight. Something They're blink stunning Quinn. They're focusing him with BKB on TB. Tap, 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 tap. There's a link by Quinn and Satanic. He already killed Miero. My arrow. Tofu is kind of dying here. Nightfall needs to be careful. He pops another meta, starts hitting. Quick Sunder. Oh, they're not dying on GG. They're cutting them too well, I think. The damage is not there. They're losing. Nightfall trying to TP out. I think they lost, though. They just didn't have enough damage. I mean, it's not like TB could have really bought other items for more damage. That's why we don't like TB particularly much on this channel. But he needed to try to kill Quinn. He just couldn't, man. He tried his best. Get out of there, Nightfall. I want to see damage dealt by Razor. I don't know if this is like the true... Razor damage because it's only 5k doesn't seem correct, but uh, yeah, a bit of a chaotic fight for Bat Boob. They were focusing on different targets. Uh, good target prioritization coming out from Gaiman, killing off. Yeah, I mean, Gaiman are just playing this exactly the way you're supposed to play against TB. Staying at the edge of his attack range and kiting in and out, and TB just becomes so fucking bad when he doesn't have like people in his team setting him up with disables. He's just so kiteable. But. Oh, it's been a not over till it's over. Does he have any rapier possibilities on TB here? I feel like that's what he needs, if anything. Nah, maybe it is over. It is over until it's over, and that's now. Yashawada! Thanks so much, man. What kind of pickle are we talking about? It's the cucumber pickle. Explain? Yeah, I don't know what this emote is. Oh, whoa, jam? Don't ask me, bro. I don't know. Very quickly. Mega creeps. Now things are gonna get much more difficult. Pickle Rick over here. Onto the illusion, just stealing some attack speed, stealing some damage, and now going for the throne. Oh boy, still holding, of course, this ages and cheese. All the buildings destroyed in the radiant. I would play Pat Channel points to remove that emote. Maybe that is a good idea. We could have like a pretty big reward, but we could have channel points to remove emote and channel points to add an emote. That couldn't be too bad. But anything that requires extra work on my part, I'm already disinterested. Bad boom are the ones that have to make a move. Why not come back and farm? Get your next tier of items. Think about Tormentor. Wisdom Rune's back here as well. 
Hmm. Lots of stuff to gather up and grab. Even a DD rune up at top. I'm already understood. Doraccio wants to go for that one. Celery will scout it out with his Dark Troll Summoner. Bottled rune. It's one of that Gleipnir and Sandunyasha in backpack. <laughs> pretty, pretty expensive backpack there. <laughs> yeah, it's like 10,000 plus gold. <laughs> pretty, it's like ET's net worth. In Disinterested or uninterested? Bro, I ain't no English expert. Weaver. Both. Both. A real tough challenge. I'm lazy, all right? I'm lazy. What is Quinn getting as the last a item here? Synthet and eggs. Holy like razor gameplay. gameplay right here. Kind of what did he get? Point. What did he get? Now they're I didn't see. Creeps. This next Lick him. Is here it is. Pike. Wait. The end of the didn't game. he already have one? <laughs> five man smoke for game Fuck. Is maybe he didn't, actually. Okay. Right now. A good way to kite TB, at least. One of the best actually I mean it's crazy to think that Razor actually outcarries TV. That's crazy, right? That never used to be the case. But nowadays, late game, Razor's just better. And it's mainly because he just synergizes much better with the refresher. Holy shit, he's, he's, he keeps going. I mean look, how's his balance? How's his balance? He's gonna refresh and go again. Look look at this. Just look. Are you guys looking? Are you guys looking? Are you guys looking? How are you guys watching? Oh, Boom! Well. Dead. Nice call, GG. What is that, dude? Unhinged hero. <laughs> Walk them like dogs. Went in solo against Bet Boom. Five professional top 50 MMR players. And whipped them up. Alright, game in our back. Bet Boom in shambles, though. They're 0 3 right now. And it's not even their own tournament this time. Let's see what the standings are looking like right now. Entity 2-0, Heroic 2-0, Falcons 2-0, 1-1, 1-3. IG is playing now, I guess, right? Against Azure, I'm guessing? Yeah, I uh, know, against Heroic, okay. Uh, Team Spirit 0-2, huh? They're really dropping the ball lately. Who do they lose to? Heroic. Wow. How the hell? They played the long game. Uh, Bet Boom are 0 3 now. Okay, so what games are we watching tomorrow, guys? Maybe we might play some pubs tomorrow instead if we're not watching the whole time. Uh, let's see. Summoners. Well, no one is watching. You're taking a fight. You can't really see everything that's been happening. But uh, yeah. Yeah. Again, not too much in the bits. Nightfall only died once, actually. Varvelak. Thanks so much. But in the end, they manage to salvage this game. And uh, yeah. Let's see. Tomorrow, which are the good games? Aurora, Liquid. That sounds pretty good. Is that tomorrow? Yeah. And then the Secret Spirit Entity is actually a pretty decent match. I think we'll watch the ooh, Falcons Spirit, but that's so early in the day. No way, bro. 12.30? I'm not awake. They really kind of threw, to tried to throw this game on Gaiman, but Quinn did, ignored the throw order, and he fucking carried the game. He ignored it, bro. Humping a wall as a racer. He does actually get into this enemy base and get a chase going. So yeah, a couple of things I think. Razor as a Spirit is washed. They're gonna stomp. Get stomped fast. Yeah. That is a flex Maybe. They do seem a bit off. off right? so unanswered, I think the most impressive uh, part about Gaiman's game is like when they were losing, they didn't lose much in the fights, you know? They lost like one or two guys and it kind of wasn't a disaster. Every time. They lost like a ratio and then they were traded with one and ran away. I think we need to give them credit. Laning Tiny with Fever, complete free farm. For Duraccio, Tofu made some rotations, so he's trying to make some Leipner. rotations for the mid lane. Once All right, let's switch to the other game while we wait a bit. It's also over, so I'm gonna wait. And also, not allowing ET to play the game, uh, like, not what you want to do. Uh, you get close. Celery most of the time was saving this. 11k waiting room. We're not too far off, yeah. And he just couldn't. Like, you get slowed down, you get damaged. Or not ET too far off. Spelled, and in the end, uh, we are currently 10027, guys. They waited slightly longer. I mean, We're going to get there, don't worry. The games are longer we will to get there. Other times throughout Dota history. But uh, yeah, I think uh, 
relatively entertaining game in terms of like what was brought to the table by both of these teams. We did mention that gaming outdrafted at the, them slightly at the start of this Looking one. at my game. Uh, Nightfall had a great performance, but uh, yeah, I think two supports uh, kind of kind of suffered on side of bed boom. They Get sensibility to organize some throws. Do, <laughs> Jesus, man. I, I read that without filtering at first. Yeah, I'm, I'm, For 11k? Well, draft, like, I did say it, guys. Very, I low-key regret not bedroom, asking right? anybody to throw yeah, for me for the last 10 MMR. I actually regret it. I should have gotten an agent draft, right away. Draft, it's too painful. Individually picked heroes it's too to painful. After the f on the third time, I should have learned something. I just needed one more goddamn win, bro. And it's a fucking pump. See you in a bit. But too late now. Fifth time is the charm, guys. Fifth game to 11k, don't worry. It's been a month now almost since that there. Like, what the fuck? Or maybe like two, three. Two, three months. Threw it five times, bro. 10 MMR doesn't matter. You reach 11k for me. Hey, I appreciate that, man. I appreciate the, the love right there. I appreciate the love. Mason already. Mason is like 10k. I think. Not even. I think he dropped. And he's in uh, playing Smurf pool, which is actually easier than playing regular pool, guys. I don't think. I, I wouldn't take too much salt into that one, boys. I'll be completely honest. I think he even admitted it himself, though. Let's see what the comments have to say about the OG statement, actually. Let's see. I didn't really look into the OG statement so much. I think he's 9k, yeah. Alright. I love how people back then, uh, like, yeah, we've been seeing it, and everyone was like, no way, are you stupid? Data doesn't suggest that, but there's random Noxville stats, have very little to do with that, and yet here we are. Well, technically, he didn't throw first blood. He was betting for himself, which is kind of crazy. Hope he figure out things and manages to turn his life around. Definitely deserve a permaban from Dota comps. Also, we've seen some positivity. Are y'all okay? The guy... Criminal, one of the more worst human beings on the planet. One of the worst human beings. He's doing this pure for egotistical reasons. I think what Hyde did is bad, since David did, and still doing things like that. The guy needs to go to prison. Matching is a serious allegation. I'm happy the community doesn't, doesn't go straight on to shitting on Taiga. If you want to accuse someone of matchmaking, better be real proof of it. It is important to have proof, yeah. Very important. In all fairness, people are saying he was giving up first bloods routinely, which was countered by pointing out that he and OG had a very high rate of getting first blood. Obviously, it makes sense with all the info, but people weren't just being dumb. The initial accusations were countered by the stats. True. The video only confirmed two first blood throws at the time it happened. It's not enough to consider him a cheater without any further proof. Yeah, I mean, he didn't throw that many first bloods. It happened twice, I think, according to the video as well. Let's look at the comments on the main thread. Let's see. Loading. We can do totals over versus Nigmas easily. Even Nigma here catching strays. That's funny. Nigma is so washed, they're about to fight Jake Paul. If this. F this is huge if true. I feel sorry for his teammates they didn't deserve this. I wonder if we also have legal consequences to Taiga after OG potentially lost a lot of money. They didn't go they're not just some small indie org. And who knows, Tiger could still be doing it today. Uh, he pretty much only quit because, because it didn't. He realized it's wrong or whatever. I mean, he did seem to quit once the big mafia got involved and he finally evened out. He didn't. He was scared. Like he was obviously scared. I think. Um. Let's see what we got here. That we will read that one earlier. Uh, streaming live through Discord. Leaving LAN environment to use phone in the bathroom. That was kind of crazy. Tiger should be blacklisted this entire from Dota investigation if this is true. You know what's funny? Recently Morph had a very good interview with Seb, where Seb confirmed there was an investigation from Valve and a privately hired by OG investigator. Since Tiger is not banned or anything, Morph's evidence is pretty solid from the looks of it. Not sure who are the biggest clans. Vi Valve or the private investigator? Yeah, that private investigator must suck, actually. <laughs> like, he didn't think to contact sensibility. <laughs> The most, like, one of the most known people involved in this kind of shit in Dota scene. <laughs> to be fair, who the fuck did they hire as a private investigator? That actually needs to be investigated also, guys. Hold up. Ah, uh, but for real. Actually, true. If OG investigated, they didn't do a very good job of it, actually. Um, let's see. Time to ban his ass from tournaments. 
And what else we got? Da 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 da. These plays on bleed are also sufficient. Average death was quite high during the time there. As he said on part of the video, he's connected to other mafias and still doing it. That's something they, they claimed, right? But that's no proof on that one, right? No proof on that one yet or anything. Watch Leviathan's match next week. He is not playing next week. I mean, that's my prediction. There's no way, right? EPL, low price pool tournament with unknown teams in it. Pretty good tournament for 3 to 2. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, ba, ba, ba. Morph has a separate video focusing on sensibility. The trash, evil human being. Let's see. Yada yada. Got reactions. Got it playing with the match fixer. Good watch. Yeah, people just seem mad. Valve is part of the problem. Parma ban him. Nice internal investigation. Yeah. Okay. That's about it, I guess. People are giving OG some flag. I think OG statement isn't really gonna cut it though. Don't you guys think so? I feel like they um I feel like they need to tell us. I mean, okay, they don't need to do anything, sorry. But I feel like for the public to be calm, I feel like they need to share what was this private investigation? What do they mean? I mean, how did they miss it? You know? I feel like they should have known. I don't know. Who the fuck knows? They tweeted? Yeah. Whatever, dude. I do not want to... I... By the way, I'm sorry if OG's listening. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to... Mean to pressure you. I'm just saying it seems that way that people aren't happy with it, at least. Can I ch tell the chat if I queue today or not? I think I'll queue up up after this, yeah. I saw it late today and I, I don't feel like I'm done with playing it, so... Chillin'. Let me queue up up after this, probably. Maybe, I don't know, it's gonna be not that... No, it's gonna be maybe be late, we'll see. Why aren't you part of OG that time? You should be investigated? I, I mean, you can investigate me all that I want. I don't, I don't have anything to hide. Just don't look at my taxes, Monka. Hmm. What time do I usually sleep? Bro, late, man. Late, late. Late, bro. I pay way too much taxes. If anything, I probably pay too much taxes, if anything. I'm not one of those loophole abusers. I should move, but I'm lazy. Watch the sub interview, it's in English. It's like an hour long. I don't think it says anything about what we need to see now. Uh, match fix an issue with blackmailing sensibility is a piece of shit. I mean, the way it works also, you have to realize that Sensibility put himself in deep shit with these other types too, so it's probably a cycle of black blackmailing and stuff. Like, he might be being blackmailed by the, the Mafia guys, like, who knows? And then it's fucked, you know? I mean, everybody's fucked. Everybody's fucked. Move to Amsterdam for zero ping. Is Amsterdam where the server is at? Oh yeah, it is actually. Amsterdam is pretty good. Swedish House Mafia. Yeah, some people move to Malta. But I don't want to live there, man. I don't want to live there. The Mafia real or are they just pretending? I actually don't know. I can't say for sure. I have no idea. I don't know anything about that world at all. Death Exile, thanks to 54 months, brother. Gorak. Gorak. I 
have a relative who used to play in tier 3 Dota. He had he got offers for 3-2 for like 300 bucks. Yeah. I can imagine. I never got anything on Team Bald. We never got a single guy reaching out to us about it. But I guess also because they know they knew I would never take it. Because I'm not like... I'm not in the position where $300 would make it like a difference to me. You know, I have my stream. So me taking it would be so stupid. I would obviously never take some, some kind of shit like that. But I never got an offer. Ever. Welcome back, here we go, the last game of the night. Game and Gladiators taking on Bet Boom, best of two, and Game and Gladiators won game one. Great play. What about $301? You can send me a DM about that. 301? Okay then. <laughs> game ended. Game, game ended instantly, pretty much, but uh, yeah, I want to see how they're going to approach this one. A lot, of, like, Bet Boom, I don't think there's in between. They either stomp the laning stage or they understand that they messed up something. For real, for real? Wait, he calmed down his no cap haircut a little bit. It it's still there, though. Game, it's still there. But there's, there's nothing bad. All right, last game of the day, boys. Let's go. Last game of the day. Late night again. So I want to see some adjustments. And Bet Boom, again, they're banning out this sniper. We did mention that Quinn played it eight times in the last week or so. Could also amplify that they want to play less track in the mid lane because Sniper loves to play into that matchup. You keep the distance, like he, he gets beat, gets slowed down. You have more than enough damage to bring him bring him down. And the game Gladiators banning out Chen, banning out some of these stronger position fives, uh, position fours as well. Uh, we've been in meta for quite some time. Meta did change slightly over the course when we <sighs> these letters. Oh, but... Uh, Yep, no more offlaner bands. Gotta pl stop playing PUBG till 6 a.m. to stop the sleep. Yeah, it's true, actually. It's true. But it's not the game that's the problem. All right, is this a real condition or not, guys? I'm, as I'm playing psychologist with a thousand people now. I'm, like, afraid to go to sleep. How crazy is that? Like, I don't want to try to go to sleep in case I fail. So I have to wait until I'm giga abnormally tired and then i will try to sleep i refuse to even try if i'm slightly sleeping i just i don't even want to try yeah again i'm like scared of like oh my god what if i just lay there and nothing happens like fuck that it's the worst feeling i have that yeah it's fucking shit man i've had it for a long time though i need help dude i might actually need help though for real I might actually need help. Dude, if this game is fast, maybe I have time to go to the gym, guys. Maybe that's a good thing. We'll see how fast this is game is. Should I go right now? Just end the stream and go? Maybe that will fix my schedule, guys. Oh no, I'm so lazy, bro. Why did I say that? Every time I've ended the stream, it was always after 11pm. Maybe that's a good thing, though. I want to see how they... I have never been able to go. It closes at 11. I see some extra adjustment from Bet Boom if they want to go with that ET one more time. Get rid of this Enchantress. Celery really excels. I won't sleep right away, but at least if I go to bed at like 2, that's good. I'm just trying to think back. We, it must have been Dream League qualifiers. We saw maybe, maybe. one of the Eastern European teams pick up this IO Lash again. And it just always surprises me how strong that... Go Jim, fuck be. this match. I kind of like this match, though. I wanted to see the ending of it. And then you don't see it. You know, six All right. Months, it gets banned, it gets ignored, fuck it, guys. You guys are right. I know I should combat. stay for this game. Again, like, oh, yeah. And I want to. But I guess I'm just a part-time streamer after all, right? Am I not? You did say the Dota nah, I'm just kidding. I gotta stay for this game. I'm just joking, guys. That has been strong. I'm too lazy, dude. I can't do it, guys. I'll go after. I'll go after, okay? I'll go after. Let's hope for fast game. I'll go after. Don't worry. I'm not gonna go anyway, dude. I'm so fucking lazy, bro. Shadow Demon against Luna, uh, Rack, Io, <laughs> I almost did it there. That was a good effort, guys. It was a good effort. I want to see, like, why... It was a good effort. Because mm. right now can't really see it, but they it's have progress. something in their mind. Like looking at the heroes that Nero usually plays, uh, these are mostly melee offlaners, like these timber saws, these beast masters. Uh, something that uh, kind of suck against. Lesh versus DK counter, opening again. The GPK Lesh damage early on. DK still being first, first pick after everything, huh? Yeah. Rocket barrage. So you can kill I love that people still ban Pango first against Quinn. It's so funny, dude. It never stops. It, but uh, yeah, I want to see what uh, what they have prepped. I wouldn't also mind seeing because Miro had a. I, I think he played the best, even though. I should go to gym once. when I wake up before stream, but I always wake up right when I need to stream. So. 
some weights in the mid game with some of his stuns. And you gotta turn sleeping into a ritual. True, true. Comfortable playing. We did mention during Dream League that he was only only. It is actually important. Was playing zoo heroes, these beast masters. Yeah. One zero for GG. Good game for it. Uh, you know, maybe if game in. It's important, guys. But if it's a fast game, I still have time to go, guys. It closes in one hour and twenty minutes. If it's a sub thirty minute game, it's a sign. I'll go. Yeah, and I guess Jaro is also that kind of flex into Tofu's hands as well. You know, you're talking about Mira. Or I'll, if it's break. too late, I'll maybe just throw a pub so in or something. Maybe Night Nightfall doesn't want to play against the And he looks sleepy on Miero. I will say this though. I saw both Seb and Topson online at like Celery also plays at 7, 8 a.m. this morning. I don't think you should be afraid. If you wake up that early, you must be tired. And still push myself to go to the gym six days a week. Go. Jim, man, I'm sorry to hear that. Like pins, right? Mr. Gamma Race. Thanks for three dollars. Yeah, I mean, you're right, bro. You're not right. Options for their own draft and how it progresses. Right, so there we go. Five bands a piece, one pick a piece. Now we get into the, the proper meat of the draft. We get some actual hero. There's no staff at the gym that late, guys. There's literally no staff. Shadow Demon is back. That's way too late for staff. Bed boom. They've played that. I, I, I don't know. The staff leave at like nine. It's an empty gym. Rubik going to be the grab. Empty gym, Sag. And this was something you touched on in the previous series, right? The DK Rubik combo. What's yeah, the Rubik all about? That combo. Uh, it's not so great. Against I'm traumatized. My Weaver game yesterday, Rubik damage. killed me at the end. Whatever, dude. I don't want to talk about it. I still went plus minus zero tomorrow, guys. How uh, yesterday? How traumatized could I really be? It's not that bad. I want to see what Save's gonna play. Like his hero pool has always been. Pretty and limited. now, at the Dream League, he did that boom will respond quite with quite a lot, but uh, not Terrorblade. I hope they got the Pugna. Terrorblade is actually one of the best heroes against uh, DK in that's, the game. It's actually one first, of the best heroes in in the, in the game against DK. Before, before Pugna became that uh, petrol station or gas station, the uh, Pugna Lash, Pugna Storm, he was playing it. He didn't care if it was meta or not. That that was his hero before Let's it became see. a real strong hero. Band. And now bring it back. To pair with the lash rack. So this is them saying, hey, okay. you can play at a very high tempo. Keep the lash rack on yeah. the map, press towers, push, and take TP. They're thinking a lot. Duracho is in deep thought. Like Look at him. One more time. I've never seen him so serious in my whole life. He's brooding like a ghoul. Extremely well, amplifying Crystal damage. Maiden. Uh, but they're saving it for he doesn't seem so... It doesn't seem so surprised by that. That's, that's okay. Um, he can deal with that. You lose what? More calories playing you deal play no deal than on your team. Maybe true, actually. Holy shit. So, I think that's not an option anymore, but... Uh, yeah, I think Centaur works well. Uh, maybe maybe true. can also work. Uh, there's the IO that you mentioned. It's not pairing with Leshrac, but... Yeah. <laughs> okay. At <laughs> Boomers. I own not... Marcy. Yeah, so All right, I... let's see who let's see what Raccio has been playing. Got lost. He's been cooking some Marcy. I'm thinking about how to get lane. first blood. Uh, yeah, I am Marcy. Oh, that's a liquid special. I like that opening actually. It's good. It's good, guys. Okay, different different item builds. It is good. Some it kind of fucks the Lesh up. up okay. He can't deal with the damage from Marcy. But there are heroes that are pretty good against this. Slark is traditionally good against this, but I don't think you're going to see a Slark here. Gyro's out for the Gyro CM combo. The Razor is also out. Hmm, a lot of decent heroes are out, actually, I think about it. What should we... Go through all this heal coming out. Hmm. Let's see. I'm looking up Marcy counters to get inspiration here a little bit. Is there, is there Troll Warlord? Here, this like is a dead Marcy hero. I refuse to pick Troll Warlord into this shit. Lifestealer. That's a good one. He can kind of man fight Marcy. I don't think he minds it too much. And if he ever gets eggs, he can just infest them. Oh, Celery. Look how unhappy he is about that. He hates that pick. Yuck. They yucked at the Lifestealer. They forgot about him. I actually like it. It's a good Lifestealer pick. Magic damage and then protect Timber is somehow still available. Yeah, that's that's crazy. Uh, hero that has that had great pick win rate. The Raccio Marcy Italy. though, I feel like that uh, could right be now, a. Uh, I gotta check how if things have changed because so far in the, that could no, be no, a funny moment. I feel like times, maybe so some like, funny moments coming up, guys. Win rate. He did receive the nerfs, and these are not. Like, I think every sport despises Alice. I mean, it is a very speed. annoying hero to die into. The hero just brainlessly range. runs at you, bro. Uh, move speed got nerfed. Fuck that shit. Cast range on his open wounds and cast range on his infest Aghanim scepter has been nerfed. So infesto. A lot of things. 
that move speed definitely hurts him for that chasing potential. So they will still remove and give respect to Miero's Centaur, considering how he played in the last game. And also we did mention great synergy with Pugna in the lane. A lot of verse damage. Pugna, the fastest hero in the game, can easily run away from anything. Uh, kind of Ma They ban the Centaur, the yeah. We still need a Miero hero. Good range. Myero. animation. Centaur would feed Marcy Io, though. I'm not sure about that one. What the other ban? I'm not sure about that one, dude. Yeah, is this where... Okay, the ban of Doom. Doom is a good ban, though. Is, is this where you're scared of, like, a, a Beastmaster or something coming out from Miero? Apparently not. Can offline Marcy work? Well, there was a TI where Secret used to play offline Marcy all the time with Resolution, and it worked, because Rezo was basically like a carry player. I don't think it's a very AC hero, though. It doesn't really make sense to me. He's probably playing the DK, or he might be playing a completely different pick. The DK is okay against Nykes, but you can get better heroes. Doom applies break, or Doom applies mute? But... Uh, Betboom have to pick first, so they will probably have to think of a mid that's... Uh, sorry, an offlane that's good against both, but against this Marcy lane. What could it be? Yeah, I think the the, the Brood ban was smart by Betboom, they didn't get cheesed. If Nikes infest Marcy, Ayo can relocate to the fountain. Yeah, but he can jump out at any point, so it's whatever. I still like the Timber, no? For both teams, honestly. I think... On Betboom, you need Lockdown down. You only have 13 time. seconds. You need Lockdown. Brewmaster, maybe? I would just pick Brewmaster. You just need some Lockdown in teamfight, so... Not much time remaining. Primal Beast, okay. There you have You have some Lockdown in okay, teamfight. That's, that's, that's a good fine. That's choice. I, I was thinking about some playmaking hero, because Beastmaster... On the side of Gaiman, okay, though. But you need I would say the Brewmaster fits here, too, but I like the Timber the most, maybe. I would say He's not particularly good against Lefty and Pugna, but he well. kind of owns the other heroes. And this is the damage, like the early damage when paired up with Pogna. I'm surprised the hero is still in. Kill some of these heroes, Primal Beast. Uh, like, you guys think the Queen Invoker? Nah, not gonna, not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. But like, if you leave him solo, thinking a lot on Quinn. Not saying anything. Where this hero is gonna go? Do they want to play Dragonite on the off lane, or they want to put Dragonite mid against Slashrack and pick a different off laner for Ace? About Tiny. Tiny against Primal Mid we saw was good, but I don't think it's like great overall here. If you're playing with the Crystal Maiden, Tough call. Life Stealer, Ghoul Frenzy, the best ability in the game, you just here we go. lane. Like you have nothing to escape. Uh, you're paired up with Rubik. Sure, it's like an old school lane, some stuns, but uh, you're going to get harassed a lot. So maybe they want to tank it, put Dragonite mid, and pick a different off laner. You're thinking. The wow, they use all their game. thinking time. Absolutely. I'm glad you're listening. What are the fuck are they going to cook up? Enigma. <laughs> you know what? I fucking like it, actually. I didn't think of that. I forgot. Does Ace play a lot of Enigma, guys? I feel like this is a weird hero for the Ace. The Ace of base. That's a weird one, bro. I haven't seen him play it much, but... Okay, the DK mid against Lash, that's kind of a, like a whatever matchup, I believe. But the Enigma is annoying for Nikes. I'll say that much. It is really annoying for Nikes. Mostly, like, during... Bet boom dacha uh, people wanted very to annoying this, especially bet boom they wanted to run this enigma five bet boomer dacha in an interview said that he didn't get the chance to play enigma pretty much throughout the whole tournament i think they gave him once that's it but uh, oh. yeah gaming making adjustments i do like this prime beast i feel this hero does quite a lot want to see what Duraccio he played it back when it was meta I, he did I, yeah I maybe a little bit it's not definitely not one of his signature heroes but he does like animals on ace he is in love with animals it's clear he loves Londrid, he loves lichen he loves brood doesn't even matter which type of animal he just likes them i guess eidolons count as animals those three games there was an armlet as well hero doesn't clear the stacks uh, if he's pushed out of the lane, if she's there's nothing the wrong with that. Early, well, okay, there is some things wrong. She can't really jungle. Like um, maybe that's where Io's gonna come uh, to stabilize this lane and maybe get some of the. Make sure to hydrate, so bro. I'm hydrating. Look at this nice chalice my mom got to me, guys. She knew I needed a replacement vase, yeah, and we got this chalice right very here. Very cool looking dress. It's like a with less order, more epic the version of the vase. And Pagna will be playing save, so want to see how that lane's gonna go. I think all eyes on. I drink one of these a day. I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, probably. Because the other lane is, you know, Ace Enigma creating idolons. It's cooking. Doing some crazy stuff with tofu. 
Isn't that for flowers? Tokyo, your life stealer crystal maiden duo Fuck down that. there. Yeah, I think you're right. Because usually I'd see this Io and think, <clears throat> hey, this is about tempo, gonna play fast. It's for only men that need that, a lot of water. Enigma pick, I, I guess my read on Enigma is... Did I tell my mom I smashed it or dropped it? Okay, okay. so I know you guys don't believe me, but I actually just knocked over my vase and it, it cracked on the floor by accident. It was dark in my room and my vase is right here on the left. I just knocked it over. It was actually an unlucky accident, for real. What's the deal with Ace? Uh, All right, one zero. Should we switch to in-game, guys? It's better quality in-game. Um, looks Last like total kills, time, like long duration. Chop the Soleri for FB. Like Indeed. Thomas, uh, Vlad's, and you play off your Eidolons. Chop the Soleri. I'm switching to in-game, guys. It's gonna be better. I think it's worth it. It's not our pause. We are ready. Not so great. The fuck. You know, interaction. Look at the transition. Bam! It's better. It's much better. But, uh, yeah, For real. eventually... Alright. What do we have here? We are live. It's a pause. Pet boomers are all disconnecting. I th it's kind of sounds so silent without the casters. I need them in the back now. Changes things around, but you still need some of these early items. That's terrible. Just... Yeah. Why did the, Why did he install his microphone in the bathroom for this one? Rush blink on Enigma. Rush blink on sinking from the off lane. I feel like the stream was getting the the nice microphone, and here we got the bathroom one. What the hell? Prediction? All right, let's open it up. Fuck that. All right. Uh, choose outcome. Who won? Wait, what? The prediction is still going on from Palkin's quest? What the f- Guys, nobody closed the prediction all the way since then? Uh, okay. Falcons won, I guess. Falchions? That was like a while ago, wasn't it? GGBB. I got you, boys. Get your fix. Why didn't shop for rebellion in tournament? I think they opted to sit out. Uh, I don't know if they gave an official reason, but we kind of uh, thought it would be. We kind of would be. Um, fuck! I spaced out. Dream League. I think they have Dream League, so they didn't want to miss it. So they wanted to skip this tournament, so they would have like time to practice for Dream League. Because it would be a little tight for them, and it would be a lot of time in Europe. They would have to be so f long away from home, so. They said they had a problem with SEA visa. Okay, I mean, that's maybe also true. SEA visas aren't doing too hot right now. What did the Philippines do to deserve such bad visas? That's what I'm wondering. Reason? Reason? Reason visa offices? Just some boys trying to play some Dota. Holy shit, look at... Look at this, guys. I guys actually like the top most searched... In Dota of all Liquipedia. That's crazy. He's right there. Um, let's see. Who I want to see who's in Shopify actually. Do they have Filipinos? All right. They got your Paj. My Paj. My Paj. If they went though, they could have gotten Miracle as a stand in. Damn. This is the reason. I really thought you were gonna link link me some picture of like a butt or something. Wait, what's that? Am I in? Yeah, I'm on the caster cam. Okay. I'm going to the Russian cam. They're a more serious business. Serious business. Uh, he said They said... We had to make a concession due to our team makeup. It wasn't feasible for us to play Dream League, Qualifiers, Birmingham, and PGL. The pros for Yopaj to maintain visa for all events was impossible due to the timing. Made more difficult, but you can no longer be a part of EU. Wait, hold up. Can I go to the UK without a visa, guys? I forgot. I can go, right? Dismember, next three months. Hold up, I can go. Surely. Forgot about the Brexit thing. No? <laughs> Why are people saying no? I'm going in like three weeks, guys. What the fuck? Unless I cancel. I'm kind of itching to cancel. I don't know why. Even though Birmingham is one of the cultural capital of the world, I, I kind of feel like canceling. I, I don't know. It's just like... I hate traveling so much, dude. It's unreal. I just hate it. I have a friend in Birmingham and he sent me this video yesterday, so I don't know. Like, maybe it's not that bad. Maybe it's not that bad, guys. Shit.
Well, you know. If I wasn't sold before, I'm sold now. I'm coming, guys. I'm coming. Don't worry. I'll go. Hopefully. Hopefully. Is it a passport? I think I do have a passport. Birmingham. I live an hour from Birmingham. I went a couple years ago. I will never go back. God damn. God damn. It's one hour on the plane. Yeah, I wish it was one hour on the plane, guys. But fucking hell, this, there's no direct flight from me. That's what sucks. I have to land somewhere. Fucking hell. Gothenburg to Birmingham. I don't think there's a direct flight, at least. Connecting. Yeah, there's no there's no direct flight. Direct flight. Why the hell is there no direct flight? Who doesn't want to go to Birmingham? Via Amsterdam. Nah, it's like a four-hour travel time. Not ideal. Go to, go to Birmingham, or else you have to buy everybody dinner again. Okay, we need to perma ban. Uh, let's put sub mode. There's some bot attack. Subscriber mods help. Okay. What is this bot attack about, guys? What is this? Is this because I watched the video? What happened, guys? What does it say? Can a mod help me out, please, guys? The Mafia attack? Monka. Unbanned sensibility. <laughs> it's advertising girls on Insta Telegram. I see. Well, at least it wasn't... At least it wasn't related to the other stuff. That would have been scarier. The crazy part is... Account created on March 16th. Follow since March 16th. What the fuck? This was... Uh, Pre-planned. Goddamn. Uh, mods can help me out banning people. Do we have a single mod here? <laughs> we might need to make another mod, guys. We might need to make another mod. Who can mod? That feels like banning the bots. No. Give me mod. We need an emergency mod. There's so many of you volunteering. Are you guys sure you know what you're doing? Cremulent Basti. Make me mod a thousand bits. You know, I would pay you because you... I mean, you would pick you because you did pay. But... I... Don't know. Whatever, dude. Fuck it. He paid first. I guess he wins. I, so, I can't really... I can't really... Don't really manage it. Just ban the Russian bots. That's your only job. Don't do anything else. Just ban them. That's all. It's a, not the funnest job. But we need, I need some help. I'll I'll mod. I, God, trust me, guys. You guys don't want to be a mod. That's not a that's not a fun task. It's not a fun task. Yo, H H H Fred, thanks for 19 months, bro. I banned them, and then we could take subscribers off. All right, are my bet boomers coming back or back or what? They're ruining my gym, guys. I can't go now. The fuck? There's no way. Apache ain't on those seven months. 322 Mafia after you XDD dead. <laughs> I just watched the video, alright? Ban me, please. I'm a Norwegian bot. No. I need my Norwegian bots. Three months sub, and he subbed to you exactly when the mods. when the bots came. Oh shit, dude. You might be right. He was ready with a thousand bits. I'm scared. Dedicated bot banning mod smile. I am actually scared. I always want to be mods, I'm not grayed out for the giveaways. Dude, that is shitty, I don't know what that's all about. I just got socially engineered. I'm just here to do good work. Alright, Creamulant. Ban the bots and then take subscribers off. If they're still bots, you ban them too. That's a simple, simple as it is. 30 seconds to battle. Alright. Let's go. Let's focus on the game now. Let's focus on the game. Why is it so silent? Anyone is feeling it's really silent? Maybe we do need a little bit of... No, we need the bathroom mic. We can't have it. Never mind. I'm used to having a little bit of noise in the back. 
It's okay, I'm the noise, guys. I'm the noise. Look at Ace, he's kind of wrapped around here. Solo, though. He might just yoink the rune. That's nice. That's a three-man rune... A three-rune play by GG. Pretty impressive stuff. They they faked going here, so they over-responded. Awesome lane, there's five lords. I assure you will be. I'm sure you will be. Radical rough flow, then some man. You consider yourself a child of good. When am I coming to Birmingham, Alabama? Don't worry, guys. We'll have an emergency mod session eventually. If you guys really want to be a mod, it will happen eventually. Don't worry. But trust me, it's not that fun. <laughs> it's really not that fun, dude. Okay. It begins. How do you play this lane? Exactly, I was gonna say. You have to run at the Eidolons, but he's still gonna take a lot of damage from Nikes if you do that. Quinn versus Slash mid. I usually underestimate how good DK does in these matchups. I think he's gonna win this lane for some reason. It is GPK though. GPK is pretty good. And bot lane. I think this is a free lane for... For Ench... Uh, for Marcy Wisp, but... I think every lane is free for Marcy Whip, yeah, Wisp, unless you misplay. Every kill, 10 push-ups. Oh, yeah, every kill? Come on, dude. Jesus, man. I'm gonna die right there. Who doesn't wanna do... Who doesn't wanna just get yelled for updating a title and work for free? Damn, dude, when you put it like that, they're helping out the community, the mods, alright? We need to show mods more love, guys. From now on, I'm gonna give, start giving mods shoutouts and hearts, you know? Hearts in the chats for the mods, you know? For doing the good work. They're doing what nobody else wants to do. Pablo, you don't mod anything, come on, I, I know you don't mod. I ban people for ask for it. And ask for it. Oh, Celeri! All right, all right. My Rachel is also dead here. Yeesh. Well, my prediction as usual goes wrong. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's the problem, dude. Mods get too much hate. Nothing wrong with being a mod. We need to add a mod emote, you know. Let's see, what's my mod emote? <laughs> this one is so bad, dude. This one is just making fun of mods more. I don't know if I can do that. Okay, let's let's uh, take off subscriber mode and see how it goes. Every first blood is sus now, Sedge. Yeah. Toronto dead, alright. Well, the Rasha might not be doing too hot on a bot lane. I guess it is a harder lane than I give it credit for. And Sabe is literally like the inventor. Inventor, dude, of this shit. <laughs> I thought the emote was pretty funny. <laughs> Someone linked it. I I couldn't resist. Hey, Mister, just googled for you. No need for UK visa. Also, ant merch coming soon. Ant merch, sir. Did you look? Yeah, I need to. I need to get the hold of the merch merch situation sometime soon. Well, uh, yeah, like I said, mid. I'm not surprised if Quinn wins this. I usually underestimate DK in these matchups. He like wins every matchup. That's just the rule. So two lanes winning for Gaiman, and that's good enough for now. I'm sure Marcy Wisp will win eventually down there. Level 2 sidekick is insane in this lane. It heals you so much, like, you can't kill them. It's impossible. Okay. This seems from Spear, all you need is a password. Ah, right, we're cool, we're cool. That is good.
Silent. Forget. Win mid. Early glove of haste. This is what you do when you get a good lead mid. It's really hard to like... You think about like, maybe I should buy damage to last it harder. No, you buy glove of haste, you can hit twice when enemy only hit once. And they can never win a last hit war. Oh, Tofufu. Yep, he's gonna die there. I think Gaiman got this, dude. They're fucking owning now. They're back. Even Derachio is back. Holy shit. That lane top for Nightfall is pretty much unlaneable, so... Oh, nice toss into tower. He's almost dying here. He's actually turning on... Rachio with the disarm. Whoa! The fruit! That's another kill for save. Holy shit. I can't believe they... Does he not have... Oh, he's not level 4 on the Rachio yet. That's why. Damn. Doesn't have any points in rebound yet. Very unfortunate time to go, I believe. What the hell was that zoom in? I don't know. I guess we're zooming in on Wisp. Let's go. Radiant are scanning. I guess he felt confident with the Lotus Orb. Lotus thing. But Primal Beast is a tanky bitch. That's a cool combo though. The Crepify on the Marcy. And then the Primal is trampling anyway, so it's magic damage. And the Marcy can't heal with sidekick, so it's it's kinda good actually, I like it. He's going armlet rush on Marcy. It's strong. I bought Balfour on Marcy with Wisp before, and it feels kind of overrated, to be honest. The armlet gives you insane damage. Win handling business here, as usual. Of course it's armlet. Right. It's now. 14 denies on Quinn, 15 on Ace. This is quite the experience advantage they got here. Even bottom lane is winning in the nice. The gold isn't reflecting it yet because they got those three kills bottom though. Yeah, we don't have the lay on stream, guys. We're an official co-stream officially. We partnered up with the Elite League. Now we are official. Oh fuck, that reminds me. Oh my god. I have to have the overlay. Alright, there we go. <laughs> Shit, I might get an angry text about that later. Jesus Christ. There we go. They pause for me to add it. Yeah, I got them. Here we go. Tofu makes his way down here. Look at the decrep trample combo again, though. But the Rachio this time around. Nice lift timing on that one. Nero getting healed, though, a bit. Not yet. And you will actually be able to run away somehow, what the fuck? Attack. Crazy. This live? Yes, it is mega live, guys. Mega live. Not a live feed, not quite, but live. This live. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Dyer's not, uh, for those who don't know, attack. no Dota game is actually ever live that you watch on any broadcast. All of them are always five minute delayed or so, or sometimes three, for competitive integrity. Radiance top tower is under attack. TI is? You know what? Maybe you're right about TI. TI might be correct. Yeah, so this this is uh, a few minutes, a few minutes behind, of course. The real, at least real life, but this is the best it gets, you know. Even I am never alive. Yeah, yeah, I get the Taiga jokes. I get it, dude. <laughs> Another gank on Ace? This is huge. Well played by Betboom. Really well played. Two kills on a very important hero, slowing his game down and giving Nightfall some chance here. Because I would say overall, this is a very nice Nights nice game, except for the Enigma. Kind of. I want to see how the man fight goes between Marcy and Nikes. It might surprise me. I have a feeling Marcy with Armoth might fuck him up. Remver, how was my day? My day was good. My day was good. I had to wake up early though. There was a handyman in the house. He replaced my door. I fell into my door so there was a hole in it. A while ago. I finally got it replaced. And I need to get 
fucking blinds as well. I'm telling you, man, the, the fucking um, Swedish summers, if you don't have good, like, isolation, I mean, you know, darkening shit, bro, it's so bright. You can't sleep, it's impossible. It's like bright 18 hours a day, no cap. No cap. Maybe even more, like, sometimes it's 20 hours a day. It's bright outside. Let me guess, you consider yourself a child of good. Thank you, Black uh, Biffin. Thanks, man. Run, grip. Okay, relocate out. Dyer's courier has been killed. Illusion. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Do you think Swedes are more stupid than Americans? No. Well, I mean, okay, wait. <laughs> I didn't mean to say it like that. I meant, no, I don't think anybody is stupider than anybody. That's what I meant to say. It sounded like I was flaming Americans so much. I didn't just get in and get to finish because Radiant's it paused. You know, the game was is under attack. I think it's stupid to generalize like that. Katu, that's 16 months. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. I love my American brothers. I don't want to flame. Radiant's bottom tower has fallen. There are many stupid Swedes too. Including me, maybe. Bracer, Vamp. Bracer? Fucking Wraith Band Enigma. What's the deal with this Wraith Band? That's crazy. He really wanted to win lane, I guess. And he did, so I mean, it worked somewhat, but Nike's got away with enough on this lane, I believe. And Betboom are actually in the advantage right now. It's a big power spike for GG, though. They got the armlet Marcy. I don't think they can fight them right now. There isn't a single dumb Irish person. Copium. Hmm. Char charge! Straight on Quinn, and he is dead. These early map movements by Betmo have been really good. They're actually owning. They're using the Lesh well, even though he lost lane. This might actually go to a 1 and 1. Look how fat the supports are, by the way. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's. That is inescapable for Nightfall. He couldn't even rage TP. He wanted to rage TP so badly. A little bit unusual build by Nikes, by the way. I think I'm gonna explain why soon, but they're diving Tofu. Tofu trying to suck his way out. Nope. Not this time, Tofufu. He might be handsome, but not that handsome. So, we wanted to say uh, Armlet skip on Nikes. He rushed Talisman, and I think... You might think it's weird, right? But... It's more about the lane matchup he has. He's laning against an Enigma up there. He does the Armlet won't do anything for him, because he's not gonna chase down the Enigma anyway. So he just wanna rush that Radiance to get his power spike faster and accelerate his farm. And uh, that's why he's skipping it. I think it's clever. I think I like it. I like it. They wanna go on Tofu here. Quinn is at an angle, bro. I, saw, I thought I heard a CM ulti. Am I insane? No, that was a relocate, actually. It actually sounds a little bit similar. Oh, the GPK I killed, though. This is massive. Now, this is massive. There we go. We nearly need my arrow to start joining the game here. This is Russia Mafia. I am Ray's boy Dyer's middle tower in English, is under that means warrior of gang. We are gathered here Radiant at Skodka, our main base. We hear a lot of Shpana out on the internet. Shpana? Please do not speak about our business, Zapatlo. Boy, you Monka. Monka is. I should have never watched the video, guys. Nice rage by Nightfall. Stolen rage for Tofufu. Level 3 rage, even. Wow. Interesting build. How can they stop? How can they stop? 
Nightfall, when his rage TP, BKB TP is free, guys. At that point, how do you even win? It's unstoppable. The Rashua is super high net worth, by the way. Man, I really like this armlet. I kind of regret getting, going that battle for you when I did on Marcy. He's actually farming like crazy fast with just armlet. It looks really fucking attack. good. Battle for you is shit. I've decided. But yeah, the black holes are gonna be an issue here. The, the Enigma is quite uncountered. There we go. But killing him and slowing him down though, that is something you can do. Very nice. the build, opting out, out of the Mage Slayer, which was like super meta for a while and popular, and now they've kind of stopped doing that, so. This is nowadays considered a little bit better. I think Gaiman still got this right, even though they have a bit of a lead on Betwoom. Dave is kind of playing out of his mind right now, though. It just seems so hard when you're on this clock. And then you have Marcy with BKB soon. He's gonna hold off all the aggression until Ace can get farmed. But Ace is a while to go now. He's far off his blink. He went drums, small items. I actually would have loved if he just played a greedy Enigma this game because he's the real carry. Like, if he goes late game here, he fucking carries for sure. The return of the Midas Enigma. He already has zero drum charges on his drum. That's honestly impressive. He must have pressed that on cooldown. 16 minutes in, <laughs> zero drum charges. What the fuck? Tower the tower fell though to the drum's idol on, so. My queen. Game slowing down a little bit. It hit that mid game mark where no team really wants to fight. Nightfall wants to buy a new item with his Radiance. What is he getting? He's getting a Sanjin Yasha? Yeah, it looks like it. Bloodstone Lash should probably be a small timing though. They could go on that. They just don't have a blink initiate yet, but soon they will on Bet Boom. Mm hmm. Arrow, almost has blink, we're still waiting for it. Man, this game is slow right now. Mid to late game, it's hard to say. I would say actually Marcy out carries Lifestealer maybe. I thought Lifestealer, I was thinking about it like, yeah, Lifestealer pretty good against any man fighter almost in Dota right now. But Marcy should be able to fuck you up. What changes the whole thing is if Lifestealer buys eggs. Some Lifestealers actually skip this item. I hope Nightfall doesn't for his own sake. If he does, then maybe they go 0 4 on Betwoom, but yeah. The eggs is definitely the difference maker here, if he gets there. Could also be a way of dealing with Black Hole if he's fast. Nah, you're not man fighting Marcy. I mean, you could right now, with an armlet, you can probably fight her, but yeah. Tofu, they're going for it. Simple kill, easy kill. I lost. Like a nerd hero. What are my thoughts on J. Cole's response on his latest album to Kendrick's shots? Shit, man, that's, that's lit, bro. I don't know. It's whack. Radiance middle tower is under attack. That's whack. Iracio, going for Nullifier next against the Pogna. I like his item choice so far.
Dave is so fat. He got like four kill. He has eight, one, and two actually. Link Aetherlands. In pub, Save actually carries these kind of games. Oh my god, they're going on uh, GPK. Is it enough? He got Bloodstone off. He's not out healing shit. The lifesteal, the infest. Clutch, but not clutch enough. Here they come though. Can they find my Rachio? It's low. Yep, there it is. No black hole in sight. He's showing mid. Kind of worth, but it could have been worse for Gaiman. If Lesh somehow survived there, holy shit. Okay. It looks like this game is not ending in time for the gym, boys. What a shame. What a shame. I really wanted to go. I have a dumbbell behind me, guys. I'll do I'll do a few curls later, it's fine. Up net worth on Nightfall now. Nightfall does not strike me as a lifestealer kind of expert, you know? It's not really the type of hero you really would own on, on a smurf, you know? It's kind of like... Yeah, it, it hasn't been that popular, you know? For a long time. I'm worried he won't go eggs. He really needs to buy eggs. Right, let's see what he does. It's so goaded in this game. It's so fucking goaded. After this after this SMI, of course. That's a sneaky little rush by Gaiman they got away with. Win percent? 63% for Betboom right now. Hmm. So they don't uh, the Gabe does not respect the BKP Black Hole Enigma that's coming up. Interesting. Top tower is under what Betpoom has going for them is this Pugna save with the Krepfi. Could help you in Black Hole, of course. That one is pretty big, but yeah, that's, a, that's about it, man. What? Yeah. Somehow Miero has risen up to the top of the network charts. Been farming on Primal Beast a lot. Grab him. Go. Building spree. No one has more balls to rush items than even the Matumba Man Juggernaut. I remember the Matumba Man Juggernaut. The double butterfly broodmother. That one is etched into my brain. It's etched into my brain. <laughs> Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. Why is it always Rubik feeding? Hmm. He's very easy hero to kill this game. Marcy is always with the Wisp, so Rubik is kind of separating and going alone. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Radiant's bottom tower is under tower attack. Time. Radiant structures are Ace is trying to respond with top tower. Primal will keep you in here. Collect some bounties. They're mass tipping bottom to fight on GG, but they won't find anything here. They're smoking. Let's see. They are separated now on Betpoom, but I feel like this is very easily readable. Radiant are scanning. Scanning. Toronto doing a good job breaking the smoke, but is he ready for them to come from this side? No. Ah, Nightfall already backed up. It's too late. They missed him. Last Shrek though, how good is GPK at seeing this coming? He feels something, if he look at, looks at the creep... No, he can't see anything. Can't see anything. Can't see any auras. Is there a null field aura? No, this is not an aura anymore. Right, this is not an aura. They have... Vlad's, that's about it. Dyer's bottom tower I think. Is under yes. Yes. Only Vlad's. Alright, oh, mech gives an aura, right? Yeah, mech gives an aura. He could have seen the mech on the creeps, guys. Maybe GPK saw that. I forgot about mech. You think if Mato kept playing now, he could be in the top 3 to 5 care players? Yeah, I think so. I was Su, thanks to the 4 months. 
But life is not that simple, right? We're all we're not robots, you know. You can't just force people to play Dota forever. If they don't want to, if they don't have the motivation, so be it, you know. If you ain't broke, no reason to do it, right? Like Mato has money, he doesn't want to, that's that, you know. Bum, bum, bum. Good kill on Quinn, good kill on Quinn. No Aghanim for my life sealer. <sighs> I'm not a fan. He's going for the AC. I understand why, but uh, I don't. I dude, I really wanted him to buy Aghanim. It's so OP. If Marcy ever just BKBs, you infest him, it's over. Like he wasted his whole BKB, and the hero's useless. I kind of had a feeling Nightfall would not buy it. A lot of the old school Nyx players, they don't buy it. Oh, not old school. A lot of people that don't play the hero much. But who cares? They're winning anyway. Maybe this AC is gonna let them take Roche and end that game faster. That could also work. You think Puppy will retire anytime soon? He hasn't been doing well for a while, Sag. Radiance I mean, I hope not. Under but who knows? Radiance top tower has fallen. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. I think we we're actually kind of close to qualifying now, so I don't know. It kind of depends on how you how you feel about almost qualifying. Either you're happy because it's close, or you're unhappy because it's close. Right? Top tower is under they should have probably made it through, man. It was really fucking close. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. A tithe to the impurities. Aghanim online on Quinn, but he's not level 18 yet, so it doesn't matter too much, actually. Level 18 is when you get the big slow. Big slow. Sold the charge. Holy shit. He got out of there. Nice play by Tofufu. Peak Rubik players. They love doing this stupid shit. Oh, I don't like that though, either, from Duracho. Wow, I am so surprised. He went for an S and a Y? Why? Ooh, I hate that item choice by Duracho, I actually despise it. Why would he go S and Y here? Primal ulti doesn't matter, and it's, not, it's like, can I have a Lesh stun? I don't know, dude. The region amp is crazy. You know what? That's a fair point. The region amp is crazy, at least. That's a good argument. That is a fair argument. Works well with IO and Sidekick, Dyer's of course. Maybe it's not as bad as it feels. It just feels like he's delaying his real timing by a lot, and his 6 slot is worse now because of it. Because he actually needs, like, Nullifier, Abyssal, Refresher. Like, those are kind of the items he needs. Something like that, at least. Maybe something that gives him mana for that Refresher, though. But um, but in general, it seems like a kind of a whatever item for this game. Let's see how Ace is doing. Oh my god, he bought Boots of Bearing. He is not getting this Black Hole anytime soon. BKB Black Hole. Oh boy. Yeah, Daedalus Marcy. It's good, man. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Dyer's structures are fortified. What the hell is that? Oh, they grabbed the Wisp! Duracho is stuck on the cliff, they don't see him though, they don't see him. Now they realize he's there, they will see him on the Edict, but it's too late. <laughs> it was a good, actually a good blink to the cliff, he would have died otherwise. Very good. Yeah, I feel like he needs Daedalus on Mars. Daedalus is actually kind of good too. Daedalus Nullifier, but then he needs Basher, and then he has no slot for Refresher. This is the problem with the build, guys. This is why you can't fit S and Y in some builds, I feel like. His late game is kind of fucked. Infested into my arrow. They're gonna come over. Maybe find Ace. Oh, missed him. One second cooldown TP. Found him again. Beautiful go. There is a black hole, but obviously he cannot use it here. He's dead anyway. They wanna go on my ratio. He BKBs. 
Who can help him though? Oh my god, nobody's close. Wisp is TPing. He needs someone to jump on. It's a long BKB. Oh, the wall protects him. We don't see the wall, but there is a wall there, guys. You can't pass it. You can't pass it. Have some armor later? Ugh, yeah, it's so bad. No. Selling armlet never really feels good. Even on a late game life stealer, like I don't want to sell armlet. Like it's still pretty decent. This life stealer, of course, in my example, does not have armlet, but still. Thanks. Radiance middle tower is under attack. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Crazy jump in, finishing the tower here. Nice deny by Rachio. Going boss moves. Ah, what happened to game in this game, man? I feel like they're making some weird item decisions, plus they're... I mean, they just can't fight. I do think they have late game, but they're falling up behind a little bit too fast. The Rubik might eat it again. Charge the way. If you think about it, guys, Rubik makes the same sound as Primal does when he charges. Isn't Rubik a scary motherfucker? Like, how does he Dyer's make that sound? Is under he must have a fucking terrifying mouth. How the hell does he make that attack. sound? He records it with magic. <laughs> Radiant's right, bottom tower is under attack. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Which is happening. There is nobody aware on the side of game, and mainly because left show top. It seems kind of unlikely. Almost Basher on Ix. Surely Ix will be his last item, right, Jet? Surely. I believe. Your shaman has fallen to the dark. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. No interview? No interview, guys. Lags. That's what all that's what everybody says now. Just lags. Bethlehem have been struggling a lot with lags. We watched a bit of their early game today, too. They were lagging then, too. Hmm. Oh, Man, everybody in Dota is gonna be so suspicious of everything now. Who do we trust anymore? Uh, will you upload the reaction to the Taiga thing? I don't think I'll upload it, nah. No. I mean, I don't know where. Not on my YouTube channel, that's for sure. It will be on the VOD channel, and it's on my VODs, but yeah. Checking the odds, yeah. Not good enough. The game is saying 62% win probability, really. It's actually quite close. 68%, not too far off. Yeah, we watched the whole video. Yeah, there's no sound on the vaults. I fucked that up, actually. But it's in Russian anyway, I suppose. So, it's not a big deal, I guess. For those who do not speak DK is keeping BKB against a magic lineup. Quite bold, but he might need to take risks to win this game, so maybe I respect it a bit. He needs to kill this Pogna fast or something like that. Infest into arrow. Old VODs are coming back, don't worry, boys. Don't find anything. Gaming are huddled up. Huddled up. In a in a party. In their base. I was about to use a different word, but I didn't like that.
Okay, here we go. High ground time, they have Aegis. But GG are mega ready. Maybe they can make, make a burst happen here on Nightfall. Oh, there it is. Orchid. The crap fire, but no fire. Yep, they bursted him. Nice job. They're gonna black hole, BKB black hole, unstoppable. The crap fire is there, no nullifier this time around. Won't matter though, it comes up up in time. They're going in. Game and want more. Da -da 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 -da. Ooh, nice silence, Marcy's still fighting. Holy shit, Game and are doing it, boys. What a throw. They did the biggest mistake you can do in a Dota game, guys. Going high ground. <laughs> Why would you ever go high ground? It sucks. And now the BKB Enigma is kicked in. Now the game is hard. Thank you, Goldman. Thanks a lot, months. Because he bought AC instead of Ags? Yeah, I'll be honest here. The Ags wouldn't have made the difference there. <laughs> it would not have made the difference. Not in that particular moment, to be honest. The Orchid kind of caught him off guard and he just died. Under the gift of sub if you ban Rorio. Damn, that's a good. That's an offer right there. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Dyer's middle tower has fallen. Betum are 0 and 4 if they lose this guy. They are 0 and 4. Absolutely terrible for them. Oh, he died so fast. My Rachio. There we go. He is so strong with these items right now. Ah, maybe he will fit everything he needs. Fuck the Daedalus. He's doing a decent amount of damage. Maybe the Refresher is better. We'll see what he buys. I think both are good. Refresher, he just doesn't have mana pool, actually. He can't buy it, so yeah, I guess. Oh, Nemesis Curse. This item is so amazing on Marcy, by the way. It's crazy. So much damage. 12% increased damage on your attacking hero, plus a base damage of 35. Which I guess doesn't matter a lot when you have 600 damage, but he has a DD right now, so. Mork never buys SMI. I buy it on Nikes, actually. I, then item is buffed. I like, I like, it's okay now. It used to be bad though, I will stand by that. People were buying it when the item was really bad, which was stupid. I don't think the SMY has done anything for the Rachio yet though, to be honest. He hasn't really status resistant anything, Radiant if you think about it. He did heal a lot that other fight though, to be fair. Betpum did start losing a lot after that one pause. Scanning. Ancient Guardian, I like that. Light upgrade, Dyer's maybe. Under A small Quinn. I think Quinn's gamble with the Bloodthorn instead of the the BKB really paid off this game. Radiant are scanning. That kill on Knife Stealer only happened because he had Orchid. The Taiga. We're not making it the Taiga. Anymore. Blinks down on the Primal. He got BKB off, but he's dying so fast. He grabs Marcy, though. She might actually die. She didn't pop BKB. My Rachio. No way. All right, Gaiman. They're used to this. This is a usual drill for them. The Rachio died. We're getting out. It's fine. They want to kill the Wisp, too. He's... Oh, he canceled his tether by accident. Ah. Whatever. He's all dead. Trying to reload to save the gem. Nope. Mm, Alright, we're getting some throw-on-throw -throw action. A lady. Radiant structures are fortified. 
going high ground this time around though. There's no BKB on Enigma for 45 seconds and they know that, so that's a huge one. They can cancel the hole very easily. Gwyn is trying to rat top a little bit, but I think this might be Rex, let's see. I feel like they, if they saw the black hole on Enigma, which I'm not sure if they did, they should know this. Bliff, okay. Uh, they, I don't think they saw the, the, the BKB guys. They would have gone for this Rex then. He BKB kind of in fog maybe. Scanning. Glyph? Dyer's top tower is under attack. Like he was typing right in front of them. Yes. But it was like around a tree. Now the glyphs will be back. I mean, sorry, the glyphs. The vaults will be back. There's a vault channel, guys, on YouTube. You can just go there, meanwhile. It's all the vaults from the past month or so. I just accidentally deleted too many of them. I was cleaning house a little bit. Alright, alright. Dum dum dum. If GG win this, can you get me in 5k for GGFB next game? Shit meant to send this on Discord. It's a best of two, though, but yeah. So the, the whoever wins wins is round robin. Robin some rounds. Rounds. All right, here we go. Nero wrapping around. Tofu breaks the smoke. They find the Pugna. That's a good target actually. They pop Piki before him. He's dead. But he, if he has buyback, oh he doesn't actually. It's a hard fight. It's a hard fight. You have that BKB hole to worry about too. No way. Oh, that was close actually. Wow. Good TP by Toronto. Where is Nightfall? He was inside Primal. Okay. Still no eggs, huh? Alright. Some people just don't like the item. He's going BKB instead, which I kind of respect too. It's a good BKB game. You can't really deal with the Orchid jump otherwise. How did Alliance lose to Team Ball, actually? I don't know. This will come in handy. Did you guys know I wasn't even playing that? I wasn't even playing that game from home. My internet wasn't working, so I was at my mom's house. I wasn't even at my own PC. I was on a backup PC with like a shitty keyboard and a different mouse. Still easy clap. My mom played. Yeah. <laughs> why are we still fixing our life source items this game? I don't know. I played a lot of Life Slayer lately. Maybe that's why. Everything else is kind of boring to talk about because. Quinn has very traditional items. Maybe skip BKB this game, that's something. Ace has pretty traditional items, I suppose, at this point. Okay, here we go, smoke. Blink stun on the Lesh, but at the same time, jump on the Rubik. They kill him fast. The Lesh, can he survive this? He's surviving, guys. My Ratio doesn't have enough damage. Insta buyback by Rubik, though, and these DK illusions are slowing everybody. My arrow, he's not so tanky against the Marxie now. Woo! They can't really fight now though, the Enigma is holding his BKB black hole, so... Toronto jumping in, slowing everybody, the nullifier is used. There's the black hole on two, it's a good one I think, I think it's a good one. If Nightfall dies, he's not dead, he's not dead. Oh wait, it's not a good one. Ace is dying, no black hole. In the back, they killed Mairachio, buy back by Miero and Toronto. Wait a second. And even Quinn ends up dying. Yo, this is 70 seconds and no black hole. I thought that black hole looked pretty decent, but they couldn't burst an Ike, so yeah. Unlucky, I guess. Nightfall.
Did we play BB1v5? Yeah, yeah, Twin Channel will post a YouTube video about it. He'll post a YouTube video about the 1v5. Don't worry. Wait, let's see. Let's write to him so I make sure. GG. Good gambling. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Radiant structures are fortified. All fire goes. Radiant's middle deck. So it goes. They want to blink in with BKB. Uh, Nightfall doesn't want to jump out. What the fuck is happening? He jumped out because Rubik grabbed the... Oh my god, what's happening? Nightfall didn't realize he was inside the primal or what? I don't get it. He has Aegis. GPK is jumping in a lot of damage, dude. They're gonna kill the t uh, kill the CM here. I mean the Marcy. No, he survives. Relocate out as well. Ooh, that was weird. One for one and neither of them have buybacks. He just stayed inside the primal, dude. He just didn't jump out. <laughs> that was so weird. He didn't trust that kill, I guess. Can they kill Quinn somehow? No. He will not. He did end up getting the Rex at least. On, on Nightfall, but it's pretty short. I don't know if he realized he was in. But it was also like, he was obviously scared of the Black Hole. I think they... They... Yeah. I had Black Hole because of the Octarine core already, and he maybe calculated that, so I don't think he fucked up. He was, yeah, I don't think he, they're gonna solo Black Hole the Primal Beast, though, that's the thing. It was a weird situation, for sure. Maybe Miera was at fault for- Oh my god, what a jump! How does that work? Celery somehow BKBs and gets away. Nightfall forgot to abyssal him, and now the turnaround by- Oh, the Rachio dead with a buyback. No way did the crap fight so good, dude. After the BKB ends. Stop bullying him. Wow, I think they lost. I think they won on BB. BB boo boo. They actually did it, boys. Against all odds. No counter for BKB Black Hole, no problem. He still has ages too. Against all odds. Hmm. Well, I'm mostly impressed with how this Lesh is coming into the fight like a fucking Chad and somehow hitting two heroes with a stun and slowing everybody. The overwhelming blink, man. It's a while ago we saw people pick up this item on a Lesh. But it's good. Actually, combos well with your stun, huh? <laughs> Off they go then. Bloodthorn on Nikes, he's getting healed a little bit though. Does end up dying actually, so unlucky for him. Nightfall has to BKB. He has the TP, but he's holding it because he knows there's a black hole. They actually made Ace BKB too, which is a small win. Not sure what he BKB though, but yeah. Thought he was gonna jump in there. He's holding the BKB TP, guys. Don't think they're going anyway. They might have not even seen the TP BKB again on Enigma, but only one Rex left, so. Wow, they're so grouped around this on, a, on GG. They're expecting him to come back. They're fucking way gone, dude. Way gone. Yeah, I think he got interrupted by something. I didn't see by what, though, but yeah. Maybe Pugna. Question, let's see. Uh, fire enemy or cast spell dealing base to cast a spell. Okay, yeah. I was wondering if maybe if you pop BKB or Pugna Ward procs it and cancels the blink, but that would be kind of OP. It says 
casting spells. So yeah, not BKB obviously. I suspected so, but I had to check for Ace's sake. Tormento time. Let's see what Mirachio is eyeing to get now. Yeah, he will go back for the Daedalus. He sells... The armlet, wow. An early armlet sell. Pretty early, actually. Oh, okay, it's 50 minutes in, it's not that early, but yeah. Gamba? Grrg. Gamba? No, no Gamba. No Gamba. We have channel points. I am deathly tired today, guys. I'm not... I said I was gonna maybe pop after this, but dude, it's it's getting late, guys. It's getting late. Tomorrow, I think we'll squeeze it in instead. Still need to get our 11k. I was supposed to get it before Dream League, guys. God damn it. Whatever. We can still do it. That was a uh, fucking three weeks ago. <laughs> no gym, no sleep, no nothing. <laughs> I think I'm actually gonna just head to bed after this, maybe. Maybe do a short workout or something, I'll, we'll see. This game is still going, so... Too soon to think about it. Asian. service to imbalance look at the ward inside the base oh yeah that is a deep ward i didn't notice that blink stun on my arrow though but he's very tanky they can't kill him meanwhile in the back lesh is getting pumped by marcy but he's not taking enough damage marcy no daedalus no damage they found quinn he gets reload out nice one by celery wow this lesh is so tanky it's crazy still haven't popped their black hole he's does the nightfall but the knife in front of nightfall himself how dare you? He didn't bash. He didn't bash. So unlucky. Naracho, 1 HP. He needs to survive. He has no buyback. He does survive somehow. Against all odds again. And now Leshrac, a little bit in trouble. Ends up that fight. Nobody dying, guys. Nobody dying. Unless... Nope. Still nobody dying. Holy shit. Nobody died. No bash. We didn't have a Bissell, we used it on something else. I think the difference will be when this Marcy gets Daedalus, then she can actually kill the Lesh. Right now she can't. That's see, I told you guys something is off with the build, right? She's not feeling strong. This Sanjin Yasha was supposed to be a Daedalus, and this is supposed to still be the Armlet. Imagine how strong you would be. Zeddy has a fucking SMY, I don't know. Yeah, there's nothing... The hidden hero of the, all these fights saved Pugna, guys. What a nightmare to play against this guy. You have to worry about Lotus Orb. You have to worry about a Glimmer Cape. That's not a big worry, but you have to worry about it. A Decrepify, his ulti, healing people. He is so annoying to play against. He's doing a lot for the backline in this fight. You can't really have angles for good black holes if you can't threaten kills without them, if you know what I mean. Like, they can't, they will never group up on Betboom if they're not scared of Marcy bursting them. That's the problem. Radiant are scanning. Gaiman are coming. Taiga. Taiga. We're scanning. There's a relocate to defend base. They see this on gate on uh, bed boom, so they're taking up an aggressive position. Idol on scouting this though, so it's fine. Pro shop in 30 seconds. Pretty slow spawn actually, almost max. Max Verstappen. Have you already watched the video? Yeah, we watched the video like uh, an hour or two ago. Bro, 
Roche will start now. Looks like GG are giving it up, but giving up Roche here is bad because playing Enigma into Aegis is much trickier. We'll see though. Flash is actually queuing up a Hex. What item is he gonna replace? I don't know. We'll see, I guess. Fuck him up. How do you not use Pulverize on Roche? It's so fun. It's like the most fun spell. Okay, let's see who gets what. We have very limited item slots on these people. He's going back for the eggs, boys. On Nike's Pog. Gonna be a surprise, eggs. Refresher for Primal. Very good to get that for free. He's buying one himself, but he wants to save for buyback. My Rachio finished Daedalus. Very right, good. Five and seven score on the Rachio. I actually thought he was doing much better than this. They went from 70% chance to win and now it's 70% for Betboom. I even think this is inaccurate to be honest. I feel like Betboom have way higher. Like 85 maybe. Maybe I'm wrong. Quinn has a fucking Daedalus? Whoa, this guy is fat. What happened there? He was sick of seeing his carry do no damage, he said, I'll do the motherfucking damage. Alright, here we go. Really don't want to go high ground against this tether dragon, dude. Holy shit. Yeah, it's a lot of damage. He can't he can't just tank this on life slur. Life slur. He's infesting for HP right now. Did he get the eggs yet? He did not, so it's a long cooldown infest. That's a tricky high ground. This is a hard nut to crack. How can they crack the nut? Crack my nut. Ken, thanks for the low months. Almost one year, Mr. Ooh. Forced to rage. And that's it, though. Thank you for the almost one year. Hey, he's not getting there, man. The DK is too powerful. Look at him. Beastly. Can you swap SMI phrase boots? Uh, n I mean, boots are so good, guys. I don't know what to tell you. Boots are so good. You need them, or you will not be able to run out when they go on you, when you're sieging high ground. But yeah, in a general sense, he should. But for this particular moment, I think he needs it to run in and out here. What happened to this guy's refresher? No, Lesh got it, I see. Buying his own on Primal. They're waiting for Primal. Or Whoa, look at this! What a play by save! What a play! He smokes in and wars here? Genius. I'm gonna steal that play, that's so good. He just, while they're sieging top, he smokes around into the base and wars behind them. What a beastly play. Who does that solo smoke? Was it a ninja gear smoke? It wasn't even a ninja gear, so it's free. I love it, I love it. That shit wins games, guys. There's not a lot of Pagman support moments, but that was the one. That was definitely one. Gaymen are not expecting a ward back there, and I guess they just do not have a gem, so... Yeah, they do have a gem, but Celery doesn't go down there ever, so... He never gets to see the ward. Man, that's tricky. And now they're gonna abuse this vision right here. They found Miraccio. This is a jumping opportunity, but they also see that Enigma is too close, so they can't. They know everything. They see Enigma! Hexo! Lift back by Rubik. Infest for more heal. Ace? Now survive. He does get Black Hole off on the Aegis. I don't, I guess. But the Lash! There's the Daedalus is coming in, but everyone's dying. Vision for what? To throw. Nightfall, do the trick. Do the trick. He's doing it. Get him out of there. Wow. You know why the trick worked? He was waiting for the crap if I unpug now, so he wouldn't get bashed. Smart. All right. Even seeing everything wasn't enough for Betboom. The lift back on Rubik, too strong. And now, on the back foot, Gaiman are coming in. Dyer the comeback is happening. Radiant are scanning. 
Off we go then. My tween. Nightfall raging in, wants to kill Tofufu. Tofufu has a grab though, but they're pressing some buybacks. They kill Tofu, he has buyback. Doracho in a really bad spot. Really bad. He used ulti too, but it doesn't matter too much. Depending on how fast they managed to push it down here. They have two buybacks. Um, surprised the Ratio didn't get out faster there, but... Two buybacks, right? Three buybacks by Betbooms. Quite costly. Maybe not worth it. We'll see. Playing without buyback against Enigma is terrifying. There's the Aghanim coming in for Lifestealer. Yep. It's time to go, but it's so scary still. I mean, the black hole is up in 15. They have a decision to make on the boomers. Regeneration. Is it time to go now? Wind Waker. Wow, that's a way to save in the chrono, but... Ah, uh, sorry, in the black hole, but there is nullifier still. Oh, Sigin Desolator, one hour item. Wow. Are they going? I mean, he really wants to hit some buildings with this. Come on. Mirror shield, magic lamp, they got them all. It's go time. I don't know, he can't tank the dragon, he's too strong, man. Holy shit. Win. I love this boldness on the purchase on the Daedalus. I love the boldness. Why does he still get the Radiance? Well, it's still pretty good. It's a lot of fucking evasion. That's why. But he will split. He will split it for Rapier, I think, soon enough. I think getting rid of boots sucks, man. I'm telling you. You don't even want to get rid of it. We'll see what he, the decision he makes. Nightfall has a decision to make here. He's playing against Enigma too, so going for Rapiers and stuff is kind of risky. What a game we have as the last game of the day, guys. They really didn't want, to, want me to go to the gym. They were like, fuck this shit, dude. Closed and then some. Pirate's hat for Quinn. Let's see what else we got. Still don't have a neutral, still don't have a neutral. So only Pirate's hat, but Pirate's hat is a good one. On the Dire, Stygian, Magic Lamp. It's like a Aeon Disc, kind of. We have Book of Shadows, which is kind of like a... How do you call this? Like a super decrepify, basically. Another pirate set on Pugna for some gold, and a mirror shield on Crystal Maiden. Alright. That's what we got. The Wind Waker is cool, though. Io bought a Desolator. Wait a minute. Level 25 talent. Attack allies target. Holy shit, we're cooking up something, guys. We're cooking up something. Haven't since the Eternal Envy days seen a reload into base and taking the throne. Maybe this is the time. It's coming back, guys. It's coming back. I believe. Are you fucking Daedalus's? No. Radiant are scanning. Quinn finishes his item build with a pike instead of the blink. He switches the blink to a pike. I think actually that's a very cool decision. Because he kind of recognizes he's the tower. He's the guardian on the wall, you know? He ain't no blinker. He's just gonna stand there and he wants some attack range. I think that's cool. And now... What do we have here? Marcy probably also has a last item soon. Game just got weird. I don't think Lifestealer can survive this shit, guys. That's what I gotta say. The IO tethering DK? He abandoned this carry, and now the DK is the real carry. Let's see what he's gonna get on IO. There's so many good items here for him. Let's see. Mirror Shield, potentially. Uh, Book, of, Book of Shadows, I would also appreciate. Wow, the ballsy one, the Stygian Desolator with the Desolator with the 25 talent. Here we go, boys. It's time to cook. This Tim, this Br this Wisp might buy a Daedalus. As long as I say, he might buy a Daedalus right now. It might be the play. He's so strong. 
Meanwhile, his shitty Marcy. Yeah, you can have an Ancient Guardian. You have fun, little boy. I'm tethering the real man of the team. Quinn Callahan, the CCNC PMA guy. Let's go. The guy that 1v5... Five Heralds. That was almost as impressive as when Gork 1v5 five Guardians. Almost as impressive. That's the guy we're tethering. This'll come in handy. That's quite an accomplishment. Win my Callahan. But... Betkum knows something is up, so they've taken the defensive, probably waiting for Roche. It's up, by the way, and they lost it. Uh, don't know what Betkum are waiting for. I think they're just scared shitless at this point. I think they're terrified. Rubik got a giant's ring. Did the man misclick? Did the man press the wrong button? I don't know, because this is a weird-ass item. He gets cliff walking though, so he can be really sneaky. But he's also big as fuck, and it's very good to focus, so I don't know. He can sit in the trees though, which is maybe like game winning. Let's see. The tree thing is not a joke. Let's see how much damage. He doesn't do any damage trampling, but the tree thing is the thing. Cliff walking is good. All right, then Seer Stone Enigma for Giga cast range, and he has Refresher now. I don't know. It seems unwinnable for Betboom. Let's see what the win percent's at. Fifty-nine percent still for Betboom. Huh. okay. There's a lot of refreshers around. There's a lot of weird shit that we have. Octarine with the pirate's hat, extra value, more digs. Meanwhile, on enemy team, I'm sorry. Meanwhile, on enemy team, the pirate's hat on DK does not have octarine. Technically, Betpum are out farming them, right? This pirate's hat. Dyer's middle tower has fallen. He does? You are completely right, guys. My bad. He does have an Octarine. I, loss of eyesight is a part of the problem when you have underslept. My bad. It's all good now, though. What's CM doing? She's just farming. She's buying a casual Lincoln for her Nikes, I guess. Wow, Betboom are so scared right now. I mean, rightfully so. Heathering the Marcy could be really crazy, by the way. Her attack speed is nuts with Unleash, and then you get one hit each hit. Attacks allied tether target. It's so much damage. Look, he bought the crit, guys. He bought the crit. Holy moly. Holy moly. If he gets, like, Daedalus Satanic, what the fuck can they do? That's wild. That is wild. What did he sell, even? I don't even know. I mean, Tethering Quinn is safer and even better. The game just got so weird. GG's late game is disgusting right now. Look at that damage! Nightfall doesn't realize he's dying, but they're turning around. They're, folks found the Wisp, but didn't find the kill on him. You look at Nightfall's items, he just looks pathetic this game, honestly. Like, what is this? Look at these items, right there. Oh, they found the backline Enigma! The best catch! But do they have enough lockdown? He gets BKB off on Ace. Nightfall's still chasing. The black hole is there! They're in the black hole! They're taking too much damage. Here, here he comes, he grabs somebody, I don't know what the fuck's happening in the fight, but GPK is dying, another black hole, they're all dying, mass, 5x, it's too much damage by Quinn, it's too much fucking damage, dude. Oh, they needed that finish on Ace, we needed Life Slayer Infested in the Primal, man, damn, dude. Well, no buybacks now, bet boom, you guys gotta chill a little bit on game until you have Refresher and should be up, should be done. Let's share the fight recap there. Look at the damage done by DK. 9.2 and another 4.8 by Marcy. That's the duo. The Rachio even had a little bit of damage too. Not bad. Four buybacks used, I think, or three? I think three. DM's buyback is old. That's old. Old buyback. Old man buyback. Yeah, safe to say, Radiance late game is crazy. Right? They hit the point of insanity. Yeah, he's getting satanic on Wisp too. You cannot die. I'm telling you, if DK hits, you cannot die. The Wisp heals you so much. And the Wisp can't die either as long as DK is hitting. So you gotta somehow disable both at the same time. That's not easy, dude. That is not easy. Yeah, the 70 minute radiance needs to go. Like, I feel like Nightfall, Nightfall is just scared. He's, he's a scared little mouse, you know? He's 
doesn't have the balls to buy a rapier here. Like, this Radiance is not doing anything anymore. It's his only win condition. He has to realize it now. But I think he's already shaking in his booties. He bought a Blink Dagger. I mean, that's an idea as well to kill the Wisp. Let's see how it works out. He does not have buyback, so he might as well buy the full Overwhelming Blink while he's at it. Where is it, anyway? Am I crazy? I guess he didn't buy the Reaver, it's just not queued up. Alright. They have to catch the Wisp, but I'm telling you, even if they catch the Wisp, guys, if the DK is hitting, Wisp will be full HP no matter what, because of the nature of Satanic works. Wisp, will be, Wisp hits even when he's stunned, so... They have to catch both, and that's a tough ask, dude. I don't know. Tough ask, bro. Ah, uh, the courier died? I see it, yeah. 35 seconds for the satanic. I'm uh, sorry for the overwhelming. They gotta wait 30 seconds. Overwhelming is kinda nice. Nice item, to be honest. 9, 2, and 16 on save, by the way. He worked hard for this fucking game. Actual Exodia. I mean, honestly, this is added to the list of Exodias, basically. The Wisp 6 slot with almost anything is disgusting. It's a, such a huge win condition. So rare we see Wisp 25 nowadays. Nightfall, there it is. I mean, such an underwhelming purchase, but... I even think the Swift... Dude, he has no damage. I'm not... <laughs> yeah. Dude, it's fucking one, one hour, ten minutes. He's, he's not gonna be able to kill enemy heroes if he's tried, bro. If he got to hit them for ten seconds, they're not dying. It's too late for these kind of items. He needs to get time for a rapier here. If he has time, it'll be good. Gotta save some buybacks here. Have to rely on the perfect jump by GPK here. He sold his Bloodstone, by the way. Late game, I guess Bloodstone ain't it. But it's so hard. Win Callahan. Coming in. Look how fast this is dying. It's already dead. And that was without Wisp tethering him, I think. Sidekick as well. Don't forget about Sidekick, boys. Look! What the fuck? It's insta-dying. Yeah. Yeah. Deal with it. Deal with it, bro. Surprise, they're not ending. The throne is exposed, to be fair. But yeah. They know how bad Betboom feel now. They just have to sit here and like, oh my god. We're just gonna watch our Rex die, aren't we? Oh, what a disappointing day to end here. At 11pm for Betboom to go fucking 0-4. Disappointing. Alright, alright. It was such a big turning point though. When Quinn got the Daedalus, it was just enough damage to keep the little life stealer dog away from munching on their base. And that's all it took to really stop them from ending the game. They had basically won already on Betboom, so yeah. Daedalus was a great purchase, I think. Radiant Snipe Stealer was raging and hitting, but yeah. I think Wisp next item is so obvious, guys. Can you guys guess what Wisp next item is? I think it's GG if he buys this item right now. It's all, like, it's, I'm, I'm guaranteeing it's over. What item do you think it is? It's a pussy item. A lot of people saying rapier. No, no, no. Just buy a fucking Aeon disc. You can't, like, you can't lose. It's impossible to lose. They can't do anything. They don't have nullifiers. They, they can't touch you. You will just do way too much damage through the DK. And you will survive. It's just over. I've seen it before on these level 25 wisps. That, that wisp spammer guy, he always buys an Aeon disc at the end. Just so you can't get focused. And that's mega creeps. That's all it took. If you just call it here, I mean, this is just, like, painful, bro. Who wants to sit through this late at night? Who wants to sit through this? There are cool meme items though he can get to. Like Heart, Basher. He's gonna finish Daedalus first, which is fine of course. Oh well, yeah, this is painful bro. 48 seconds for Roche. Actually gonna be switching sides. 
They could kill it in 15 seconds though, I'll be honest, so maybe they will stay here. I think the Aeon is disgusting. They have no win condition left on Bethbone pretty much, because then they can't jump Wisp, right? They, this is impossible, and then uh, the DK has to be jumped, but you can't jump DK either, so <laughs> what do you jump? I don't even know. Man, the Rachu has the dream job, bro. This is me. I wish this was me in every pub. I just have a Quinn Callahan with 1100 last hits and carrying my ass this Death hard. The dream job. He doesn't have to do much to these fights at all, honestly. At this point, at least. Daedalus up soon. Here we go. They have 10 seconds. I'm, this is dying in 10 seconds, I guarantee it. Look. Brrr. Crazy. Aeon, Aeon, uh, Aegis Wisp, that's kind of like your Aeon disc right there. You're good. It's gold time. This is gonna be hilarious, dude. This is gonna be hilarious, bro. Uh, I said it's dying in 10 seconds because it was switching sides in 10 seconds, that's why. It's dying before that. There's the Daedalus, here we go. How does Bethwin win? I don't think you can. I mean, you need Rapier and Lifesteer, without a doubt. And you need to jump the Wisp, but I don't know, at this point, it's so weird. You lost... Every second that goes by, it gets harder, so... Gaben still says 10%, but look, look at the throne, dude! Are you serious? It's gonna die in one second! I swear, it's one second, look! It's insane! This is the most damage you can fucking do. He's poking, because he knows they have to jump. Okay, Lotus Orb. They're grabbing Enigma. Do they have the damage to finish it? GPK is just dying. He goes away. Nightfall is being hit now. He's taking a lot of damage. Buyback used by Ace. Watch the throne. Watch the throne. Watch the throne. <laughs> what the fuck? In comes Rachio. Everybody forgot about my Rachio. But here he is. They forgot. There's the Black Hole too. No way to cancel that one. The Primal Beast tried, but the game will be called. They have some buybacks. Wait a second. Triple kill for Rachio. Mass buybacks. Everybody's up, actually. Another Black Hole, though. Dragon Form ended. Let's see how much that matters. Oof. Everybody's just dying. It's a fucking massacre, bro. GG. They call it. With four alive, they call it. They know. There's no touching this dragon. Throw him. That was a fun one. That was a fun one, honestly. Rigged by Nightfall? I mean, you know, I think it was quite clear why they lost. Um, I think Nightfall could have definitely bought Rapier there at the end. I don't think it would have mattered much. There was something they needed to figure out. Th they won the game. They put the deep ward, they saw everything. If they execute that Enigma kill in the base, it's over. If they somehow jump that better, you know? They underestimated the Rubik lift back and um, and maybe the four staff as well. I'm not sure if they had one by then, but yeah. They underestimated the lift back on Rubik, which saved Ace, and it ruined their goal. I think the game was over there. But when it hits the point where Wisp gets 25 and then Desolator, you've already lost. You can't get there. I think it's over. Such a fun thing to see, though. This is so rare. Maybe if you're a Wisp player, you get to do this like 1 in 30 games or something at most. Max. Maybe 1 in 50. 1 in 100. It depends how greedy you are, I guess. But yeah, it's fun for fun for Celery to sit back and do like a million DPS chilling. 1.1 creep kills on uh, DK, yeah. He held the fort. But sieging Hagring as a Daedalus DK was obviously impossible. Alright, I think we are donezo for the night, guys. Let's check the schedule tomorrow before we call it. Sorry about no... Um, sorry about no games today. We got pretty late. Um... Let's see what games we have tomorrow. Maybe something fun. Maybe something fun. Tomorrow we have Team Spirit Falcons, but that's a bit early for me. So most likely, maybe we'll start to stream somewhere around here. Play a game or two and then watch Aurora Liquid. And maybe Spirit Entity. So we'll watch the night games tomorrow. The night games are better tomorrow, so let's watch those. Let's watch those. That sounds good. Is OG not playing tomorrow? Or am I missing it? Oh, did they have a, maybe they have a day off tomorrow. Not sure how the scheduling works, but I don't see them here. Maybe I'm blind. Alright. Donzo. Alright. Good night, boys. Love you guys. Hearts in the chat. For real, for real. See you guys tomorrow. Peace out, everybody.
You guys have been great today. Ah, I am very, very sleepy, though. So it's time for me to go. Good night. I forgot, though. What day was it today? All right, good night, boys. See you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye. Thank you, guys. Good night.